There we go. Good, 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 good. I'll be right ready. There we go. <laughs> well, that's weird. I just opened up my fridge and I looked at one of uh, like, like like a drink scan, and it was kind of exploded in there, and there was no, there was just no dirt around it, or like no no. <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> Maybe I'll show you. Wait a minute. Let me let me get the can. Wally 11, hello. Hello! There we go, that should be fine. Good! Let's press the start button, <laughs> then I can show you what I just found in my fridge. Good evening, Twitch! How are you all doing? Welcome back to Factorio, and welcome back to me wanting to start my stream, and then... Oh, <laughs> the green screen is kind of cutting it out a bit. But do you see the cap over here? You see how that is like bulged out? Let me maybe go onto the big camera real quick. Uh, hey there, Aggie and Grow, how you doing? Where's that thing? Where's that thing? Where's that thing? Focus, there we go. <laughs> like, you see how it's bulged outwards? <laughs> and the can is still closed. <laughs> it also doesn't weigh anything anymore. And there's, there's still a little bit of liquid in there. But at least half of it is gone, I think. <laughs> For comparison, 
Um, that's how it should look. That's how it looks. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Did that freeze again? Um, no. Unless it somehow got frozen. Maybe, maybe it was uh, touching like the back of the refrigerator where it could be a little bit colder. Maybe because it was all the way on the side of the refrigerator. Maybe it hit a cold spot and it, free it froze over. But the thing that's a little bit more concerning about this is like, there's no residue. There's no liquid on the floor, in front of the fridge, behind the fridge, around the fridge. Uh... <laughs> There, there was, like, nothing around the can that suggests that the can had a leakage. <laughs> the can is not under pressure, by the way. I can just easily... Yeah, I can, I can press it inwards. So it, it must have sprung at some point in time. Uh, it's it's kind of weird. <laughs> ah... There we go, there we go, there we go. That's one way to start a stream. That's one way to start a Monday. Um, there we go. First of all, hello there, Kunuki. How are you doing? Groundbuster! Hello there! How are you doing? You're late? What is this? Well, that's more or less the reason why I'm late. Laranda, hello. Is this the correct waifu for Pi? Yes, it is. It definitely is the correct waifu for Pi. Niploid, hello there. Nipla, how are you doing? Iwari! Hey there! Cherry Little Bottom, how are you doing? Fenring! Hello there! And both don't, <laughs> don't do stupid things in the kitchen. It's very dangerous. Yes, it is. It is. It definitely is. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good. So, first of all, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to us continuing this absolutely painful game of Pyanodons, where we just try to, well, I'm not quite sure what we try to do over here. We just try to to, to get onwards in, in, in things over here. I think for today, we have planned to do circuits. Ah. Oops, sorry about that. I just had also lunch. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And last time around, we have made, I think, yeah, the forestry. Actually, we've not made the forestry. I finished up the forestry. Uh, last time around, there was like a whole bunch of trees around here. And I just chopped them all down and put down a full-fledged forestry over here. And I think we are even backing up on wood as we speak. Yes. Yes, we are. It's all over here. And it's all waiting to be processed over here. And then, of course, this over here is currently um, on hold because we're completely backed up on coke. And we're completely backed up on coke because, well, we're not using coke. And if we can't use the coke... Well, actually, yeah, if we can't use the coke, then we don't make any more tar and stuff like that. So we do need to balance it out a little bit and see what we can do with this. Can you show game time, please? Uh, the game time is not very accurate. Um, 17 hours and 27 minutes. I mean, it's three streams of five hours each. And then, like, three recap episodes in between. That's actually pretty accurate. <laughs> I am amazed. It is kind of accurate. Good, 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 good. There we go. There we go. And Junior Junior, we're happy Halloween, people. Yes, it's Halloween. I have prepared absolutely nothing for Halloween. <laughs> absolutely nothing. I'm not really that big of a Halloween person. Uh, scary games. We could have played some scary games, but uh, nah, nah, nah. Instead, we're just going to indulge ourselves in Pyanodons. And Pyanodons itself will be more than scary enough. There we go. There we go. Time to turn off the doorbell. <laughs> Time to turn off the doorbell and become like a shut-in again. And just tell everybody to just fuck off. There we go. There we go. Good. I was curious how much time you spent off cam. On this map, not as much. On the um, SpaceX map, a little bit more. Uh, for example, the SpaceX map today ran, I think, the whole day in the background. Mostly because I was fixing stuff and just letting things run. Uh, but the Pi map does not really run as much Yet. It will probably run at some point in time, but currently we're also not really in the state where we want to make it run all the time. Mostly because, well, I don't really want to be dealing with biters growing up on me, and I don't really want to be wasting too much of our resources that we have in inefficient recipes. There we go. There we go. Good! And I'm all for Halloween because you don't have to work. Yeah, well, tomorrow over here, there's a national holiday, so I also don't have to work. And, yeah, first of all, Kuniki over here told me I should probably check out what we can do with our hydrogen. I think I just completely ignored that we have hydrogen over here and just immediately went for the venting option. But there seems to be a recipe that we can use. So let's have a look at that real quick. Usage. 
So hydrogen, we can turn that, of course, into ammonia at some point in time, uh, into more aromatics, into decalin, into syngas, into deeper rain, we need it. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things in here where we can use it for. Mm, but most of these we do not have access to yet. We do need it for the plants and stuff like that. Uh, anything else going around? Anything else going around? Uh, we need it for quartz and stuff, for releases, kerosene, foggies. A whole bunch of plants. Wait, what was that? Oh, that's to get uh, nickel ore out of tar. Yeah, we need that for that as well. Uh, all the upgrades. Absolutely. We can vent it. Mm, we can't burn it for power. And I think that's it. Kunuki, did you not tell me we could burn it for power? I mean, we could burn it for power in the previous one. But not in this one. Maybe I skipped over it. Maybe I was just like, actually, we could maybe still burn it for... Does it have a fuel value? No. Marky Mark! Hello there! How you doing? A direct liquid fuel. It's burnable? Really? This? Let's check again over here then. Oh yes, this. 20 kilojoules. That's like nothing. I think that's actually the worst value of them all. <laughs> 20 kilojoules is like... Yeah, I, I could just as well hand crank it. <laughs> and you really can't stand Suka um, uh, uh, and you? Nah, nah, I like to walk around. I definitely like to walk around. Yeah, I mean, we could burn it for fuel, absolutely. But I guess we just send it off to wherever we need to. Good, 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 good. So, um... The target for today, the absolute big, big target for today is going to be make green circuits. Hand cranked? Yes, hand cranked. <laughs> Burn all the map for fuel? Uh, maybe not. They still bite us around. And we don't really want to deal with them. And to make fuel, well, we do need to do tin processing, lead processing, and zinc processing. And all of those are actually not too hard to do. The only difference over here, of course, is we do need something to fuel this. For the tin, we need steam. So we could burn some more steam over here and use that. We could also maybe burn steam and turn it into power as well. We also maybe have to think about something, something, something that we can do over here. Yeah, here's the thing we can do. You can already see this over here. This one over here has no coke into it. This one over here has a lot of coke into it. This thing over here is completely backed up. So what we need to do over here is to balance this on top of that. That is what we need to do over here. And... Yeah, if we just evenly distribute it into there, actually, it would be better if we inject it over there. So let's start off with that. Can we get underneath this thing? Actually, we can't even get in there. Uh, maybe, maybe... Uh, well, that could work. That could definitely work. Uh, but then... Yeah, that could still work. We can then do like this. Perfect. Uh, and how do we blind balance this on there? Okay, I see how we did that over there. Hmm. 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 Oh, no, that will not work as well. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. I'm only getting stupid ideas. I mean, stupid ideas are usually pretty, pretty darn great ideas. But I'm only getting stupid ideas at the moment. Um, no, 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 no. Let's see. We we could make it very, very stupid. Mm, do I have any inserts? No. Let's ghost it for now. We could make something like this. We could make something like that. Then we have two more outputs over here. One of them goes over here. The other one goes all the way around. Goes over there. Maybe. <laughs> work uh at least then we can bleed through a bit more like just a bit and maybe if we do it like this we can add a little bit more on top of that sure let's go for this it'll be fine it'll be fine there we go and then the only thing we need is some inserters i have none whatsoever on me and of course we also need you over there to do this there we go off you go Cinerit, hello there. So I've started uh, the distract bolt from what he's doing out there. What? No, please don't do that. <laughs> please don't do that.
Please don't distract me from my game. Um, there we go. There we go. Do we have loaders already? No, 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 no. Loaders definitely require green circuits. Actually, we haven't even checked where they are. Um, and, oh, oh, they're part over here. Oh, ooh. I thought for sure that they require. Oh, that could be good. <laughs> that could be good. Uh, also a bit cheaty, if you think about it. But that could be good. Um, and Bolt is uh, really distracting you from game in the game of redeemed name of the game. What? Is it really distracting you from your game if I redeem name of the game? Nah, it's not. It's not. Cheats? Yeah, that's kind of cheaty. I have to admit that. Yeah, tell you what. Uh, we're only going to make compact loaders if we can do green circuits. We're not going to make them beforehand. Then it should be fine. There we go. There we go. Because loaders do make things a little bit simpler. Mm. Ah. And then see above my distraction, we think, okay. So you've started the distract bolt, what he's doing, idea. That's if he looks at distraction. Wait a minute. Did I miss something? <laughs> well, it should be fine. It should be fine. You know what? It should be fine. The more you distract me, the, the, the way that it will get. There we go. You over there. You over there. And you over there. Good. No, wait. We're missing one. We are missing one. There we go. There we go. Message your day. Hello there. How are you doing? And code red and L. Boo! <laughs> boo! <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, boo! It's Halloween. Probably because it's Halloween. There we go. There we go. Hello, Coach Rat. How are you doing? And I'm kind of fine. I'm a little bit... I don't know. I feel I feel a bit scatterbrained today. Or like... Uh, I feel like I had to do something for today. And I planned nothing for today. And I did not do anything today. So I feel kind of a little bit... I think unaccomplished. I think that's the thing for today. I actually did just completely enjoy my day off and actually didn't do anything at all which i think is also pretty fine if you think about it uh good 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 yeah good morning bolt and more or less i mean i woke up about what is it six hours ago not compared to yesterday where i woke up at 8 a.m and i was like what the hell <laughs> why am i awake at 8 a.m it's sunday of all days good so this place over here seems to be kicking it off we do have the aromatics over here backing up and that is perfectly fine we do want to use the aromatics, and we need the aromatics to mine the zinc. So let's set that up. Let's set up the zinc mine so we can start mining up the zinc and so that we can get everything in. You are missing a bit. Oh, you're missing fuel over here. That's fine. There we go. And you get also some fuel because why not? Keep working on this. And in the meantime, we are going to need some liquid miners. And liquid miners can be found over there. And for that, we need some steel and some iron plates. We got a whole bunch of iron plates over there. There we go. And I'll just take my time and get my head back into the game. And then we can see where we end up today. So we definitely do want to make at least a couple of these. As much as we can. We should probably also pick up some of the steel. Uh, we do have steel not really fully automated. Actually, it is more or less fully automated. But we, are, we do not prioritize making a lot of steam uh, steel. Uh, we just have a bit over here that we can pick up every now and then. And we'd rather just pick it up out of the furnaces over here. So that we can have what we need. And then over here in the chest, it can back up a little bit. But only a little bit. But that should be fine. Good. I also got a whole bunch of planter boxes on me. And a whole bunch of logs. <laughs> oh yeah, those were all the trees that chopped down. There we go. Sinter, thanks for releasing the VOD and restart on YouTube. You're enjoying it? Yep, yep, yep. Um, I'm not quite sure if I actually did that in the first episode. But, but I will always link them together. So in the description of the... Uh, of the VOD, you will find the link for, um, what's it called again? For the YouTube bit and, and, and back and forth. So, you can always use those. There we go, there we go, there we go. Good, uh, I did do a little bit of a change over here. There used to be three woodcutters. I upgraded it to five because I kind of noticed that I had my ratio wrong. And now it's a little bit unoptimized, but it'll be good enough. It will make all the wood that we need. Good! Damn, we're making two of these. Uh, could you maybe not make small parts in your pocket? We got small parts at home. Uh, there we go. There they are. Okay, small parts at home is also running out slowly. Uh, can we maybe just close this down and place these over there again? I don't think we need to make that much belt at the moment. There we go. And then make four of these, please. Uh, you're making pipe in your pocket? Could you maybe not make pipe in your pocket? We got pipe at home. 
Mm, here we go. And then make four of these, please. You're also making air conductors. <laughs> please don't make air conductors. We've got air, con air core inductors at home. There we go. And now you're making small parts again. Ah. <laughs> Always something with this guy. Good. But yeah, small parts are being made over there. Infantryman. Hello there. I remind us to my zinc. Are you making them stink? <laughs> How's the pain? The pain is fine. Uh, we got our tree automation done over here. And we're now slowly going into getting the ores together so that we can make the zinc plate and the tin plate so that we can make uh, our first green circuits. Good, 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 good. We're also still making glass over there. Uh, let's keep that running over there. We should also probably set up the LED. Mm -hmm. You know what? We've already started the LED. And we should maybe just only finish it up. So let's maybe finish up the LED mine. And at least get the ore in. Uh, so that we have that ready. For the LED, we need the acetylene. The acetylene is also a very good sink uh, for coke. So let's do that. Cracker lacking. Hello there. How are you doing? Happy Halloween. I see you playing the scariest game of the ball. Yeah, I kind of thought we could maybe prepare something special for Halloween. But I was like... Ah, uh, no, no, we're just going to play Pi. We're just going to play Pi. Pi is scary enough. Pi is an absolutely terrifying game. And if you want to see something terrifying, let's have a look at circuits here. Uh, what do we need to make? Uh, that's the green circuits. That's the red. That's the blue. And Pi Anodon also has the very special uh, purple circuits. Where are they? There they are, the purple circuits. What do we need for the purple circuits? There we go. Uh, oh, they definitely changed the recipe over here. Uh, we need optical fiber, photo, uh, photonic chips, organic quantum batteries, biofat, uh, blue circuits, cross-light emitting diodes, uh, fault current inductors, condo processors, nanochips, paramagnet uh, paradiamagnetic resistors, supercapacitors. Okay, what do we need for the photonic chip? The photonic chip is optical fiber, anti-reflex glass, fiber brack gate grating, Finite difference time domain phototonic structure. <laughs> Transparent anodes, MILFs, uh, biopolymers, colloidal silica, lithium niobates. Okay, what do we need for the uh, fiber brack grating? That's cloud core, distribu distributed brack deflectors, gallium arsenide, acrylic laser modules, and hydrogen. We have that. Um, this over here is one-dimensional phototronic crystals, silica powder, nanocrystalline core, niobium complex. This over here is photophore, graphene roll, yak, laser modules, silver plate. Uh, graphene roll is still graphene sheet and biofilm. Um, graphene sheet is still copper plate and PDMS. PDMS is still the polydimethyl uh, oxane thing and the nickel core. Wasn't there like... Wait, did they change this recipe? Wasn't there like a metric amount of copper you needed in this one? I remember there was a metric amount of copper we needed in this one. Yeah, we still need a metric amount of copper. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Good. Yeah, let's not go to look. Let's not look at those then. Uh, it's absolute bonkers. There we go. Instead, we're just going to power up this pump. And there we go. Um, good. What are we missing? We're missing copper plates. So, if we want to continue the power wire a little bit more, we need a little bit more copper plate. Um, yeah, park your ball from there. What about mills? Why did everybody start listening when I talked about mills? <laughs> uh, we need them. We need to make a farm of them. Um, they grow on a farm. Uh, the farm needs a special building. It's called uh, a bar. And you have to feed them bachelors every now and then. And if you feed them enough bachelors, then we run out of fuel. There we go. Nope, that didn't work. Mm. Here we go. Here we go. Good. And there's a copper. Eep, park it up. Here we go. Here we go. All the fun stuff. Yeah. Uh, we're definitely going to have to make a whole bunch of complicated stuff. But, well, one step at a time. One step at a time. For now, we just focus on getting all the ores together that we need. So we can start processing whatever we need. And also, we should make sure that we can get all of these pumps over here running. There we go. There we go. And, and there's a power wire. There we go. At least the car does not require gas to drive. <laughs> yeah, something like gas canisters or something like that. What can we actually pull in there? 
Ah, there's all the gas canisters. Um, we could, I think, can we? Is there a hydrogen gas canister in here? Well, it's so many in here. <laughs> of all the gas canisters, a hydrogen gas canister is not in here. Um, I also never really checked if any of these canisters is better for the car or worse for the car. Um, the first available pump must be a prototype. Oh, God, please don't. Um, do we already have the canisters? Um, wait a minute. I think they're over here. There they are. So, 10 megajoules of energy, 10 megajoules of energy. They, they, I think they all make the same amount of energy. Yes, these are not even close to... Oh, we could absolutely abuse this. <laughs> It's it's a typical pie recipe. They made something stupid. They were like, "Yeah, let's do it like this." <laughs> that will definitely not go bad. Completely ignoring um, the amount of the liquid energy of uh, these things. I mean, we could just make something that has like a very low liquid energy value. For example, crude oil. Okay, we do need 122 crude oil for this one. Okay, maybe maybe they did. They did it over here. I see. I see. I see. So it's always the same kind of canister. But that doesn't make any sense. If <laughs> Uh, so we get different canisters for different fuel types that all basically have the same burn time and they're not unified. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, so be it. So be it. Okay, let's set up the pump first. Let's make sure that we drive straight. We're not driving straight. <laughs> this is so not gonna work. <laughs> maybe, maybe we do install the vehicle snap mod at some point in time. But you know what? Nah, this is fine. This is fine. Oh. This is good. <laughs> we snapped. There we go. There we go. Oh, really? Wait, did I put in like 200? It's five megajoules. No, def nah. Here we go, and then you over there, and you over there. The car makes ash too. Everything makes ash. Everything that burns, everything that burns coke, ends up in ash. Good. Um, here we go. Here we go. And I think we still got some biters over here to deal with. No. Uh, we have like no ammo. Can I pocket craft some ammo? No. Well. We could probably at some point in time. Uh, let's have a quick peek over here. So let's just see if the liquid at least comes in. <laughs> That's a long ash belt. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, this is on the ash belt. This is going to be the, the lead ore belt. Um, but yeah, it does arrive all the way over here. So we could start mining the lead ore over here. But we still got this barter nest all the way down here. And we do need to deal with it. Anyway, this... And to be perfectly honest, I mean, the biter sets that we have are pretty, pretty tame. But it's gonna take a ludicrous amount of ammo just to deal with these idiots. And there's even worms in there. Let's save the game real quick, <laughs> just to be sure. Oh. <laughs> Hello there. Take care of the worms first. Through the tree, through the tree, through the tree. <laughs> uh. Well, we 
took care of one worm. That's at least something. And how do you know you can only have uh, the pie safe appear when saving? Wait, how do you wait? How do you do to only have the pie safe appear while saving? What do you mean? Calio, maybe, maybe try to rephrase the question. I'm not quite sure what you mean. Okay, that was half the thing. <laughs> well, I guess we just reverse. I can't move the car fast around, fast enough around. Well, that's already working. One moment, I'll be right with you. Let me just uh, deal with these biters real quick. Oh, that's one gone. But we're not really fighting very efficient. I need grenades or something like that. There we go. There we go. There we go. How do you only... Wait. How do you only do the save pie when saving? Uh... If you mean how I only have one save of Pi in my save game, I've got multiple Pi versions or multiple factories installed on my system. I don't really, I don't play the the um, uh, the, the the Steam version all the time. I mean, I kind of want to keep my my factorial games like in a sane state. Let's put it like that. Which means if I switch around between mod packs, I don't really want to unload certain mod packs, then load other mod packs again. Uh, of course, there's one option you could do. Um, when you boot up Factorio, you can set the mod directory where it will look for mods. And that way around, you can have like one base install of Factorio with different uh, mod lists. That's definitely possible. And you could even set it up in a way that you can just have the base game on a certain stage uh, and with the runtime um, configuration in another directory, in a complete other directory. That will also separate the saves for you. That's also possible. Just check the, the Factorio binary. If you just run the factory binary with um, the help options, you can see all those options which you can do. Uh, which you do need to do if you want to run Factorio um, uh, or one Factorio instance uh, as multiple servers. But um, the easier and lazier idea, and that's more or less also the idea that you use in things like Docker and stuff like that, is just install it multiple times and just don't bother with that. <laughs> just don't bother with it. <laughs> Tower creep is worth it. Well, problem with the towers at the moment is that towers don't really do more damage. Towers do more damage as soon as you get, like, the first research done. We don't even have the first research. Like, the tower over here, this tower over here, does the same amount of damage. It has no upgrade. Yeah, or Google the factory command line parameters, exactly. With that, you could also just set up um, different configuration directories for your factorio. And the save files are in your uh, configuration directory. And with that, you could also split it up. But then you have the issue that I will have to remember and map which Factorio version, base game version, I'm using with which mod pack. And that can also differ over time. Um, and I will just rather just split it entirely. And then I'm, I don't have to deal with it. And Antobees, hello there. How are you doing, mate? Good, good, good. And I mean, currently in my directory over here, how many Factorio <laughs> versions do I have over here? Where is that? Um, games, 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 games. Where is my game directory? It should be at the top, actually. Mm. I got like one for Nullius, one for Die World, one for Factorio 24K, uh, 248K, one for Pi, one for Space, actually two for Space Next, or Space Torio, one for SPM, and one for the old Pi Analogons. There we go. <laughs> Still worth it. Use three towers to defend towers and kill some bases. That is also true. Uh, but we got another issue. Uh, we have to go make some ammo. And making ammo is like... Ugh. <laughs> Actually, we do have a bit of lead going around. Um, and we could maybe just set up the lead miner. Get some of the lead in. Maybe even smelt the lead on site and make the ammo over there. Because there is a recipe over here. This one we can do in a crafting machine, and this one, of course, is way faster. And then we can just make a little outpost at the top, where we just sit there, and we just make some lead plate and turn that straight into ammo. Sure, why not? 
Let me place you over there. Uh, actually, you have to cool dust. There we go. And then... Actually, input-output. We do need two chests. Ah, here we go. Uh, stop that. Make two chests. Start it up again. Here we go. Have all my lead ore. Here we go. Speaking of commanding options, I write uh, me a Python script uh, with the Kinter GUI to show me to select a mod pack. What do you want to play? Ooh, I haven't done the Kinter in a while. Usually, I just end up with with command line interfaces because they're so much easier to use, and you can just straight up use them. Good. Um, technically, we can make splitters. Practically, we can't because we do not have any kind of green circuits yet. Mm. And go for radars. We're just going to research a random amount of things over here for a while. Just queue them up. Let them run. And do this. Do the copper processing. We can't do the copper processing yet. But at least with this, we can get some stuff on the road. There we go. And then science can keep rolling. The command line scripts are so simple once you understand them. As long as they're robust, which Factorio are. Yeah, Factorio is a very, very amazing command line interface. Good. Um, what do we need? We need Stone to make some more pocket ammo. We also maybe need some plates. But in the meantime, let's pick up some trees and finish up the tree farm over here a little bit more. You just want to press a button on your short, uh, short keyboard um, with the button of the GUI and you're done. Yeah, that also works. I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter how you do it. As long as it works for you, that's the important part. Good. Yeah, put that in there. Um, and then we need a couple more trees. And then at least this over here is done. Um, then, if we want to go up north to make some localized ammo, we do need some stone. Yeah, we can grow some trees now. Uh, so tree farms are up. But we need to use our coke now. We probably also kind of want to think maybe about a coke power plant. But then again, power at the moment is fine. But there's a whole bunch of things we need to think about. Mm. Also, cheers. Ah. Are you doing it with biters? Yeah. I mean, whenever I play Factorio, I need at least something that pushes back on me a little bit. If I would play this game on Peaceful, I would probably get bored of it right quite fast. And the biters, the biters help forming the base in various directions, even though the biter settings are not that intense. They are around there. They will be there. They will be stopping us from, from immediate progress. They will be stopping us from, from uh, building like crazy. Uh, and biter migration or biter expansion is on. So they will grow on us as well. And I kind of like that. I kind of like that. In this case, is led. Yes. Maybe also prepare some of the early um, alien life stuff. Yeah, we could think about that as well. But all of the alien life stuff, I think, is all behind green circuits. Yeah, it's all behind green circuits. The next big thing we need to do is make green circuits. The only thing we could do is the sap. That's the only thing we could do. Because the sap over here does not require any kind of green circuits. Um, but everything else, and the seaweed, I think... Yeah, but seaweed, we can just... Uh, seaweed is easy. <laughs> I don't care about seaweed. And same is true for things like uh, the moon drops. The moon drops also do not require any kind of um, circuits. So, yeah, we could maybe think about that as well. Mm. Yeah, we need to step for the circuits. I know, I know, I know. Good. Also, my inventory is, again, such a mess. I just want a random chest at the moment. Well, that's on the floor now. And drop that over there. <laughs> ignore the big chest I have right next to me. <laughs> Just ignore that. I want to use this one. There we go. Uh, yeah, you continue pocket crafting ammo. There we go. Yeah, just get rid of some of the stuff in here. Uh, maybe keep that. There we go. Yeah, put that in there. Keep that. Put that in there. Good. Does you need sea, a sap, seaweed, moon drops for green circuits? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Um, but we also need lead. <laughs> we need everything. There we go. There we go. But we're just going to focus on lead for now. And that means we do need a couple more assembly machines. And we do need a couple more. Ah, that's what I need my stone for. Just a couple. Just a bit to make some ammo up north. 
so that we can at least get some stuff done. Here we go. Yeah, just make these. Let me just move away from here. Stop making this. Stop making that. Make this again. Good, 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 good. That should be fine. That should be fine. Off we go. And Daedalus, hello. For some crazy reason, reason, I decided to load up this mod pack. So my question to you is, do you have any tips on progression? Yes, run. Run as fast as you can. Don't look back. Don't ever look back. If you hear Pyanodon uh, giggling in the corner of your room, it's already too late. He has entered your mind. He's going to be sitting in there all day, uh, thinking about how he could make the game even worse while you just play it and you just go crazy. <laughs> Um, I only have one tip for this mod pack, and it's a very simple tip. Just do it one step at a time. Like, you might see things like, like, tier 4 circuits, like we just looked at, and it's going to be completely crazy. Don't think about it yet. You will cross that bridge when you get to it. For now, just maybe focus on the thing you can do, and start working on that. Uh, don't be afraid to up increase the resource density of the fields. Like, don't be afraid to make some massive, massive fields. Even if it might might feel cheaty, trust me, you're gonna need those. Um, and yeah, just work with what you have. And then it's going to be just one step at a time. Uh, oh, we place these perfectly. There we go. Oh, I'm a little bit low belt, but I guess it will be fine. It was not. <laughs> We have to come back one more time at least. Good. But then again, for now, we do kind of want to set this up like this. And that. And this. And that. You have an air. You make ammo. And then in, 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 in. Something, something like this. I'm also very low on pipes. Oh, I didn't bring anything. Okay, we get at least of these. Um... Uh... That doesn't work because there's water in the way. Yay! Can we connect up this? That works. <laughs> that works for me. Here we go. And then I guess this that will be fine. Uh, they... Oh, shit. Do they need fuel? Oh, they need fuel? <laughs> what the fuck? Can we throw a tree in there? No. Uh, we got some coke in here. There we go. And this lazy bastard pots one pie? No. Actually, maybe. But please don't do that. <laughs> please don't be a lazy bastard in this one. Um, it should, I think. Is it possible? I don't think it is. I mean, for Lazy Bastard to be possible, you would need to make an assembly machine. And from that assembly machine out, you will have to make whatever you want. Every assembly machine starts with nine iron plates, three air conductors, five small iron plates. Um, and you will probably just sit there a long time just, just crafting stuff into that. Maybe you have an ash output? Yep. Mmm. Well, then again, maybe just do something like... Oh, stop that. Do this. Do that again. Here we go. <laughs> just just start pushing stuff into there. I don't really care about the ash output right now. We will can do that later. I mean, you can't handcraft circuits. That is true, but... Yeah. Yeah, we can finally ultimate ammo. I mean, we need the lead field for that. And this over here will at least... Uh, make some ammo for us, even though it's not a lot. And we got some pocket ammo. That's also good. So we can go back down over here. The mine ash output. Yeah, we're going to have to upgrade that. I will have to get some landfill as well because, um, well, we, we will have to, to move around that. But for now, I kind of just want to focus on these assholes over here real quick. At least they're all still small. I'm just gonna tank it. I'm gonna tank it. I think getting smarter. They kind of surrounded me at the end. There we go. That's one gone.
There we go. That should do it. And then... No, not like that. Jumatia, hello there. How are you doing? Okay, we still got some ammo left. Here we go. Just focus fire. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just drive over him. And then we're almost out of ammo. <laughs> Maybe they're getting smarter from your work, Nullius. Maybe. Who knows? There we go. It should be fine. It should be fine. Good. Just random. Yeah. Let's just get some more ammo real quick. We need at least something, something, something like maybe 20 or 30. 30 would be fine. Uh, yeah. 31. That should be enough to deal with this nest over here. If I don't drive to everything. There we go. That's the worm done. And there we go. And fault ash powered power plants since you get uh, dust from ash. Maybe. Maybe. Good. And now we can focus on, on making this thing for realsies. Charge it at full speed. <laughs> Maybe later. Maybe when we get some, some better stuff. But for now, this is fine. Good. 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 Okay. We, we need some supplies. We need some landfill to make this over here a little bit better. Uh, we don't really need to mine the full field. We do need to think about what we do with the ash. Um, I have no clue what we're going to be doing with the ash. Maybe just make a deep storage for it for now and hope it will never ever fill up. I mean, every ash piece goes all the way up to... Oh, we need... To, wait a minute. We need a coke belt over here. All the way over here. We need some coke. Uh... <laughs> Uh, really now? Uh, I mean, technically, we could make the same belt again. Just bring the coke up. No fish and pie? Uh, there's fish and pie, but you can't use them to heal. But yeah, um, and a, a belt back for the ash. Yep, well, we could just sort, uh, store or um, sort through the ash on site. Make a little machine over there that just does that for us. And then we're going to be good for a while. Then we should definitely be good for a while. But yeah, we're going to need the metric ton of belt. We oh, just have a small wood farm on site. Yes. We could do the wood farm. I mean, we already have trees unlocked. And the wood farm, the, the more you think about it, the, the more sense the wood farm makes. Because the wood farm will also eat the pollution for us. So we could just make a small wood farm on site. Uh, and for that, we need one of these. Um, don't make small parts. Also, stop doing this. There we go. There we go. Yeah, pick up all of these. One of these. Maybe two of these. Moss. But we can't burn moss. We can burn the trees. And use the trees for power. We can just turn them. Uh, we can turn the lock over here into trees. Every lock has four megajoules of energy. Every tree has two. And that will upgrade every lock into, like, 10 megajoules of energy. Um, and wood also eats ash, yes. Also, didn't somebody tell me that wood does not burn into ash? Where was that? Um, yeah, spent result, ash. Wood over here does not burn into ash. Wait a minute. That's exactly not what we want to do then. <laughs> Um, ha! And biomass does not burn into ash. Let's let's check for wood real quick. I mean, we, we can easily check that. Um, just just find a miner. Any miner will do. Uh, do we have some trees on me? No. Let's chop one real quick. Yeah, chop it up. Oh, 
this place is running out. There we go. And this thing over here does not burn into ash. So wood does not burn into ash. Good, good. Find a miner. Any miner will do. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> a mini miner. There we go. So if we just go with the wood, it will be fine. But ah, how much do these need? Maximum consumption is 400 kilowatts. So we need to bring it 400 kilowatts per second. Every piece of wood is 2 mega joules of energy. That would be enough for 5 seconds. Every lock would be enough for... How many should we get again? 5, 25 seconds. So we need to make one lock per 25 seconds to make that thing work. A normal forestry over here makes one lock every 15. Good. That could work. I mean, you can already see the pollution. Yeah, we, we, we definitely got to surround this with forest trees. Absolutely. That pollution is already going haywire over here. And that would mean that we we could balance that. We could definitely balance that on top of each other. And you may want to pick up the miners that are done. Yeah. For now, it should be fine. I mean, even if those miners are sitting around at the moment, I don't really care about that. <laughs> I really don't care about that. Good. Sure, we could do that. No, oh, wait, that's not the belt I want to consume. I want to consume this belt. If we go with this recipe, then if we have four of these, we would make 16 locks every 60 seconds. 16 locks every 60. Uh, if we have eight of these, we would make um, one lock every two seconds. That would mean we would make five megajoules Omega watt of energy per second. And five megajoules of energy per second would be enough to fire up a whole bunch of these. Okay, yeah, we can definitely scale that. That is not too scary. Um, good, sure. Now, we do have to keep one thing in mind. Uh, and that is, of course, that we have... Well, we need less than. We, need, we still need to make our tree saplings over here. Tree saplings over here or seedlings over here. They do still require moss. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Uh, that escalates quite fast. That escalates very fast. Because for moss, we also need carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is the thing we make out of coke. Coke, it's basically this build again. <laughs> it's basically this build again. No, we're not doing that. Instead, we're just pulling our long belt up. There we go. I guess we're just going to pull the belt. There we go. Yeah, it should be a whole bunch of belt. Also, could you do this again in your pocket? There we go. Good. You may, uh, yes, 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 yes. You excuse this bio, uh, what is biomass? It says on the tooltip. Yeah, but biomass, we're not really close to biomass yet. Um, there are some really, really good biomass recipes. When do we get biomass? When is that? Um, I guess when we start composting. That basically unlocks everything biomass. That's also biomass into flu gas. Well, we don't really care about that. But yeah, biomass over here has a decent fuel value. Stacks kind of all useful but smelly. Mm. There's biomass, biomass, but apparently also a few category biomass. Oh, really? Well, we'll figure that out once we get there. Good. And of course, remember how this place was full of coke? Where the fuck did it go? <laughs> I remember there was coke over here. Hmm. We also need to make a balancer. Oh, that's even worse. Okay. First of all, get the coke belts out. There we go. Let's, let's disconnect this one real quick so that we can have some space to build over here. So, what do we want to do? Mm. Oh, how do we even balance this? Like, like, a splitter would be so easy for this. Now, you know what? Maybe we don't balance it. Maybe we just completely ignore it and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, let's, let's go for that. So, one of these will be fine. 
One of these goes up north all the way uh, to where we need it. And then we just deal with the ash. But now my question is why... Oh, it probably stopped because the aromatics are for the amp. Yes, that's why. Ah, and that would also mean that if we want to make this thing over here run, we should deal with the aromatics first. And aromatics is all the way over here. Hmm, there we go. There we go. What's that new uh, raw core recipe in the recycling machine? Uh, there we go. You mean this one? Um, I think this one used to be better. You can compress 50 biomass into four raw coal. There was a recipe like this in the previous Pyanodons, uh, but I'm not quite sure how it was back then. Uh, also, we kind of, I think, missed out on it for a while. But yes, those things are possible. Good. Can we make some more of these pumps, please? There we go. Oh, yes. Loads. Daedalus! Thank you so much for the Prime subscription. How are you doing, mate? Good, 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 good. Okay, we also need some pipe then. Oops. Um, I hit that. Um, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's find our pipe machine. Pipe machine is over here. Get the underground. Get the pipe. Off we go. That should be enough for a while. I think they removed the tailing ponds overgrown mechanic. You know what we didn't do? Wait a minute. Save the game real quick. We didn't even check if there were any updates. Um, there are none. <laughs> There's one for the post-processing, but I don't think we need it right now. Uh, because we're already post in the post-processing step. Uh, I'm pretty sure they still overflow. Um... I'm pretty sure they still overflow, but for now, let's just ignore it. <laughs> overflow mechanic still there? Verified a week ago? Yeah. Can't really imagine the overflow mechanic not being there, you know? Good, but we are making some aromatics over here, and we do need aromatics to mine up our liquids. Perfect. Yeah, maybe just put it on the same height as this one. And then we can use the same count for over here. There we go. Something like this. Something like that. Good. And then you know the trick. Uh, one, three, five, nine, seven, eleven, twelve. There we go. And off we go. <laughs> three. Five, seven, nine, eleven, twelve. And then put the pump down. Oh, uh, well, off we go. Just use the car. Zork! Hello there, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, let me just get my gun out real quick. There we go. Best thing to go through a forest is just shoot up everything in front of you. Would love to have grenades for this, but we don't have nice things yet. Mm. I think I'm also kind of going a little bit sideways here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The enemies are swarming you. No! Here we go. That should work. Good. Okay, let's get off the car real quick because we do need to lose my hands. So, one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, twelve. Perfect. That should do the trick. And that was only the small forest. There's a bigger forest in our way. No. <laughs> forest. Why? Wasting the lead? Ah, we're making more of it. We can make as much as we want. Eep. Oh. There we go. Actually, I didn't even go over here. Three, five, seven, nine, eleven, twelve. And then one pump, please. And then one. Three. 
three, <laughs> five, seven, nine. There we go. Nine. Wait, 11, 12, I think. I, I miscounted, I think. Eh. Eh. No, we good. We good. Uh, and then there's a copper field in the way. Uh, we should go down. We could go down and around all the way. It will be easier. Even though it will be a little bit more annoying. Uh, that's two. And then let's find where this one goes. Four. Eight. No, six. I can count. Uh, eight. Uh, ten. And then we just go... Eh. Eleven. That should be fine. Yeah, we're just going to go around. And then one, three, five, seven... <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Nine. Uh, 11, 12. There we go. Vehicle Snap. Yeah, I get that Vehicle Snap is a very important mod. But I kind of like... I find it fun to struggle with the car. <laughs> it makes you do absolutely horrendous things. Uh, four, six, eight, ten... Not because it's forced. Oh, God. Well, we're going to chop through it. I mean, just keep in mind, at some point in time, we're going to have to crawl that. And if you remember the previous page, crawl that basically ate everything. He was destroying so much things in our base that it was just way too much fun to not have him run around. You can disable the when you want to giggle. Nah, 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 nah. We're going to drive like crazy. We're going to drive like drunk people in this game. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, quality of life is all nice, but sometimes, sometimes you do want to feel at least a little bit of pain. He even ate invisible beacons. He ate everything. Absolutely everything. Craw that. Yeah, we get him at some point in time. He's over here. There we go. Uh, I can't ghost him, but this is an amazing little vehicle we get at some point in time. There we go. At least the pickaxe speed upgrade is already noticeable. We can shop over here. Uh, research the faster pickup tech. We already did. Uh, we do have still the faster one that is more expensive, but nah, this, this should be fast enough. There we go. There we go. Sir Welshi! Hello there. How are you doing? Product A to minus? Uh, yeah, minus always going to eat my everything. I've never done something like that with the pumps just to reduce the flow rates or something. Yes, I mean, if you take a look at the Factoria wiki, you will find the article about pumps and flow rates. And the long, basically, the longer your pipe is, the slower the liquid in the pipe will flow. Um, now, technically, I'm overdoing it because at, the mo at this moment in time, we don't really need that maximum flow rate. But I kind of like to be at least a little bit more thorough with it, just to make sure. And you'll find the table in there. Like, every 12 segments, you more or less need a pump to keep the maximum flow rate in the pipe. And the maximum flow rate in the pipe is 1,200 units per second. If you want to go above that, you will have to make your pipe shorter. For example, tank to tank. If you put, like, a tank on each end, you will be able to pump at the speed of 12,000 per second. That is definitely possible. But if you just have, like, a pipe on each end, that you will not be able to reach that. 5, 7, 9, 11... 12. And in my opinion, it makes kind of sense to have a pump every now and then. Also, of course, all these pumps over here will make it so that your fluid is definitely going only in one direction and one direction only. It will not flow in weird direction, opposite directions and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah. And one, three. Eh. <laughs> Trees. Five. I'm just getting out of my car real quick. Uh, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 12. We're almost there. I'm just going to do the rest by on foot. I can't be bothered anymore. And then we go up again. So that will be then 2, 4, 6, 
8, 10, 11. And then 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 12. Almost there. We're actually going a little bit high. Just fits. It just fits too. 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. And then we have arrived. <laughs> we have arrived. Ah, how horrible is it to make red belt on pie? I haven't even checked yet, but I'm pretty sure we need super steel for that. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Red belt. Craft. Uh, we need stainless steel for that. Okay, not super steel. Stainless steel. And advanced small parts. Advanced small parts also require stainless steel. And a whole bunch of other parts. Stainless steel requires aramid fiber. Aramid fiber requires uh, TCL, sodium hydroxide, titanium, aluminum, molybdenum. Um, or, yeah, that's the more advanced recipe. TCL requires us to do cobalt extract, extract yotoi aloe fruit, aromatics, liquid nitrogen, and poop bacteria. Cobalt extract is coming from... Where is it? For mixed ores with pressurized air and cyanic acid. Cyanic acid is coming from iron, molybdenum, propene, ammonia, oxygen, or wait, all the other things over here. Yeah. <laughs> How about no? Good. I only have one of these. Really? Okay, we can make some more in our pocket at least. Good, 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 good. Perfect. Uh, also, all my belt is in my car, but that should be fine. There we go. Connect up like this. Connect up like that. This will be fine. And then to belt it all back. Yeah. Something like that. Okay, here we go. Two. Three. And then on the sides. Of course, they also need fuel. Because of course they do. Of course they do. Um, there we go. But at least now we've got the zinc mine set up. And of course, don't forget, we do need to pull power over here. So while we walk back, we can at least place down the power poles over here. There we go. Don't forget the second belt. Yeah, we, we need a whole bunch more over here. But I don't have any belt on me at the moment, so I don't really need to think about it. There we go. There we go. And we also need burnables over here. Well, that's that. We could use the other part of our coke belt to go over here. Excuse me. What the hell happened over here? Wait a minute. Eh. Eh. Here we go. Yep, <laughs> so hey, wait a minute, there's power over here. Perfect. <laughs> good, 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 good. Eh. Uh, the car has belt. There we go. But yeah, you're absolutely right. We do need more belts. There we go. You go this way. Damn, we do need something like an ash belt. How big is the range of these? Oh, terrible. Uh, over there, it's fine. But over here, we need to do something like this. Mm. There we go. This will be where the ash will be coming out. You can move there. You can move there. One over there. One over there. One over there. One over there. There. One over there. Oop. Then, whitelist. Where's my ash? There it is. You pull the ash out. We're already preparing this for the future. Then, uh, we need the same thing over here for you. One over there, one over there, one over there. And then, we just pull you along like this. Like that. We could just pull the ash all the way back to base as well. We could just do something like this and be done with it. And you know what? I guess we're going to do that. 
And trains? Yeah, for trains we need green circuits. And first of all, we need to get green circuits done. So, it's going to take a while. And, but yes, of course, once we have trains, it will be so much easier. Oh, that break on that car. Let's see, you go this way, so you go that way. Eh, don't do that, please. Okay, let me get out of my car real quick. There we go. Chop, chop. And you need one input and one output? Um, yeah, we also need an input at some point in time. We could... Uh, uh, yeah, we probably have to redo those belts a bit. You're absolutely correct about that. There we go. But let's get the output belt in first. And then we can still think about more later on. So you'd uh, train Ash back to the base? Yeah, why not? I mean, Ash stacks up to a 1,000. Which means we don't really need a lot of Ash trains. We only need, like, one every now and then. Uh, filling up with Ash train, however, will take forever. That's going to be <laughs> that's gonna be the, 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 the big annoying part. Like, filling up a train full of Ash. I mean, if it stacks up to a 1,000, that means every wagon. Uh, if, it's, if a wagon has 40 slots, I think the first wagons we get are smaller. But if a wagon has, like, 40 slots, that would mean we would need to fill up uh, 40,000 units of Ash with inserters. That's going to take a while. <laughs> That's going to take a while. And can't you use Ash in the Zingas process? Maybe. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Where's the recipe book? There we go. Uh, what can we do with Ash later on? There uh, it is. So, we can turn it into flue gas. That's definitely something we can do. Unless... Wait, is that recipe still in? Um... Uh, Yeah, it's still in. We can turn flue gas into ash, and we can turn ash into flue gas. So we can do something with flue gas processing. Flue gas we can turn into syn gas. That's absolutely correct with some activated carbon. So yes, we can turn ash into syn cash. Biotech Alpha! Hey there! How are you doing, mates? Thank you so much for the gift of the community shop. Uh, ash trains to send over one train to every single ash station. Let it wait for a while. Yeah, maybe we could also do something like that. Um, that could also be a good idea. Or maybe just, maybe just make the ash trains a little bit smaller. We're not quite sure, I'm not quite sure how we're going to do it yet with this. But yeah, we can turn ash into flue gas. And from flue gas, we can go into, uh, sun gas. That's everything we need to do. We can use it in moon drops, which we also have sitting around quite a bit. We can use it in ash separation, of course. Fertilizer. At some point in time, we're just going to dunk all this stuff into fertilizer and just be done with it. Uh, Sermant and rich clay, of course, are two good recipes we need to do with that again. Uh, soda ash regeneration solution is also one of the things we need to do with them. I mean, ash does have quite a lot of useful uh, appliances. Uh, and turning it into syngas, I think, is the least useful one. Uh, because all the other ones uh, are dedicated recipes that do require ash. But that's all still quite much in the future. And wagon slots are 20, 20, 80, 80. They are? Really? I thought they were a bit different. Um, that's Kant's cargo wagon. Yeah, 20 over here. And then it's 80, 80. I thought it would progress between 20, 40, 60, 80. So, Bolt, are you going to do the same strat as last time? Just double down and then double it again and get into work? Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Um, we're definitely, I mean, one of the strats that's definitely going to be different is the way we set up our train network. That is definitely going to be different. Because last time around, when we set up our train network, uh, things were quite chaotic. And we definitely want to improve on that by a bit. There we go. Chop, chop, chop. But at the end of the day, I mean, the big problem we had in the last playthrough was, for one, that we just went way too big with builds for things that either A, needed to be as big, or B, because we started out big at one point, we ended up being big in all the places at all the time. 
Um, more dedicated, smaller builds, some more maybe intermediate builds could definitely be helping us out quite a lot. I mean, uh, one of the reasons why things just took forever was because we just had this massive circuit factory that was just eating everything. Uh, and we were just constantly tweaking the circuit factory to make it work. And then we had like other factories, like the poop factory that we always need to, uh, to make um, and stuff like that. It probably makes sense to make like a couple, especially the resource factories, make them as big as possible so that we can make as much resource as you can. But then again, keep in mind, some of the resource processing recipes do require us to, how to put it, to have different resources at hand. Also, I'm pretty sure that every ore processing machine we had uh, always only had like one output and that was the most best output we could do. We should probably make it so in a way that we can let it back up. And if it backs up, because some of the more advanced refining um, um, requirements is not there yet, then we then just back off or switch over to like an older recipe. And then just turn that into plate. So that will mean that we do have bigger foundries that sit around that will probably either A, never be online or be always online. We will have to see. Good, 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 good. But something, something, something like that, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm still thinking about it uh, in my head most of the time. Most of the time. I'm currently having the problem that I'm playing so many games at once that I don't really know what to think about at the moment. <laughs> Curse you, many games. Um, But yes. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Here we go, here we go. So then more brute forcing problem. Uh, yes, more or less. We, we should build smarter. We should build smarter. Here we go, here we go. At least we definitely need all of this. And I do need to walk back because I do need to find my car again. Because it is somewhere. Here we go. Build harder, not smarter. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> something like that. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's definitely also pull this back. This will be the ash belt. Did it change the mining to aromatics? For some of them, it is aromatics, not all of them. Uh, for the zinc, it's aromatics. For um, the lead, it's still acetylene. For titanium, I think it's also acetylene. For tin, it's still steam. But for the lead, it's aromatics. And I calculated eight loaders, uh, 120 items loaded and unloaded per second. So a 40,000 train would take 333 seconds to load. Yeah, it's going to take forever. Eight loaders. Wait, eight loaders. Um, at four. Wait, is that correct? It will be four loaders and going at 90 items per second. So that will be 360 items per second. How did you end up with 120? <laughs> oh, if we use yellow ones, probably. Yeah, if we use yellow ones, it will be 120. And for lead, I think before it was acetylene, yes. But this one over here now does require aromatics. As you can see over here. Here we go, here we go. We also need to... Oh, it will not even burn on wood? What the hell? Yep, <laughs> uh... yep, 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 yep. So, I guess we're going to fire it up with coke. We're definitely going to fire it up with coke. Um, but that does mean we do need to fix this up real quick. There we go. There we go. Because we do need, um, outputs, inputs. Hmm. Wait a minute. And then you go the other way. Then over here we got output input. E. We need to build this a little bit different. We don't have enough space for this then. We have to put in a gap of one in between. Which is fine. A gap of one is fine. Uh, because then we can definitely do it how we want to. Because then it will be these two, and then it goes back again. And then something like this, and something like that. And then as for the output, this one over here, again, whitelist, ash. 
There it is, and you import whatever you need. There we go, there we go. Yeah, close this one down, close one down, please. There we go. Good, and then we go this way. Oops. There we go. Uh, good, 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 good. You go this way. Uh, technically, we don't need these yet, but practically, I mean, why not? If they sit around and do nothing over here, that's fine as well. Good, and then we can share the belt over here with ash input and fuel input. Can we, though? No, we cannot. If we do it like this... <laughs> uh, we don't have any shorthand inserters. This one will just make the belt even worse. What we can do... Wait a minute. Oh, that's going to be freaking annoying. Okay. I'll redo one more time. Pick you up, pick you up. These undergrounds on drills? We could go with undergrounds. I mean, at this point of the game, making undergrounds is not too hard anymore. Yeah, let's just do some undergrounds. And then we can do something like this. Uh, one, two. And then we can keep this. Uh, we then will then have like one input over here. Input, 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 output, 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 output. And then we just wrap the belt. And then we go again over here. Look for the ash. There it is. Ah. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Um, if you had pop inserters, pop inserters are cheating. That is plain cheating. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There was blacklist ash. That's probably also correct. Um, wait a minute. There we go. Hmm. What we could do is just do something like this. There we go. And then we kind of notice that it will be not required down here, by the way. Unless, of course, we want to... Okay. <laughs> Move it all down by one, because then we can at least mine the full field. Or field, uh, feed, field. There we go. Uh... There we go. Down by one. And what we just could do is the following. Yeah, we're going to have something like this. That would be the input and the output. Input and the output. The output, yet again. This time correct with the whitelist. Ash. There we go. And then we set the next one on top of this. And then do the same thing over here. Zip. And then in, in, out, out. Copy, paste, paste. Here will be next. Here we go. Then do something like this. And then same thing over here. In, out. Wait, all the way around, please. Please keep it the same. <laughs> there we go. Good. And then we have something like this. And this over here is also the perfect height for this field, actually. Uh, we could just continue this thing on over here. And then one more time over there. And then we have the full field over here. Which is great. That's perfectly fine. We don't need this. Uh, the only thing we do need is to make sure that at the end of it. And that will be over here. So the ash will be at the top. So we could do something like this. And just use that to get the ash out.
And then we just do this. There we go. And then we get the whole spell of Ash back. <laughs> that could work. Uh, but then we still need the Belt of Coke. So this could be the Belt of Coke. And it goes all the way over here. All the way over there. That's maybe a little bit too far out. Well, at least a little bit too far out for now. We, we probably will need to... Um, move it along accordingly, but then we connect you all the way over there, you all the way over there, and you all the way over there, and then do something like this, that, and this. Of obviously, we will have to landfill over here a bit. Uh, once we fully fill um, um, fill all this thing up, but this way around, the coke will be on the bottom part of the belt. Um, and then the ash will be at the top part of it, and this will be fine. Good! And then we just need to bring this belt back. Here we go, here we go. Uh, and I'm out of belt now. Excellent. <laughs> Only minor complicated. But it should be fine, it should be fine. Good, 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 good. And yeah, we can just place this belt over here. And then we will be fine. Let's get the car. Let's get us some more belt. Maybe there's some more belt on the car. Maybe there should actually be some more belt in here. There is. Lovely. A 6k belt beta finally hit the base. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a bit. I mean, yes. There's, there's no excuse for this. And the worst part is, at some point in time, we have to pick it up again. Uh, not looking forward to that. Absolutely not looking forward to that. But at least this way, we have some kind of centralized design. And even though it seems super duper annoying, at least it will get the thing rolling. And getting this thing rolling is the important part. Both will do the pickup, yes, but I'm not quite sure if I'm going to go with like a big... Omni-spanning RoboPort network again. I mean, we did do that like the last time around. It was kind of fun. <laughs> Maybe we do that. Maybe we don't. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, I should maybe also check if we can get Spiletrons earlier. Because Spiletrons are also going to be absolutely mandatory. Let me just get that tree real quick. There we go. Good. And then... There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's maybe get the input ready for now. Ooh. More research being done. Okay, we have to chop some more trees over there, but that will be fine. But you know what? Oops. This belt over here actually is... This belt over there. There we go. Could I have the big network? Feels like the only feasible way to play a pie base. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, the, the big network was kind of fun. I mean, things took forever to be done and stuff like that. But sure. Okay. Uh, you're probably still stuck because of aromatics. Yes. Uh, but there's now a whole bunch more space for aromatics in here. So we can open you up again and you can start working. The new RoboPorts. I haven't even checked if there's better RoboPorts in here. Let's have a look at them. Um, where would they be? Are they over here? Uh, it used to be... Oh, yes! There they are. We've got the Pi RoboPort Mark 1, the Pi RoboPort Mark 2, and the Pi RoboPort Mark 3. Did they improve these? We still got the weird recharging station. That thing was kind of annoying. The Pi RoboPort Mark 1 has a single recharge port and... Does stuff. The Pyro Port Mark II is already six fold increase in recharge, recharge speed and amount. Also, larger Robo Port area size. And then the Mark III over here is even more. So, are they all the same size? Oh! Oh, that's new and sexy. Oh, those are so terrible. <laughs> and then. That looks, that looks very un -pie. <laughs> I was kind of expecting a more HD thingy for this.
Uh, and then, of course, we still have the basic rubble ports. Where are they? Uh, do we still have the basic rubble ports? Oh, don't tell me they took them out. No. <laughs> the Rono port, please. Rubble port. Yeah, they took them out, so we do have to use these. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. I just look more HD when the tree by tree in size? Maybe. Maybe. So, last time around, we had these. These are kind of terrible. Um, but we had them everywhere in the base. Then at some point in time, we upgraded to, like, the bigger version of the vanilla version, which was good. Question. How complicated are these to make? Let me guess. This over here will already be... Red circuits. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. We do need the Tower Mark II. <laughs> and then this thing over here is going to be... Blue circuits. Okay. I mean, if, if this one would be over here, purple circuits, we would never build it. But... Oh, bio batteries. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and what do we need for the basic one? Craft. Yeah, that's not too hard. And I think that's also not too far away. That is, yeah, that is Pi Science Park Pack 1. So that is reachable. And Ragamuffin, where is my helmet? It's over here. There we go. And Mark Trees now for you, Trains? Yes, but oh, hail the bold Viking! There we go. <laughs> Trains with portable roller ports? Maybe. Maybe. Reachable November? Never. Never, ever, ever. I... No. If I would play that much Pyanodons in November, I would probably just die. Quite literally. Nah, one step at a time. One step at a time. As we always go. November next year. November next year seems better. Now, the thing is, I mean, not so far, 25 researchers is 25 researchers. That is true, but it's all in the range of Pi Science Pack 1. And Pi Science Pack 1 is basically how we made science in the previous Pi playthrough, the first pack. So it's not like we need to fully automate full speed up green circuits. We can just bumble it and just make something small and stupid. There we go. There we go. Good. Let's also find some brick. Caladorn! Hello there. How are you doing? Uh, Caladorn, by the way, we were playing some XCOM on Friday and you got kidnapped. Hap just absolutely forgot about you and you got kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> you are now uh, the plaything of, I think, the sniper it was. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. That should be good. I should also probably make do a little bit more on Name of the Game. I mean, I kind of wanted to wait with Name of the Game a little bit more until we get, like, our bots in. But every now and then, we're going to do a Name of the Game. And we're going to do one now. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Calador, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Also, where's my car again? No, is it all the way over there? It is all the way over there. Um, Let's get rid of some random stuff in here. I also got a whole bunch of random trees in here. Yeah, you have these. That's 57 of these. That should be good for a while. Don't forget to fuel the crafters. Yeah, we could probably also fuel the crafters. Yeah, have this, have that. And then I'm going to wait to fill this thing up once we got the final trees. But at least this place over here is now all up and running. And you're doing better? I was supposed to be of, uh, part of a major satisfactory event today, but yesterday, late afternoon, a headache of the likes I haven't had in many years decided to pay me a visit and finally subsided just a few hours ago. Yeah, I kind of had a really weird, massive headache. What was it like? I think a week ago or something like that. It's kind of started like during the day, and I was just sitting there going like, ugh, I've got a massive headache. Um, and then it took like a full day before it went away. Could have probably, of course, used like like an aspirin or something like that. But usually, when I get a headache, I just go like, "Okay, let's let's stay hydrated, uh, and hope that it will just blow over soon." 
Good, 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 good. So we're gonna put the name in the game over here with this thing. Uh, and it will probably be Xerits because his name is short and snappy. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing name of the game that often in Pi as long as we don't have the bots yet because putting down those names in the game by hand is, is tedious and fucking annoying. Um, and I would rather focus on Pi because if we if we diddle that a little too long around in Pi Anodons, we will never get done. Absolutely never. Good. And as Aspirine? Yes. Good old Aspirine. There we go. There we go. Then, what we do need is we do need to pick up some of these boards over there. And actually, there we go. You can have this. So that we can make all of these. So that we have power. Then, undergrounds we don't need. Pipes we don't need. I think we've got everything we need. The only thing we need is the power poles over here. And actually, maybe just build them like this, so that they become available a little bit faster. I think you can increase your woods to coke. Uh, we can definitely do that as well. Don't have the machines in my pocket for that right now. I kind of want to focus at the moment. I mean, this thing over here is working. And I kind of want to focus at the moment on getting the aromatics done. And this thing over here is already filling up fast. But I guess most of that is just coming out of the pipe. Also, <laughs> ah, we need a splitter. Like, ah, oh. why do we get splitters so fucking late? It will be easy to balance this, but we need a freaking splitter. And why does it go to 30 seconds in Amaranth stream when I get, wait, what? Why does when I go 30 seconds in Amaranth stream, I get 1080p and come back? It's you, 360p max. Well, pretty easy. She gets all the server power from Twitch because she's making more money than I. <laughs> there we go. I mean, if I would be sitting around over here, boobs out, playing Factorio, uh, we would never get done. <laughs> we would never get done. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, if I would be sitting over here, boobs out, looking like, like uh, I'm around all the time, uh, I would just look at my boobs and not play Factorio. <laughs> would a dump splitter be nice? Uh, I mean, we could make dump splitters, but... Uh... <laughs> no. Uh, we have researched them. We can make them. Um, where are they? There we go. But we don't have the green circuit boards for them yet. Ow. And the green circuit boards is the thing that we need. And that's why I kind of want to focus on green circuit boards. We do have undergrounds. That is true. We could make something stupid. Of, I mean, we could always just make something stupid out of undergrounds and inserts and stuff like that. I would rather just have a splitter. <laughs> and not only a splitter, a balancing splitter. Something that actually works without us having to build a massively stupid thing. So you get the mini loader. No, 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 no. We're using the mini loaders or the, the, the loaders that we have um, only once we can make um, splitters. Not before. Else it will be considered cheating. Okay, I'm getting out of my car. Car, I'll pick you up soon. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good. At least power's going through. Yeah, I've got to pick up my car now. <laughs> the old pre-filter splitter. Uh, I mean, oh, we don't have a map yet. We, we did make some very funky splitters over here or balances over there. Um... And what we need over here, we got two belts of coke coming out. Oh, that's gone. <laughs> we 
We got two belts of coke coming out of here. And one of them is backing up because it's not being used. And the other one is doing stuff over here. We could try to split and balance them. I was kind of thinking of something like that in my mind. Uh, if we have like one belt over here. Uh, and then we could do something like this and that. And then the other belt over here. And then you over there. But then we got three belts over here. And then it will be shit. And it will just be shit. And it will just be shit. And you know what? Uh, what we could do is... What we could do is something like this. We got like two belts going here. One of the input belts. The other of the input belts. Mm, yeah, that could work. That will actually work. It will also not really balance it, but um, it will at least work. I got an idea. Good. Uh, let's pick this up real quick. I mean, it's, it's basically a thing we've also already more or less made once. Also, I don't mind picking up all of this coke. Oh, well, now I do mind. <laughs> Arimia! Charge! Hello! How are you doing? So, we got this one over here and that one over there. Uh, they'll be going like this. That will be fine. Mm, and then... Okay, I see what's going on over there. We could do something like this. Oops. Not like this, please. That will be for the first one. And then we could do the same thing for the second one. So then we have this, that, this, that. And then all the way around. Also, we're standing over there. And then you over there, you over there, you over there. Good. Uh, let's pick these up real quick because I need the space. And then the second belt comes around. And the more I think about it... We need some more space in between. I'm just going to make a little bit of space in between. And then we get you, 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 and you. Then we get the same thing over here for the other belt. Then you will be going under here. There we go. Um, that's just to. <laughs> That's so horrible. <laughs> That's just to make sure that... Um, how to put it? Um, that, that each belt gets priority on one belt. And it doesn't back up all on one belt. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then this thing goes to the left. And this thing goes to the right. There we go. Good. We need to reverse the second belt? We just did. Left belt gets priority. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, left belt still gets priority. You're right. Wait a minute. But we can fix that with the thing in the middle over here. No, wait. It's... No, wait. It's this. Yeah, you're the wrong way around. I had to correct that there, but I think in the end I executed it the wrong way around. But yes, uh, we do want it in a way that one belt does not take all the priority. You're absolutely correct about that. Let's just redo the middle real quick. And I think if we just put it in, uh, we will see how it works automatically. So this one over there gets this belt as a priority. There we go. Ah, yeah, it's easy. Um, and this one over here just goes all the way around. And comes from the other side. <laughs> there we go. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> horrible. Absolutely horrible. <laughs> Bad 
balancer. Horrible, horrible balancer. There we go. Or we could just have like one of these. That does the whole thing for us in a single entity. There we go. There we go. Horrible, but it works if it's not stupid. It is stupid, it's horrible, and it works. It's the worst thing ever. <laughs> I hate it. There we go. Um, and then click view again. Good, 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 good. But this way, at least the coke over here, everywhere, will always move. And it will go where we need it into the mines. But it will make you so happy once you get the splitter. Yes, I only want to make this once. If I have to make it again, I'm just going to go absolutely bonkers. There we go. There we go. There we go. But at least it does the trick. That is true. Uh, okay, you're completely backed up on asset thing. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Um... I don't see any leads coming our way yet. Technically, we have everything we need, so... Not lead, zinc, sorry. Oh, I thought, it, <laughs> I thought it was saving, but I just ran into a rock. So, let's have a look if the zinc... Uh, no, that is a fine corner. I thought that was going the wrong way. The aromatic is going this way, that's also fine. There we go. There was some coke going down the belt over here at some point in time. Oh, there it is. It just arrived. <laughs> oh, and you know what's missing over here? Uh, at some point in time, I did disconnect the liquid input. Um, which we can fix over here. There we go. There we go. At least this works as intended. There we go. There we go. Oh, uh, my bad. Totenschlacht! Hello there! How are you doing? Good. Um, do I see this correctly? Oh, it requires four mining preparation. Okay, I thought it requires more than that. Um, mining speed is 0 0.5. Mining time is normal. So this over here is 3 per second. So that will be 12 aromatics per second over here going out. But that is zinc. Sergeant Froster. Hello there. How are you doing? Good. The rest of the coke will be coming over here soon. In the meantime, all of this can go all the way back. Nothing to be done over here. We are fine. We could... I mean, we are going to get the coke either way. Do we also need the liquid miners for this? We do need the liquid miners for this as well. Lovely. I got one on me. Uh, but we could easily just set up the zinc over here or the tin over here as well. And then we got the tin as well. And then the only thing we need to do is to finalize and finish up the lead. Then we need to do the flowers. And the sap. And I think then we have everything for the circuits, at least. So at least that's something. There we go. Go all the way around. All the way around. Past this horrible thing. There we go. Park it over there. And actually, another thing. I remember it. Uh, I did want to put down the name of the game. So let's do that real quick. There we go. There we go. And to do that... I'm going to take myself some alphabets with me. There we go. Because I do have to place it by hand, and I'm not really a big fan of placing down stuff by hand, but... <laughs> oh, this is already beginning. <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> Don't forget the seaweed. Yeah, the seaweed we also need to do, but, but the seaweed should be easy. 
I mean, for the seaweed, we just need to get some seaweed from the outside, set it up once, uh, make it loop once or twice, and then we're fine. Um, for things like the flowers, it will be a little bit more complicated. There we go. There we go. Park you over there. So, name in the game. Xenaris wants name in the game, and... Wasn't there Niploid wants name in the game? Niploid was first, and Niploid is the easier name. <laughs> there we go. And... In. Let's do this one real quick. Uh, I need something like a B. We can make a B out of this. There we go. We need an L. That's technically an L. And we need the O. And the Y. And last but not least, the D. There we go. That was fast. <laughs> Eva, do whenever. Yeah, we will do that whenever. There we go. Good. Ah, and since it will be a while before we get to the bots, here we go. I just have to bear with me for a second. At least Niploid is easy to do. The, the hardest part is if we, like, misclick, that's going to be, like, super duper annoying. That's one fat B. <laughs> that's one very fat B. There we go. This is, the name is short and snappy. You can do it real quick. If the name is like 10 million tiles long, so I will let the bots do it at some point in time. <laughs> good, 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 good. Then fix up the car real quick. So the Eva and my name is only, is, uh, wait, it's only my title. Ooh. Harry is the actual name. I see, I see. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's let's get the tin mining going. We should also check uh, if our aromatics is not overflowing. We might just want to put down, like, another quick... Can we go through here? I'm stuck. <laughs> Uh, we might just want to put down another tank for aromatics real quick. Let that fill up while we wait for the other one to empty itself out. Squeeze through here, please. Squeeze through there, please. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's about to flow over. Uh, what is this? This used to be Creosote. Oh, is this the backup tank for you over there? Perfect. You know what? We could just switch. We can just switch this thing over here. Stop filling in the air. Start filling in here. We can let this finger over here run out. Um, of course, this connection over here doesn't make any sense anymore. Sorry about that. Um, there we go. You still get the connection from the other tank. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And for this one, I don't really care about how good our pipes are. Or the distance. It will just be here. Go over here. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. There we go. There we go. And then connect it up to some kind of power pool. Good. Oh, this one is also pretty full already. <laughs> Let's make sure that you over there definitely make as much creosote boards as you can. Um, Yeah, fill you up. Make some more of these, please. Don't forget to connect the ash. Yeah, the ash also needs to go somewhere. Is that an ash belt? That is an ash belt down there. We also got an ash belt, I think, over here. Oh, this is the old ash belt. Yes. This ash belt used to go into the ash recycler. We could just connect it up over here. Also, pick up this real quick because there we go. 
There we go. And the ash that's coming from over here is now going into the tree farm. And from the tree farm, it goes then into the ash recycler. And I'm pretty sure that this place over here needs more tar, because I'm pretty sure that this place over here... Yeah, this place over here is not running fast enough, but that's fine. That's fine for now. Yeah, place it over there. That'll be better. There we go. There we go. There we go. Not like that, but like this, please, because then we can do this, that, this, that. Uh, how do we do this? We do it like so. There we go. That'll be fine. Tastecraft! Hello there! How are you doing? What an ash load! Exactly! Good. And now that place over there is working as intended. And the zinc over here looks a bit imbalanced. How is it that imbalanced? Hmm. That feels incorrect. <laughs> That feels very incorrect. Oh, do I have to check up on that? I don't want to go back there again. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, so be it. So be it. Uh, at least we have something. By the way, did I not make lamps? I did make lamps. In the last recap episode, I did make some lamps. And the mall over here is somewhat brightened up over here. So we can place down some lamps. Good, but let's feed you up with some power. There we go, because you're the science machine. We do need you. Uh, we do want to make some liquid miners. Mm. The miners are not getting enough fuel. Really? Is that it? We should be making more. Are we? No, 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 no. Even the coke should be more than enough. Probably the miners on the right side of the sink are getting all the fluid. No, it makes no sense. We got a massive tank of fluid over there. Uh, well, we're going to go over there either way to check up uh, on it, because we do uh, we do plan to place down the tin mine as well. So we're going to do that. And once we place down the tin mine, we can check up what's going on over there. Good, but I do need some stone real quick. And we got some stone over here. And coke comes on one side of the miners first. Yeah, but it's the, the bottom side of the belt is full. That would mean it would be the right side of the miners, and the coke is coming from the left. So, that would actually mean that the liquid coming in is not going in fast enough. Well, we will check. We will check. Okay, make all of these, please. Uh, we also need some boilers. Okay, we still got some boilers. Now I got some more. Uh, we need a whole bunch of pipes. We need a couple of these. For that, we need some more copper plates. Good. Now, if we had a radar, we could just check, but we don't have radars yet. Yeah, make a couple of these. We got all the pipes that we need. And that should be fine. Let me just pick up some small parts because we're probably going to need some either way. Uh, probably also need to pick up some belts. That should be fine. I've got way too many power poles on me. I'm just going to place these, just because they're broken. <laughs> um, do I have a chest on me? No, not really. Hmm. Yeah, drop some in there, please. We don't need that many. We could drop the rest of them in the car, because we do have to go over there and check. And then we do have to place down even more belts to get the stuff back. But at least then we have everything there, and we could set up something, something, something like a small smelter for them. And with the coke, we can definitely do better coke smelting. Can we, in the meantime... No, we have we have no capacities. Is there a way for me to go over here? No. Ooh. Like, on the map, if I look over there, I don't really see a lot of trees over here. There's a lot of trees over here. Kunuki Hydrate, yes. There we go. Okay, now it's even again. Hmm. Lucky Luke. Hello there! Happy Monday to you! How are you doing? Was there any kind of special event for Halloween in Bower Drama? Please, 
tell us. How are you doing? Good. Uh, in the meantime, I think this imbalance over here, maybe it was something at the beginning. Maybe it was something else. I'm not quite sure. It, it seems to be working now. It works actually perfectly fine over here. There's nothing to complain over. And now, hi there, guys. You got raised by Lucky. If you don't know who Lucky is, well, consider yourself lucky. Wait a minute. <laughs> Lucky Luke, how are you doing? Let's see, I think last time you came in here on a power trauma Monday, you told us a bit about how you, I think, finished your rundown. So you must probably be playing a new one now then. Are you not? Also for this thing, uh, we're going to make the same thing again. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, it is... Oh, God. I, we need a splitter. <laughs> no! I don't want to make a splitter. And actually, these are too far apart from each other. They only need to be of a distance of one. We won the campaign, and now we play with a new sub. Ah, see, see, see. There we go. So, how many nukes can the new sub survive? <laughs> Just asking the curious question if you already nuked your ship or not. There we go. Good, that will be 10. And then we do the same thing over here. You go like this, you go like that, you go like this, you go like that, you go like this. Snake that through there. Something like that. There we go. And then we go to the other side. There we go. Something, something, something like this. That will be fine. We... Probably need to flip those belts. Fuck. <laughs> uh, do we need to flip those belts? Maybe. Maybe not. Actually, that's not. I think this will be fine if we do it like this. I got a stupid idea. Then, fuel in. Other thing out. Uh, whitelist. Look for the ash. It's over there. There we go. And let's just copy it real quick. And then we copy it again and again. 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 There we go. There we go. There we go. We already placed the inserters for the future project. We don't really need them yet right now yet, but that will be fine. That will be fine. Wait a minute. Um Oh, am I out of inserters? Fuck. And an awesome sub, nukes equals none. Oh, I see, I see. So it's a little bit more safer for you then. <laughs> Good. Yeah, connect up this. Connect up that. Why did we not connect it up this way over here? Oh, because there's a belt going through them. I made the same thing again. Oh. <laughs> Remember how we decided to not do it like this because this is stupid? Yep. <laughs> I can be smart. I can definitely be smart. Ask me again on Tuesday, please. Just a copy and paste job? Yeah, but, but I didn't copy and paste. I started to think, and that was the problem. I should not have started to think. Because the moment I started to think, I tried to come up with the same solution again. Uh, and then, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. So what have you learned? Don't think, just do. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Good. Mmm. So, still, the coke will probably come from the top. The coke will probably come from the top because we have that old coke belt over there. So we can do something like this, something like that, and something like this. This will be fine. We're just going to pull this. We're just going to make it a grand, stupid belt build. There we go. We got the coke belt all the way over there. I'm going to chop these trees because I can. Not because I should, and actually chopping these trees is kind of stupid, because they, they do keep the pollution at bay, but um, no, 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 these trees over here, they deserve to die. Um, if I can hit them, there we go. Good. 
And let's not write down decisions. No, never. It's more fun that way. At least we will not have to have another coke belt. Here we go, here we go. He was trying to do an ideal solution. Uh, or to take a lyric from a Doobie Brothers song. Trying hard to recreate what you had to be uh, yeah, what, what, had to be, what had yet to be created. Yep. Ah. Uh. Yeah, well that's Victoria. Ooh, this actually fits perfectly. I'll take it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Then output will be on the far hand side, so we're gonna have these over here. There we go, there we go, there we go. Good. And then it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Good. At least that is in. Then we do need steam. How much steam do we need? Crafting speed is 0 0.5. That would also mean we do, well, one mining operation per second if we combine these two together. Um, that will be 10 steam. It will be 5 steam per machine. Let's put it like that. 5 steam per machine. Every boiler makes... If we can find it. There we go. Every boiler makes 7.5 steam per second. So... 2 boilers will be enough to supply 3 of these. 3 of these. So that will be 2 boilers. 4 boilers. 6... Well, that's a lot of boilers again. That's so many boilers. Uh, yeah, one of them is 7.5. So, wait a minute. Oh, but we only go at half speed. So, yeah, it's five. Yeah, one boiler, two boiler, four boiler, six boilers, give or take. Is it the same temperature? It's all the same temperature. They, they did away with different steam temperatures, mostly. You will still find it in some recipes where you then go, like, why is this back? I thought they took it out. There we go. Two boilers supply three, then three should supply eight plus one. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. A derp math. Yep. So I guess six. Um, and yeah, that's fifteen. That's thirty. That's forty-five. Yeah, I'm gonna add two more, just because I can. Ha. Huh. And then comes the ash. Well, we'll figure out the ash afterwards. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> Don't do that. Um. There we go. Perhaps to use the fire temperature steam for nuclear reactors in the base game. Yes, something like that. I mean, uh, in the previous Pi version, we had like cold, uh, not cold steam, but low temperature steam, high temperature steam, medium temperature steam. Yet steam temperatures all over the place. Which was kind of annoying. Uh, and just make a cage like this. Um, and then just place a pump over there. There we go. Then, all of this will be ash. I guess we go the other way then. Um, and then we'll figure it out over here. Something, something, something like this. It'll be fine. There we go. There we go. There we go. You need two in and two out for each boiler. Uh, I don't think we need to do so with coke. I mean, keep in mind, coke over here does have a higher energy value. And with 3.7 megawatts of energy consumption, and we have five, that will be five divided by 3.7. Uh, actually, it would be 3.7 divided by five. We will need one piece of coke every 0 0.74 seconds. 
And every insert over here inserts one Coke every 0 0.6. So we will be fine. We will be fine. If we would be using raw coal, yes. We will need two inserters. For this, we don't. Here we go. Here we go. Good. And then we extend this. We extend that. We extend this. Uh, let me just ghost this for a bit. Okay, if we put a gap of one in there, then we could definitely make sure that we can do something like this over here. Something like that over there. And something like this over here. And then... Off we go. And then I guess we're just going to do something like this. This will be fine. By the way, the quoted lyric was from the song What a Fool Believes. Yes. Does that also have a, a, a Hatsune Miku version? Wait a minute, that's the wrong version. Uh, <laughs> uh, my, my musical consumption these last couple of weeks, years, months even. That's also the wrong way to, to, to set that up. Um... It's just completely bonkers. It's been a while since I really actually listened to music. I usually have something on in the background, but that's pretty much it. Good. Okay. Actually, kind of happy with how this thing went. We have everything we need. What insert I can put in three megawatts of coke? Uh, still, wait, what? One insert I can input three megawatts in coke form, but coke has five megajoules of energy, and the boiler needs three point seven. So, if I put in a piece of coke, that piece of coke will run for like 1.27 seconds. Every inserter inserts at the rate of 0 0.6 items per second. So, it should be fine. It should be absolutely fine. If I would be using raw coal, it would be worse. Because if I put in a piece of raw coal... Uh, a piece of raw coal has 3 megawatts of energy. Yep, that is correct. There we go. Yeah, do I still have some raw coal meat? No, uh, raw coal. It should be in here somewhere. Where's, it? Where's my fucking raw? There we go. Yeah, a piece of raw coal has 3 megajoules of energy. If I put in this thing over here into the boiler, which consumes power at the rate of 3.7 megawatts, um, a megawatts per, per second, or three, yeah, megawatts per second. Then I would need 1.2 pieces of raw coal per second. And for that, I would need at least two inserters. At least, actually, two inserters is exactly the speed I need for that. Uh, the coke will be fast enough because the coke has more energy. It has five megajoules of energy. So one of these will be fine. One of these will be perfectly fine. And the same way it goes in, it goes out. So one in, one out. Done. And Marco, hello there. One of the best things about Victoria is that even when you get a lot of resources, crafting makes you feel poor. Wait, really? It does? <laughs> Did I miss something in Victoria school? <laughs> or do you mean like the everlasting feeling that you just sit there and you go like, I need more stuff. Please make more stuff. I need more stuff. Water. Yeah, we need water, for example. I forgot about the water. <laughs> Um, glitch dot. Hello there. Someone give me a sub last time. I caught your stream. Hi, Bolt. I'm also playing Pi and trying to stay ahead of me. What? Is that even possible? Am I not the fastest Pi player in the world? I'm probably the slowest Pi player in the world. <laughs> I mean, uh, as long as you are sub two years of playtime, I think you should be fine. Um, yeah, we forgot to hook up the water, but we also are missing some inserters. And I wanted to go back to get some inserters. I could probably pocket craft inserters. Okay, I could pocket craft five of them. But, yes. Uh, here we go. Here we go. But, yes, we should hook up some more stuff. Also, how is this place going? Okay, the creosote is going down. 
The aromatics going up and down. Perfect. What happened to your last playthrough of Pi? What do you mean what happened to it? We finished it at some point in time. And then well, we were done with it. I mean, after I finished it, I was like, okay, you know what? Not touching this anymore for a while. And then we haven't touched it in a while. And now we're playing it again. There we go. Um, so inserters. I do have the, um, the water pump. Did I really not place this down? I've, I placed down the the pump, but I don't, did not connect the pipe, did I? <laughs> God dang it. Um, and then, of course, we need to put in the belt back. Where's my car? All the way over there. And how are you doing all this fine Halloween day? Uh, I can basically tell you how I'm doing. My doorbell hasn't rung a single time. Maybe putting that claymore down in front, on my front door helped getting all those trick-or-treaters um, um, to stay away from my door. But yeah, putting down the claymore definitely helps against people trick-or-treating at your door. <laughs> need to dump the rock ore you're holding? Ah, we do actually need stone. Um, because we do need to make stone furnaces every now and then to make things, which is kind of annoying. I also kind of want to make... Where is that thing? Yeah, more of these. We definitely need more copper plates. And steam into the miners. Yeah, that's also missing. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff missing. There we go. Yeah, pick up these. Wait a minute. Oh, we also just need copper plate. I thought we need copper plate for these, but we have these. We need copper plate because you need copper plate, and we need iron plate because you need iron plate. There we go. Seems like stone for instance are prime candidate for automation. Actually, they're not. They're, they're so simple to craft in your pocket. Like, it takes, like, not even a second. <laughs> it's, it's so simple, it's not even worth automation. <laughs> I would probably spend more time Going over to a chest where we have these furnaces put in, then just quickly crafting it in my pocket. <laughs> they can knock on your door as much as they want, but the 120 plus people that live in the same building won't hear them knock. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, trick or treat. I mean... It's a very American tradition, and I do know that there's probably some people in here that, that really enjoy trick-or-treating, and they're probably not even in here, actually. Now that, now that I think about the sentence, the people that really do enjoy trick-or-treating are probably not in here because they're out trick-or-treating. <laughs> and it's also a bit weird if you think about it. Um, like, just going up to random people's houses and going like, here, give me candy, and then you get random candy, and you go like, what? <laughs> How does that even work? There we go. There we go. Good. It's just such a weird juxtaposition if you compare it to other things sometimes. But then again, nah, let's not get into it. Let's not get into it. Here we go. Here we go. Good. We do need more of these. So let's make some more of these. Um, how much distance? Yeah, let's just go maximum power pull distance. We need at least two of these. Or two more of these, at least. Um, there we go. And then copy over this. There we go. And that. There we go. Car. Give me belt. Thank you. There we go. There we go. There we go. You can't play outside. Yes, of course you can. Go all out and play and bring random doorbells. Yeah. That was the carnival here in Germany. Uh, and don't forget the Königsinger on... Je what is the Königsinger? I have no clue what that is. I mean, I'm, I'm very terrible when it comes to German culture. I I've lived in Germany, like, for, for so long. I, I still have no clue why the Germans are doing the things they're doing. Um, but it seems like, yeah, Carnival. Oh, God, Carnival. <laughs> I fucking hate it. <laughs> I'm really, really not good when it comes to Carnival. Uh, we do need an underground over here, by the way. Coming from all the way over there to all the way over there. Because there is a whole bunch of inserters in the middle of here. And too bad this isn't robot car when drones come uh, and install stuff. Yes. You're glad that trick or treating is not propagated outside the bigger cities where uh, the experts immigrants live? Oof. And they probably also don't know what to do. <laughs> like, just imagine you're like the. 
you're, you're like 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 an immigrant coming from a foreign country and you've never heard about trick-or-treating and suddenly there's like a child at your door going like give me candy and you go like uh what now <laughs> excuse me <laughs> and Koenig singer oh Koenig singer yes sorry i yeah 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 where the three kids dress up at the three holy men for the bible yeah when it was still like uh 18 and younger when i was, was still living with my parents uh they would of course i mean if, if you live like in a german village uh yeah they would be around and they would go around like all day going to every house singing for them and you just sit there you open usually you open up the door and as soon as you open up the door it's already too late because he can't really close the door at their face anymore um <laughs> Uh, and, and then you just sit there and they start singing and you go like, oh, this is, I don't really want to do this. How do, how do I get out of the situation? Please stop singing <laughs> for the love of God. <laughs> uh, I would rather have like a Jehovah Witness or something like that or a Mormon. Please tell me about Mormons. <laughs> Yes, you can close the door in the face. Just be uh, wearing something inappropriate. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's the star singers. Uh. Also, they usually come like, like, isn't it in January? Well, whatever. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There was a date in there somewhere. Carnival. Bum, 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 bum. January 7th, yeah, it's always January 7th. And that's usually like in the middle of the winter break time. So usually you're already like not really ready for anything. Ah, <laughs> uh, horrible. Absolutely horrible. Here we go. Men Mormons already radically Christians, Germans, uh, for which German became too unchristian after Martin Luther. I'm not quite sure. I'm, I, I never really kept up with, with all of that. And to be perfectly honest, I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, everybody does whatever they want to do because they do that. And if they knock on my door, they just have to be prepared that it could be that I'm completely naked, only wearing like my horned helmet, and they have to look at me and I go like, hello there. Bet you weren't expecting this. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. I guess we do need all of this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Um. Oh, I see why. Okay, that's a bit of an issue. That's where all my trees are. Still, uh, it feels like we're not making enough trees because you're not making any tree saplings because we... Oh, what the hell? It seems I've never really finished this place over here. We should probably check this if everything is in because there's some insert that's missing here and there. Now you see over there. Uh, so these are working. These are working. You're still missing some trees. You got the insert that you need. You got the insert that you need. That should all be working. I'm also not quite sure if side loading like this will be a good idea. Te technically, wait a minute. We should uh, redo that side load over there a bit. So that it at least... A moment, please. Um... Here we go. 25. <laughs> uh, so that we at least uh, evenly side load them because... Technically, both of these wings make the same amount. Um, so, one should go on the left and one should go on the right. So many Mormons started after, com uh, after a common convinced a bunch of people. Yeah, the South Park episode. Basically, the South Park episode. There we go. Like I said, I mean, whatever you do, just, just, if you're happy about it, that's fine. Just... Make sure that people will make fun of you because people make fun of everything, even Germans. <laughs> I love the South Park episode about the Germans. <laughs> Funny part was bloody amazing. Here we go. Here we go. And the friend sat down with them and they debated over them for several hours. Oh, you could do that. Here we go. 
Good. There we go. That works. And so, how do we make this even, Steven? Let's redo this real quick. Left, uh, lights are out of fun. Yeah, this one is a little bit weird. Mostly because, actually, yeah. Oh god, this is totally horrible. <laughs> one moment, please. So, what we could do over here, I know exactly how we're going to do this one. Yeah, do it like this. All on this side. Starting from over here, we do it on the other side. There we go. Uh, which means, starting from over here, we go like this, that, this, that, this, and then it will be even. There we go. How bored do you have to be to do the debate with them? Exactly. <laughs> you have you will have to be extremely bored. <laughs> or extremely prepared. There we go. There we go. And then fix this lamp over there. There we go. That should be fine. Good. Good, 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 good. So, at least... Technically... All of these should be working non-stop now. The output is still full. So, you are all still chopping that up into whatever we need. That's fine. That's fine. It could also be that we might not make enough ash. We might need to increase the ash throughput. Actually, no. I did do the calculation. Funnily enough, and that's actually a pretty fun calculation it came up with. Let's do it real quick. So, uh, we need 30 ash every 40 seconds... Uh, per machine. We got 16 machines. So, 16 times 30. That is 480 ash per 40 seconds. We divide it by 40, and we end up with 12. That is 12 ash per second. All of these lockmaking machines over here, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 20 of them. They should, I think, be running non-stop, but let's maybe calculate how many locks we make, and then uh, extrapolate from there. Um, we make six locks per machine every 40. We got 16. So 16 times six. Um, yeah, times six. That's the amount of locks that we make. And this times five is the amount of wood we make. And again, that is 480, which means every piece of ash that comes down here gets turned into one piece of wood. <laughs> which is kind of interesting if you think about it. I mean, that's a significant upgrade from a piece of ash into a full piece of wood, which then gets turned back into coke and stuff like that. Ah. There we go. There we go. And looking at how full this ash bubble is over here. Oh, that is actually pretty full. That is maybe a little bit too full. Mm, that definitely means that we sh could be backing up an ash. Actually, is it full? No gaps whatsoever? Oh yeah, we're, we're definitely backing up over here. And we will we'll be backing up over there, but it might be... Oh god, it's not fine. It is not fine. This guy over here is having trouble getting his ash out. Same for... Not this guy. So... What we could do over here... There we go. Mm, and now what? <laughs> now it's over here. <laughs> um, voila! That works. <laughs> and one wood is one coal if you burn the coal. Um, oh, yeah, it is. It is. We turn it one to one. We then upgrade it one to one into a coal piece and then energy efficiently also convert that into coke so yeah this is a coke generating machine it just makes coke <laughs> i mean yeah we, we just burn off yeah 
yeah this this is definitely a very positive loop a very very positive loop lovely can we put in productive demons in here oh we can Ooh. here we go here we go I thought you were making coke before now. Well, we are, we are kind of running on this raw coal belt over here, but, I mean, making coke like this is way better. We do have a whole bunch of byproducts we need to take care of, especially the creosote over there. Speaking of, here, after this. Uh, you can also make coal from raw coal. Yeah, um, raw from coal, coal, or, or coal from raw coal is technically better. Um, And you do get more out of it. You do get way more out of this. But with this, we technically farm coal. I mean, the only thing we need to do is grow trees non-stop. And with this, we will grow trees non-stop. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it is a massive setup for only from something like two belts of coke over here. If you go down the path of the raw coal processing, you will be faster with other means. But, I mean, gets the job done. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. And the balance over there is also, well, not really perfectly balanced, but yeah, you get the drill. And it would be so much more spaghetti with no splitters yet. Yeah, that's also the whole reason why we are... I mean, once we get to bots and stuff like that, we could remake this whole thing. Make it more compact. Make it more... Uh, yeah, how to put it? Make, it? make it more of a unit, and we could then just start doubling it down. But without bots, yeah, this will be fine for now. Good. Let's go all the way over to the tin and fix the tin up. I guess I have to go through there. Nah, I never drove through there. Mm. Now, the other byproducts are helpful. I mean, at some point in time, when we can start thinking about burning off stuff and stuff like that, they will be very helpful. But at the moment, they just... Yeah, I mean, the byproducts that we currently make, we do need them, but it could be better. It could be better. Nah, 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 demonic. We're now going to hook up our steam over here. Yeah, I definitely just did not hook up the water. <laughs> there we go. That's done. And then this pipe over here also needs connected. There we go. There we go. And why would steam generators need water? Well, to make the steam. Here we go. Good. And then we click the view. And then... You remember the drill. There we go. And then same thing over here. Here we go. And then you get the connection over there. Good. That's all in. And then the only thing we need over here, of course, is uh, output, 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 output. Ah. Um, output, output. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. We're absolutely missing a belt. That's fine. We can fix that. And then, also, please, thank you. Input, 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 input. And then you get one over there, and you get one over there. That'll be fine as well. And then we make one more belt. There we go. There we go. And two of these will be fine. You're missing the right most fuel belt? Yep, just did that. And then we go all the way down. You go over there. Done. Good. And here is our tin. Excellent. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Um, Do I have a turret on me? I do have one turret on me. Hey, could you... Okay, we already have some walls on me. I don't really think that we're going to need this turret over here. But I'm just going to place the turret over here. Surrounded with a bit of wall.
There we go. And then... Car, car, car. I can't take all of it. Um, I don't think we're going to need it, but the pollution over here will spread. And who knows what's out there. I mean, they, they could be creeping up on us over here. We don't really see them um, being updated over there because, well, we don't see that far. We don't have any radars, but yes. <laughs> no bullets for the turret? Yeah, we got some, we got some, we got some. Good. Perfect. That is... Tin connected. Which does mean we need another belt. There we go. And then we can go back and finish up the lead belt. And with that, we have everything we need in order. At least in, in order of raw resources that we can mine up to make our circuits. Now, we still need to make um, the flowers and the sap. So, let's focus on those two. Okay, we need some bulldozer. Oh, yes. Oh. There we go. There we go. There we go. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, God. Rocks. Really? Eh. It's in the way. Let me just set on the coke belt. There we go. Shit. <laughs> uh, off we go. And there we go. Pick up this, please. And then... There we go. Oop, 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 oop. At least for belts, we don't have to drive straight. Here we go. Just hit a couple of trees near. There we go. There we go. That should be fine. Yep. And then this one. And next one. There we go. One more more. And then that. This one. Yeah, like, like a, a bulldozer upgrade for your car. That would be amazing. Like, give it a little bit more pushing power so that you can easily drive through this. I mean, with a tank, <laughs> whenever we get a tank, which will, well, be probably... Oh, God, do I really want to check out when we get a tank? I mean, with a tank, this will be easy, but by the time we got a tank, you don't really have this issue anymore, because you can just let the bots do it for you. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Taking notes? Oh, absolutely, Ivari. If you want to make a mod about that, go for it. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Perfect. Yeah, that's a lot of pollution over there already. I mean, over here, it would make sense to make a tree farm. <laughs> because you can already see over here, the tree farm over here eats up quite a lot of pollution. Over here, the pollution will spread. And this was also the folly we had in our first restart or our first game of the of the series, where we started just in the middle of of the desert, the pollution spreads far and wide. If you like, in the grasslands over here, the pollution stays contained on you, but in the desert, whoop, <laughs> it just starts flying. There we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. Anything happening over here? This looks fine. We got a lot of gasoline over there. The creosote over here is about to flow over. And we don't have anything like a wire yet. Even worse than desert lakes? Yep. Very, very true. <sighs> How do we have this much gasoline? Did we stop using the gasoline over here? Oh, I guess we did. Did we disconnect this pipe at some point in time? It seems we did. Here we go. Or did we... No, wait a minute. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> gasoline pipe, gasoline pipe. Yeah, it seems we just disconnected it at some point in time. There we 
There we go. Just dump the creosote? I don't really want to dump the creosote. Um, what can we do with the creosote? Um, again, if I would prefer if we... That's why these just on creosote. I would prefer if we don't have to dump or waste anything. Uh, there's one good thing. Ooh. Ah, that, that doesn't exist anymore. God dang it. <laughs> we can always turn it into treated wood. Absolutely. Um, charcoal briquettes. Well, we were not even close to that one yet. None of these we are close to. The sand casting over here could be the next big thing. And the sand casting over here is going to eat up a good amount of a creosote. Um, and then dump it. <laughs> I don't want to dump. We can't even burn it because it does not have any kind of energy le um, level. Uh. The nuclear ground is minus 0 0.000025 uh, per landfall. And level zero, yeah. I, re I remember that that uh, people telling me about that one streamer that just started nuking everything. <laughs> uh, no, Spectre, we, we did want the gas over here to go over there. Uh, I think at some point in time we move this thing or something like that. I'm not quite sure. But we do want to make sure that we make glass over there. Ah, creosote, creosote. What to do with the creosote? Well, for now, let's just let it sit. It'll be fine. Uh, yeah, you can have all these trees. Start working on that. And even better, if this thing over here backs up... Just dunk it in there for now. How many do you need? You need like... That should be fine. <laughs> that should be fine. And just start making it into the creosote boards. I mean, that is definitely the best usage for them to treat it with. Uh, we do need that for the forming cap, which is part of circuits. Um, it's also part of small electric poles. It's part of the blades. It's part of uh, fiber boards and stuff like that. That's a very good thing for it. Good, 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 good. So you just start making that over here a bit more. Uh, let's just add two more chests to it. So I don't need to be bothered by it. That is a wooden chest. What the fuck? <laughs> Good. And then the trees over here can just continue doing whatever the trees do. Uh, they grow. They grow. Good. Okay, all of these also have finished products in them. You only made six. Really now. That's a little bit suspicious. Like, if they made something like 20 or something like that, I'm pretty sure they're going. You only made six. And the reason for that is, well, you're completely backed up. Yeah, that inserter is there. And this inserter is there. Okay, it's just because it's backed up. Sure, we could maybe place more of these then. Um, Who knows? But for now, do it like this. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good. Lead processing. Now, um, we got a little lead mine over there. We still need to hook it up to the belt um, and then move it all down over here so that it ends up over there. Good. For that, we need some more belt. Uh, I think there's still some belt in the car, but I'm just going to pick up some new belt. What's today's goal? Circuits. We want to make some circuits. There we go. That should be enough belt. That should be everything we need. Uh, maybe some more liquid. We need some landfill. Did we research landfill? We did. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> What do we need for a landfill? Is there a better recipe for that? Um, craft. No. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> 50 stone, 50 gravel, 50 soil. I don't think I can make gravel yet. No. I can't make gravel yet. <laughs> because it all requires a machine that either crushes or shakes and stuff like that. And all of these do require simple circuit boards. Um, well then, uh, forget about landfilling. We can't landfill. Um, we're just going to have to figure it out some different way. Uh, what we do need is at least some more liquid miners. For that, we do need some more iron plate. Here we go. Also, I'm just going to... 
Yeah. Have these. <laughs> I'm just gonna yeah, have a piece of zoot as well. I'm just gonna drop random stuff over there. Uh, just because I can. And at some point in time, we just go over there and we go like, well, why is there random stuff over there? And we go like, I don't know. How big is my base? Not too big. It's it's still pretty, pretty small. Uh, let's just turn off the pollution real quick. Um, I mean, we only have like two big builds. One is like the tarn processor over here. And the other one is the wood making machine over here. We had spent some time outposting over here. <laughs> all the way over there. And all the way over there. And we're still working on those outposts. Here we go. So what do we need? We need some iron plates. And the first circuit machine, it's, it's not going to be something massively big. It's not going to be something ludicrously in size, even though the recipes are kind of crazy. We're not going to be overdoing it. We're going to make it as small as we can, um, just so that we can get it done. And getting it done is the important part. Uh, what are we missing? We're missing iron plates. Just so that we can kickstart the circuit production. And if we only make like a couple per minute, a couple per minute is, more, is definitely more than nothing. There we go. The bullets are hilariously far away. Yep. <laughs> and your circuit machine lasted you for 100 hours so far. Yeah, I mean, the, the first circuit machine is probably going to be sitting there for a while. And we're just going to let it put stuff in a chest. And every now and then we come over there and we use that to, to basically pocket craft the final things like the jar versions and stuff like that. We do have an automated mall for things like belt and stuff. Um... But yes, uh, we will definitely automate uh, splitters. Absolutely. And crafting miners, we can pick up miners um, that don't do anything up. Yeah, also so, stuff like that. And what's the unicorn-looking building? Uh, wait, what? what is that unicorn-looking ore, by the way? That unicorn... Wait, what? <laughs> you mean... Wait, what? <laughs> that unicorn-looking ore. That unicorn... Middle of the base. Middle of the base. Wait a minute. Well, that's gone. Oh, do you mean... Do you mean the flowers over here? The native flora. The bioreserve. It's a unicorn-looking ore. <laughs> An area especially rich in biological material. The alien biodiversity here is very good. Good enough to collect samples to keep your gene pool refreshed. There we go. Yeah, it is basically flowers. If I just pick up some real quick. There we go. And you can see these little bots over here picking them up for us. And putting them on a belt over here. I kind of like how the belt over here just completely gets overgrown. And then comes out over here. And then it goes down into the mall all the way over here. All the way over there. And then it goes all the way over here. This is what we need for science. This is what we need for the first science pack. We need these random flowers over here. And we're going to need them for even more in the future. But for now, we just need the base pure flower just to get the science going. There we go. Good. Let's get the lead in. The fuzzy belt. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> it's a true field of rainbow puke. Uh, careful, don't don't say that out aloud. If, if, if Pi notices that people want rainbow uh, unicorn puke, then he will probably make a building in it where we actually have to farm uh, rainbow unicorn puke. Um, I can just Im imagine the machine. It's just like uh, a unicorn basically strapped onto like a table or something or in a vice or something like that. And next to it is just a punching bag and then a bot punching the unicorn over and over and over. <laughs> And the unicorn is non-stop puking. Oof. Pie, make that. Come on. <laughs> the disco cats still exist. Uh, I do hope that they at least fixed up uh, the black um, dance tile. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, we do need to do this better. Wait a minute. Let's make this better. Or the bot serving Belgian beer uh, to the unicorn. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. So we don't have any landfill. So over here, we already have an issue. 
There we go. How much ammo is in there? 47. That's like nothing. Yeah, have this, have that. You can continue doing this. In the meantime, we're gonna move some stuff around. Let's see. Uh, we do have to land for this at some point in time, so... Yeah, let's start making it over here. And then... That's perfect. That is perfect. So, Bolt, how much content has been added to the version of Pi compared to the one you finished? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. I mean, the easiest way to compare it... Let me just wait a minute. One, two... The easiest way to compare it is basically to compare one of the late game recipes. And we already have to uh, taken a look at it today. But if we just take a look at uh, the intelligent units, which is more or less the tier 4 circuit. If we want to make these, uh, it used to be that we needed things like the power diamagnetic resistor, the nano chip, the conduct processor, the fault current inductor, the cross light emitting diode, the supercapacitor, the printed circuit sub to tier 4, the condo core, which is part of the content processor. Um, there were, I think, a couple of other things in there as well. I think some things actually did get taken out, but now to replace them, we got the photon, the photonic chip, the organic quantum battery, and the biofat. The biofat is made out of what the fuck? <laughs> oh, more of these? Really? More of these? Um, uh, out of dynamicin, out of bioreceptors, out of aminopropyl aptus, <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, then dynamicin is made out of uh, photovores. Photovores are also used more. Photovores are coming from, from the whales, so we definitely do have to do the whales this time. Uh, out of the zinc finger infusion. Um, yeah. They made it more complex. There's also more ores around. It used to be, for example... Where is it? There we go. Rare earth ore. You now get as an ore, as well as the bolides. The bolides, we've also seen. They are... That's copper ore. Mm. And they are. We also get them as the bolides over there. But also as an ore field, we now also have antimony ore over there. Which is new. Mm. Anything else? Quartz ore, tin ore. Yeah, uh, the native flowers, of course. Well, they, they were already in there, but they behave differently now. We got the geothermal water over here, which is new. Mm. There might be something else that we have not seen yet. Wasn't there something like... I think I'm missing one ore. I think... Wasn't there another ore in here? Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm missing one. I had a zinc finger nuclear treatment years ago. Didn't kill me. <laughs> You're missing at least one. Yeah, I kind of have the feeling that there was one more thing in there. But I'm not quite sure what it was. Well, we'll find it once we need it. Have we seen Borax yet? Yeah, it's over here. Borax has been around forever. Um, Nexalit. Nexalit we do find in ore patches as well. Um, I think we've seen some around. That's Kimberlite. Um, phosphate rock. Kimberlite. Kimberlite. Yeah, we, we do have some 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 big next to the deposits somewhere, I think. That's more lead ore. That's water. <laughs> what we have not seen is salt. We have not seen the salt mine yet. Um so yeah, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, rare of ore was is new in uh, alternative energy. Yes, absolutely. Good, 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 good. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. And JD played it? Do you mean uh, Pyanodons? No, JD ne never played Pyanodons. 
<laughs> I don't think he will ever uh, will play that because, uh, well, it takes a lot of commitment to play Pi A, uh, Pi, Pi Anodons. Here we go, here we go, here we go. At least these are connected now. Then we need, oh, uh, we also need more belts over there. Oh, God. <laughs> I forgot. Um, doesn't really matter how these go. It, it, it really doesn't matter. Let's pull him from over here. And was there an oil sand? There was oil sand. We didn't really use oil sand the last time around. We used oil sand pretty late last time around. Mostly, we turned oil sand into nitrogen of all things. <laughs> That was our main usage of oil sand in the previous playthrough of Pyanodons. So I kind of have the feeling that my mouse is lagging behind every now and then. There we go. It happened again. Whitelist. Ash, please. Um, there we go. And you only joined in for one making a vid for both when you made partner. Yes, and he got that pie map from somebody else. <laughs> That was not his pie map. <laughs> good, 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 good. Uh, let's see. Uh, that will be all this ore over here. Mm. And Pyanodons also takes a lot of not getting sabotaged by integration. Yeah. I mean, we talked about it, like, I think last stream. Or, like, at the beginning of the first stream. The main reason why I waited for Pyanodon... Uh, to come out and not start it on with the early alpha was because we didn't want any breaking changes. And like the second stream we did, we already had a breaking change. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> Seriously? What the fuck? Not a big breaking change, but still. Uh, you would kind of think like, uh, yeah. Good, 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 good. Okay, this is in. Um, we need the gas connection. We need the coke belt connection. I guess we're going to have a coke belt coming from over here somewhere. Doesn't really matter. Mm, then we do need to fill this up from the correct side. There we go. There we go. Which is this side. Good. You get the coke. Yeah, but you should definitely be committed if you want to play some pie. Because you're going to play this for a while. And to be perfectly honest, I don't mind that. I really do enjoy playing pie anodons. But you do have to be committed to it. I mean, like I said, the thing I kind of enjoy the most about pie anodons is like... You get a massively huge base at the end of it. And everything looks different. It's not like you have like big fields of assembly machines all making something... And all the machines look the same. No. <laughs> Everything will look different. You will have cats puking on dance floors. You will have orcs sitting in hot tubs. You will have everything. Absolutely everything. <laughs> Good. This over here will be the coke belt. And then this over here will be the ash belt. Which actually does not come from over here. Oh yeah, the committed uh, be going into the nut house. Yeah, yeah. That is a very American slang I'm not used to. He already told me once that it, what that, that means, what it means to be committed. <laughs> For me, committed means commitment. And not being, like, committed into the nut house. Here we go. Here we go. And then... Oh. Oh. Am I out of undergrounds? Three machines missing fluid? Um... Maybe. Absolutely. Shit. <laughs> One moment, please. Here we go, here we go. Uh, you know what? Move this out. Move this out. Move this out. 
move this out and then that should be fine. There we go. Uh, all those burners? Yep, they are all burners. I think the Mark II will take electricity. Yeah, the Mark II takes electricity. The Mark I is a burner. Uh, also, what do we need for the Mark II? When do we get it? What do we need? We get this. Ooh, we get them actually quite early. Nice. They do require circuit boards. Fuck. <laughs> But actually, overall, they don't really take too much. And they're faster. But they do take electricity. Yeah, the inserters themselves are not burner inserters. Um, main reason? I mean, everything you burn, especially things like, like coke, uh, results into ash. Imagine if you have a burner inserter. There would be ash accumulating in here. So you would need an inserter to take the ash out of the burner inserter. But then, this one over here would also accumulate ash, so you would need another inserter to take the ash out of this inserter, and, well, then you end up with something like this. <laughs> or a never-ending loop like this. <laughs> yeah, no. Um. And Motanyon. Hello there. How are you doing? Looking at pie, I'm starting to believe I want to do pie instead of Space Exploration K2 because I never did anything else than vanilla. Ooh. I mean, K2 and Space Exploration is really, really nice. They play very nice together. And it feels more balanced and more natural playing it. If you play pie, yeah, you're going gonna, you're gonna to have to make some crazy shit. Excited! Hello there, thank you for the follow. And guys, you got raided by Motenyon. Motenyon, how are you doing, mate? Thank you so much for the lovely raid. And Maniac, thank you so much for the lovely shout out for Motenyon. How are you doing, mate? What did you play today? Did you play some, some, some? Wait, did you play some Pyanodons? Let me just check over here real quick. Are you on before me? No, 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 no. I definitely don't see you in the pie Discord, so I'm not quite sure what you did. Um. Here we go. Here we go. Thanks, I then. Hello there. How are you doing? And you don't need to use all the pie add-ons to play. That is also true. You could just skip on some of it. Uh, you could also skip on leg day. And you know what we say about people that skip leg day? They look like chickens. <laughs> Do you want to skip on leg day? Ah, I'm sorry. I'm just gooting you into playing more pie add-ons. <laughs> You should play what you want to play, and not what people tell you to play. Very important. There we go, there we go, there we go. Empire's on your list for someday. Currently, you're working on both SE and Nullius. Yeah. Nullius, Nullius, Nullius. Uh, <laughs> when do we get that back in order? Uh, I really want to go from vanilla to stupid crazy so you can work on it for a long time. I mean, Emma Orson, if you want to do that, then pie is your thing. Go for it. Here we go. Here we go. Like I said, play the thing you want to play, not the thing that people tell you to play, and then you should be fine. There we go. There we go. I mean, one thing that, that Pi does teach you is if you make a machine, make sure it works, because it will be standing for a while. Like, if you play Vanilla Factorio, you basically make a thing that will stand maybe for a bit, and at some point in time, you just rip it up already because you already have bots and stuff like that. Yeah, that's, that's not going to happen in Pyanodons. In Pyanodons, the things you make, they're going to be around for a while. Before, at some point in time, you actually do uh, patch them up and fix them up. Here we go. Here we go. There's another output. Here we go. There we go. Oh, out of belt. And then we get this one. There we go. Off we go. I guess once we hook up everything, it should be fine. So... Let's make sure that the coke belt oop, at least comes over. <laughs> you upgraded your PC for Pi? 
I mean, you need to upgrade your PC for how you want to build your Pi base. If you're stupid like me, and you make like a ludicrously large thing that is actually not really well, fairly well optimized, then you're going to need an upgrade. I'm pretty sure you can make a Pi base that is fairly well balanced and upgraded and does not use up a ludicrous amount of UPS. Uh, but then again, after playing the same map for over two years, yeah, you start to get lazy. I mean, it's like every project out there. Like, every project I've seen, like, at the beginning, everybody is still eager and they want to do things right. And after, like, a year or two, people start to get lazy and complacent, which is fine. <laughs> which is absolutely fine. Uh, but, yeah, you just sit there and go, like, oh, it's this project again. Ugh. And I love that in Pi, alternative energy, you don't use many belts. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's a whole bunch of belts. Was the stupidity or mere insanity? Um, I don't think... I'm pretty sure it's both. It was definitely stupid, raw determination to push me through that whole thing. <laughs> Donk. <laughs> and pie with early trains? I mean, the trains are not too far away. I mean, we will get to trains fairly soon. Yeah, let me just pull this belt run down real quick, and then I can show you. I mean, this is also partly our problem because we had the way we set up resources. But trains are down here. Where are they? Where's Loco? There we go. They're only Pi Science Pack 1. Pi Science Pack 1, you don't need to fully optimize green circuits to make Pi Science Pack 1. You do need uh, green circuits to make the machines that make Pi Science Pack 1, but Pi Science Pack 1 is just over here. And then you are already going into the territory of trains. Now, there is, of course, one big problem, and that is going to be you are going to be loading up trains with yellow inserters. <laughs> Really? Wait a minute. Um, I'm also not undoing caps lock, by the way. Uh, we do get fast inserters at some point in time. That is after logistics science packs. And then... When do we get longhand inserters? They're over here. Maybe just use a couple of longhand inserters? <laughs> Where's the signals? Um, they're there just after. Oh, insert loco. No, uh, loco. Uh, they're right over here. So trains is here, and then signals is there. It's all the same. It's all the same. It would be fun if you would get, like, signals very late, and then you would have to make something really, really stupid. But then again, making a train, still not as easy as it might seem. We do need already a whole bunch of complex things, especially things like brakes, gearbox, shaft which we all unlock over here. And the gearbox is fish oil. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, okay, at some point we do need to make fish a little bit earlier. We need fish oil for the gearbox. Um, and was there one place used beaver oil for lubricant? Yeah, it, it makes sense. It makes sense, but I was just not expecting it that we need to make fish oil over here. Um, electronics mark one that is also pretty straightforward, and then control panel mark one that is batteries and stuff like that, and then brakes mark one that is that's also something new in there. Yeah, we will figure it out when we go. A lot of World War I pilots got cancer for a reason. Wasn't it all the coke they did and all the, the steroids and, and all the uh, amphetamines? Fish oil is standing for loop? Maybe. Oops. That was World War II. Oh, shit. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> You're correct. <laughs> World War I pilots. Yeah, I kind of always forget that World War I also had a couple of planes going around. I did play a big game of Victoria 3 yesterday, and I was very, very disappointed that I neither saw the American Civil War, nor saw German unify itself, nor saw World War One. It was like, oh. <laughs> World War II had to go, no-go pills. Ah, I see. The uppers and the downers. Good. Uh, we need some more belt. 
we were playing as I was playing as, as, as Sweden. And I made an absolute ludicrous Swedish powerhouse in terms of economy. Uh, which was kind of fun. And then I declared war on my neighbor and my whole economy just went... <laughs> and I, then I was just in a state where I could not recover anymore. And I thought to myself like, okay, uh, how did I end up over here? Um... Yeah, the the, econom the economic system of, of Victoria Tree is still... I'm getting more and more used to it. I, I know what I need to do, but every now and then I get like a curveball in there. Also, the warfare in Victoria Tree is, is, is very stupid. I mean, it's very, very stupid. I mean, um, you can't even do a Blitzkrieg or anything like that. It's just like here. You know how war in Victoria Tree happens? You've got like a line that is like... Your frontier line and you got like armies on both sides and then i'm not quite sure how it happens or how it is determined um like both sides um try to get the initiative and once one side got initiative they sent out a detachment of their forces to fight the other side and that will be then for a small province not not the full province a small part of it uh somewhere on the other side and then the other side can add stuff to that and then you have to wait for that battle to end meanwhile the rest of the army just sits there and does nothing absolutely nothing because only one of them can go at a time sounds very world war one ish maybe that could be correct uh but still i just sit there and go like uh oh please can i not conquer this any faster <laughs> Could be that this is uh, more intended to be like uh, accurate for the time, but but the amount of time it takes is just like uh, the Sitzkrieg. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I like that one, the Sitzkrieg. Um, uh, obviously, my stuff. Blitzkrieg! There we go. <laughs> Have to be fast about that one. I hope you got it. And during World War One, I, I think the, correctly there was one big offensive per side, and the rest of the front was just staying more or less still. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and to be perfectly honest, my my whole knowledge of World War One comes from uh, that one season of Black Adder. That's it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. Oh, all the way around. Beep. Yeah, I mean, to be perfectly fair, World War One was not as pop culture covered as World War Two, <laughs> even though it's more or less the same people. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I do like, like, uh, you also see that in, 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 like, Hard to Find 4, uh, and also the attitude of the British, like, we had the big war, there will never be a bigger war, so we should make sure that there will never be a bigger war, and then a bigger war came. <laughs> here we go, here we go, there's my coke belt. And World War One, everybody got back into the fight they didn't want. Hope they wouldn't have to be in it and prayed that it would be over quickly. It just kept getting worse. Yep. And the end of World War One was basically what caused World War Two because <laughs> at the end of World War One, they they made Germany sign a whole bunch of bunch of things like uh, they basically how to put it um, the things they they made Germany sign caused the German economy to be so under, under such a lot of strain that it would be cheaper to just go back to war. <laughs> Which I also thought, of, uh, when you think about it, was also like, yeah, smart planning ahead, dinguses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to have a look at Ash. Something is broken over here. Um, something is not... Oh, it might just be this only, only this one over here. The rest of this is working, but this one over here is having... It's not like it's having issues. It's just we never made the other as well known over here. So, here we go.
Um. Here we go. Do it like this, and then do it like this. And the foundation of the D norm got uh, sent uh, set during World War One, so it was not all for for not. Okay, <laughs> really? That happened in World War One? Really? <laughs> That's where the D-norm came from. And so why should your great-grandfather was in the trenches as well? Yep. <laughs> my great -gran I mean, my grandfather, of all things, um, should have been young enough. But when was my grandfather around? Yeah, he was like, I think 15 years old when uh, my, 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 the generation gap between me, my parents, and my parents and their parents is quite big, by the way. But yeah, he was, I think, 1936 born. And then went all the way up to 80. And he passed away. No, he, won, he passed away in 1996-ish or something like that. And he was definitely 70-ish back then. I'm not quite sure how old he was, to be perfectly honest. Maybe he was 80-ish. Um, yeah, he was around back then. <laughs> good, 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 good. Oh, I could make a loader. Uh, now, what we need to make is two more of these. How's pollution by the lead? Ah, uh, we have to check. Though the lead farm is not on yet. Here we go. And you got, uh, like, your grandfather was in his 30s during World War I. Uh, my maternal grandfather is. I see, I see, I see. I mean, my father now is like 75-ish. And is he 75 ish? Yeah, I think he is. <laughs> I should probably check. <laughs> um, and from that, you can basically reverse calculate quite easily. And he was born in December 1880 in Copenhagen. There we go. There we go. There we go. Turned out the German industry, uh, war industry, was a bit too federated uh, for the war effort, so they started to set standards for Germany as a whole. <laughs> Oof. There we go, there we go. Okay, what do we need? Uh, we still need steel. Perfect. We can get some steel. Take underground stuff for me. Yes, I should do that. Wait a minute, let me just get the steel real quick. There we go. And then we can make one of these, and then we need... Small parts. We can pick up some small parts, no issue. And the first Dean was 0815, part of the MG. And these eight, 0815 uh, is colloquial for referring for something boring, standard thing. Isn't that also for... Ah, doesn't matter. <laughs> Does not matter. There we go. Undergrounds. Good. We got these. Uh, then some small parts. There we go. Just hoover up these, please. Um, 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 um. There we go. What are these sushi belts? These are not sushi belts. These, this is just how this thing looks. These are the small parts. There we go. There we go. This is just how things look. We don't have any sushi belts. It's just like Pyanodons has a whole bunch of different, um, how to put it, illustrations? No, um, sprites for multiple objects. There we go. There we go. And then you have an air. I'm in the way. You have an air. Paste, paste. Then we do need all of this in terms of inputs. I'm out of inserters. <laughs> <laughs> that must be so confusing. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I kind of like it. Though there's a whole bunch of different things on here. There's like like a little bit of chain, like a spring, uh, a little gear wheel, and stuff like that. I mean, it's also used for things like, in, in Vanilla Factorio, it's also used for ores and stuff like that. Not for wood. But if you take a look at your iron ore and your copper ore, it does make things look a little bit nicer. Uh, there's the ore. Because not every ore piece looks the same. So it gets a little bit more organic. But of course, Pi just pushed things to 11 again. And everything looks very different. Hmm. Uh, a super Bavarian always get an extra wasp. Yeah, but keep in mind, the Bavarian wasp is very small. <laughs> they do want an extra wasp. Also, did I not pick up any inserters? I picked up some... Oh. 
<laughs> I mean, if you ever seen the vice was, it's it's pretty small. Uh, wait, did we really use all of all of them? Compared to Frankfurter. <laughs> Those are really, really large. <laughs> now forget how tiny the Nürnberg is. Yeah, true. <laughs> Maybe it's short, but it's big. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean. Uh, my previous boss, he was from Berlin, uh, not from Berlin, he was from, the, uh, he was from Munich. And every now and then, he would just bring in, like, uh, Vice Wurster as, like, uh, a special for, for, like, work, so that we could all enjoy them. And, yeah, I was kind of happy to have that around. Okay, this one is there, that one is over there. Good, 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 good. That should take care of the ash issues over here. Good! The Bavarian beer is better? That kind of depends. It really depends on what kind of beer you like. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, if, if you like Hefeweizen and stuff like that, Bavaria is probably your, your best land to go to. If you're more like a Pilsner kind of guy, uh, you should probably either go more east or more west. Um, and vice versa, on Friday is a holy ceremony. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Good, 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 good. And if you want the real yeasty sugar water, here you go to Belgium. <laughs> good, 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 good. Um, yeah. We need some more belts. We need some more undergrounds. Uh, I think we got all the instruments that we need. Let's see if we can fix up the rest of it. That ash issue over here should be done but we should maybe check if this belt over here needs some more assistance yeah it's still kind of thick over here but i think it's fine and <laughs> being a canadian who grew up in pilsners you can't stand pilsners yep <laughs> that's fine there we go there we go and What's this? That's an old belt. That's a very old belt, but we need to be over here. And Pils is gross? What? Pils is amazing! <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I mean, everybody likes their beer however they like their beer. No, nope, this way, please. Good, 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 good. good. Here we go. This over here is the ash belt. As long as it's cold, exactly. I mean, since I kind of stopped drinking, I kind of also got picky about what kind of beers I drink. If I do drink one, I do want to drink something nice and special. So, like, if you just come around with, like, like a standard beer, like, like a Hüpfner or... Uh, what's it called again? Uh, the one from, from Munich. An Augustino or something like that, I'd probably go like, eh, I'm fine. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Oop. A Paulana. Uh, nah. <laughs> Can't convince me with a Paulana. I just go like, mm hmm, that's a beer. Don't want it. Now, if you come around with that special uh, triple IPA that has been uh, um, brewed with at least three hot virgins in the brew top uh, during the brew process, yes, absolutely. I, I will drink that. <laughs> Augustine is great, but you can't find it in Paris. Yeah, I get that. I mean, Augustine is great. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I love Augustine, but I'm, I'm not really that motivated. Uh, like, If you would offer me an Augustine right now, I would go like, hmm. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Three hot D&D &D versions. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, they're still hot. 
and maybe sweaty. And maybe because they're fat, but <laughs> old dudes. <laughs> hey, can't be picky. It's 2020. If you sacrifice a virgin, you have to sacrifice a virgin. And if it's a dude you find in the cellar, so be it. <laughs> it's 2022. No, fuck you. It's 2020. I stopped counting two years ago. Hey, where did my coat go? That belt is not thick enough. Donk. I mean, I start counting the years again once I'm out of home office. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, you just stop. Oh, yeah, you probably stopped because of... Remember how I turned this thing off because we had too much free assert? <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> it's gone. It's entirely gone. I think it has all been eaten by this machine over here. I mean, keep in mind, this one over here does eat 50 creosote per second. Uh, and if we have a look over here, how much creosote do we make per second if all of this is running at full speed? Um, let's start over here, maybe, with well, you then, I guess. I mean, we got four of these. We make about 5 per second over here, so that's about 20 per second. Then another 15, that's 35 per second. And then another 15, that is 50 per second. We make about 50 creosote per second. Red calculator? Now nah, we can just calculate that real quick. And we need 50 per second. Perfect. Lovely. I love this. <laughs> that's a good ratio. Actually, we make a bit more. I forgot this one. Uh, we make a bit more than that. Uh, we make 75 per second. So we actually do make a little bit more creosote than we need, but that should be fine. That should be perfectly, perfectly fine. <laughs> and your refusal to, uh, to count doesn't mean the rest of the world stops counting. Wait, is, is that not how that goes? God dang it. You could also check the production consumption log. That is also very true. Uh, fluids. Creosote. Like, of the last minute, we made about 360 per minute, divided by 60. That is about 360 per 10, no, per 6. That is then about 60 per minute, uh, per second. Okay, we are 60 per second. Um, and we consume 50 per second. <laughs> Pretty much 50 per second. So we make 10 more than we actually need. Good, 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 good. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, this should also mean that we should see some coke coming over here soon. I hope. I guess. Let's have a look over here. I mean, everything over here is working. A bunch of the coke is going over here into steam. <laughs> it's turned into ash. Some of it bleeds through over here, but we turn it into acetylene. We also make more coke over here. Which is now kind of backing up over here. We should probably splice this on. Not over here. We should probably splice it on over here. Because this coke over here is pretty much dedicated for this. And then we bleed through a little bit. And this over here is already coming out at 15 items per second. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense to... Actually, let's keep this over here. It doesn't make a lot of sense to splice this over here. We need to splice it over there. So... Here we go. Off we go. And then... Oh, boy. How do we do this? I mean, it's going to be one single belt. Hmm. We could do something like this. This could work. And then four for there. And four for there. I have no inserters on me. Can I pocket craft some? Six. Nah. 250 minutes, that's six per second. Is it six per second? No. Yeah, yeah, that's six per second, but 3,600 per minute. 
Maybe I misspoke. <laughs> so, add the power of 10, and then you are at the level which we have talked about. Good, you're missing iron plates. Um, ha. We probably have to check up on iron plates soon, because it seems that iron plate over here is not really doing what I want it to be doing. And let's maybe check on it now, because what's going on over here? Hmm. I kind of have the feeling it's mostly the steel machine over here that's just eating all the iron plate that's coming past. But the belts over here are also not really that full. Which is also a bit of an issue. It's not really like the field is going out. There's still 1.8 million. Okay, the field is slowly going out. We got a... That's Niobium. We got a bigger iron field. We got one over here. 3.3 million. We got a couple over there. <laughs> I don't really want to go all the way over there for iron. Ah, ah there's iron over there. Uh, I guess we're going to take that one then. Only one order of magnitude of error. Close enough. Yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. Here we go. But I would prefer if we could... Ah, we probably do have to tap that field right away. I would prefer if we could do the advanced iron processing. And then we can just use a new field with the more advanced iron processing method. But I don't think we can actually pull it off. Good, 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 good. Well, so be it, so be it. Okay, four on each side. And then we bleed you through all the way over here. Do the same thing over there. Four on each side. There we go. Got your first circuits, only 20 hours in. Dang! <laughs> We're late. <laughs> Good. It should be fine. It should be fine. I mean, we, we basically get everything together as well. Um, the things that we need to do for the circuits, of course, make all the machines. Uh, we should have all the ores coming to us. The lead, the tin, the zinc. The copper we already have. The iron we already have. So there's nothing much we need to think about that. Then we still need to make the methane uh, for the formaldehyde. That's one of the things we need to do. We need to make some clay. Make clay is pretty easy. Mm, and then we also need to make the sap. And I think we got it then all together. I just kind of wanted to see over here if we already see our lead coming our way. I don't see any lead ore over here yet. I don't even see the miners active over there yet. Um, well, they don't require a power connection. Well, we got the power connection over there now. Good. <laughs> the coke connection should be there. I guess it will come down sooner or later. Only because of this name in the game. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, also mostly because we're just talking about way too much weird stuff on the side. Good, 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 good. So, I guess it's time for us to take a peek at moon drops. We definitely need to do the moon drops. And we also need to do the sap trees. Uh, let's do both of them side by side. The sap trees, at least last time around... Yeah, you make sap infinitely in the sap tree extractor. The only thing we need to set up is a place where we make the sap trees. So we need that. And we probably do that in a botanical nursery or something like that. And don't procrastinate too much time on the sap. It will take forever for the modules to grow. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, that's why I want to set up at least some machines for them. Is it really forever? I remember kind of last time around that it was not really that long. Uh, we did something, something, we did something, something on the side, came back, and we had like 300 of them in a chest or something like that. Uh, I also got seven botanical nurseries, but maybe let's start with the, um, with the sap then. Uh, we do need to make a sap tree extractor, and we do need to make that sap seeds. And then where do we make the sap tree? Oh, it's down here. Um, yeah, I mean. It's only 45 seconds. Come on. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. 
Uh, we need the planter box for that. We do have the occasional planter box going past over here, where it goes into the science machine. Uh, though I'm pretty sure... Yeah, currently we don't need any trees anymore. So you know what? We're just going to switch this up. Here. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to make these now. And we're just going to pick up this thing. Place it over there. Here we go. Yeah, just going to make those for now. Can we also make... Yep, we can. Perfect. You start making these then. Uh, I did put my sap, I think, in the chest up here somewhere. And then we just need to pass the occasional planter. And it'll be fine. And the chest I'm looking for is this one over there, I think. I think I dumped it all in there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where did I drop my sap? Oh, no. Um, We had like a hundred of it in our pockets. Maybe I dropped it in this chest. Ah, I see it over there. Here it is. 109. Perfect. And then we just need to turn that into seeds. So you will make about... 40 sap seeds. 40 sap seeds will make... Oh boy. <laughs> about 8 trees. Lovely. Well, start doing that then. Uh, then we at least have eight trees. Um, the sap tree extractors over here, I think they do need two trees in total. At least I think that was how it was the last time around. <laughs> Will it drop my sap? Yep, I definitely dropped my sap. Um, but for the sap to be extracted, yeah, we want probably a field of 20 of these. So that we make one sap per second. And then one sap per second. Oof. It's two trees per sap. Yeah, so like it was in the previous iterations. Uh, which does mean we do want to make at least one sap tree extractor. So let's make one of these real quick. Uh, we're going to need some iron plate for that. Iron plate is over here. And then... Does it sound like a good ratio? Yeah, I mean, you're making trees out of sap. I mean, come on. We're probably going to need a whole bunch of sap for that. So this is just me or is my power flickering? Yeah, my power is flickering. Here we go. I remember these. Then... Off you go. Have one, have two. These are not connected, uh, but now they are. Yeah, that's pretty much still how that goes. Good, 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 good. Yeah, it's gonna take some time. Uh, definitely gonna take some time. And then have some more of these, please. I mean, to make five of those, we're going to have to run this thing over here for like a hundred seconds. And then... No way to make five of these. We need to have to run 50 seconds. Sorry. And then every 45, we make a tree. So actually, this is an decent ratio. This will just keep on running like this. And it'll be fine. And it'll be fine. Just let it sit. We're going to check up on them later. Then, next step will be the moon drops. For that, we need, uh, well, even more iron plate. So, let's start consuming the iron plate. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And what do you think happened uh, to Bolt? Wait, what? I mean, I'm used to it. <laughs> I mean, Pi always had, like, a whole bunch of recipes in the air that just take time. Like, time as a resource. Oh, uh, are the trees are reusable? That's not too bad. Yes. So, the actual crafting speed with modules 1, so, yeah. I mean, the crafting speed over here is crafting speed of... Okay, well, if we don't have power for it, then <laughs> that's also an issue. We should probably check up on power. Something is not going good over here. 
But yeah, at crafting speed one over here, it just takes a while. I just found the machine that requires me to use two loaders or it backs up. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Ooh! Rebats! Hello there. Thank you for the lovely follow. How are you doing? Oh, I see what you did, Spectre. Yeah, sorry. Um, yes, of course, I already ripped my hair out uh, onto Pi. But then again, it just... Yeah. I mean, once you rip your hair out, you don't care anymore. Be careful of bald people. They don't care anymore. <laughs> they just go like, I'm already bald. What's the worst thing can happen? And then they... Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. We can make one of these now. There we go. These are also pretty amazing. Look at these. These look pretty darn nice, in my opinion. Hmm. And what's worse going to happen? Hmm, hot dogs? Well, think about more like a limp dog. <laughs> we do require quite a lot of moondrop seeds to make this machine over here run. Um, and that will mean we will have to make some moon drops. Uh, Petri dishes. Oh, <laughs> there we go. We're in this corner of the game now. Okay, now we can make Petri dishes. No, no problem. Moon drop codex is not too hard to make. For the Petri dish, we do need to make the agar. For the agar, we do need to make the seaweed. Okay, seaweed then. Uh, we do need the micro... No, we don't need the microorganism mine for this one. Um, but we do need to make a sea bead, uh, seaweed bed. Uh, and that is over there. And that requires tin plates. There we go. So we're going to set up a small smelter for tin. The hair returns elsewhere. Yes. Usually uh, on the face of my enemies. <laughs> Good. We should maybe also try to make this over here run on coke instead of raw coal. Using raw coal is, is, is terrible for power. Ooh, but definitely also very good for pollution, it seems. Mm. What we could do is do wait a minute. Yeah, we, we should maybe think about a little bit about a little bit about power. What we could do is make, like, uh, another output over here and another output over there. And that is the stuff that we send into a power plant or something like that. So we could do something like this. One, two, three over here. One, two, three over there. And then same over here. Same over there. Let's just make it go this way. And the more I think about it... Oh, does that work? It will work if we do it like this. Here we go. And we're going to need an under over here. We expand you, and then one to three, one to three. Out of belts. There we go. There we go. Cute. About making your mates hair? Ah, oh, yeah. I should probably also. Uh, it's amazing how much hair, even even as a bold person, you still shed every day. <laughs> We should definitely give this another good vacuum scrub soon. Uh, there we go. So, what do we need? We need everything we need to make belts. We have belts. There we go. And stream next week. Both Viking finally lock splitters. Wins pie. <laughs> I just do the secret splitter combination and suddenly, boom! Game one. Uh, okay, we need these. We also need inserters. There's like 17 in here. And my inventory is again way too full here. Yeah, just drop these. Drop the coke in there. Here we go. Let's hope that is not enough inserters. I can already tell you that. Uh, we're going to make a bit of a power plant. 
I'm not quite sure where the power plant will be yet, but we're going to make a bit of a power plant, which also does mean we need to make a couple of these. Uh, we need to make as many of these as we can. For that, we need even more iron plates. Yeah, I'm still kind of disappointed that for Pi Alternative Energy, we don't really get a nice power option right from the get-go. We still have to rely on, like, ancient machines. Mm. There we go. That will make eight of these. Eight of these will make about 28 megawatts of power. You might go like, no, 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 it's more than that, but they can only run at half capacity. There we go. There we go. And beard hair are fuzzy, so I don't get stuck on all my keyboards. A couple of long black hair. I usually get to find them everywhere. Yes, I'm, I'm amazed at how many beard hairs I always pull out of the shower. Like, every now and then. I mean, that's the thing you have to do every now and then. A lot of, like, the shower starts to, to, to clock up, and then I get my, my, <laughs> my, my shower sinkhole unclogger, and I just pull the hairs out, and I go like, what the hell? <laughs> Why is there that many? The snake, yeah, the snake. Why is there that many beard hairs in there? You shit more than you think. And not really the unclogger, it's, it's the snake or the spider, however you want to call it. The thing that you use to, like, grab in there and pull stuff out. All the way around. I'm already out of inserters again. What the hell? Can I make some in my pocket? No. <laughs> inserters require so much. Uh. And that's something you have to do every once in a while. A shower? Yes. That's definitely something you have to do every once in a while. Everyone that lived uh, with a long-haired woman knows what you're talking about. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Raoul de Gaulle. I will try, man. I will try. I don't have bots yet, and making names at the moment is a bit tedious. <laughs> Especially long names, like Raoul de Gaulle. But I will give it my commitment. I mean, if we have bots, it's not a problem. Then I just put it down and let the bots do it at some point in time. If I have to actively put down stuff myself, it's like, ah. <laughs> and that's also why I'm a little bit behind on naming the game. Um, here we go. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I do hope that the iron plate production over here will speed up once we're backed up on steel again. Currently... How much is it? Hold still. And okay, there's 90 steel plates in there. Every steel plate is 10 iron plates. That's also the reason why the belt over here is so, so, so empty. Uh, so I do hope that once we're backed up over there on steel again, then things should hopefully flow again. Hopefully. I mean, Ragged Buffin got the name of the game because, well, we did that. And over here, we do have Diploids. I should put another name in soon. I should force myself to just, just put those names in every now and then. Here we go. Here we go. I'm <laughs> not doing the redemption until you got bots. Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> and then like 10 redemptions at once. And you go like, what? <laughs> Good. One per pie. Yeah, that's the thing. Twitch can't check that for you. It's not like Twitch knows the difference between the, the content you're streaming. Um, yeah, this is definitely a power issue. Okay, so we got this thing connected. Um, I mean, there's water over here. We could maybe just get the coke over here to that other power plant where we used the coke. Or the raw coal. And then let's maybe fire it up with coke. That should be a little bit more stable. Not like this. Oh. But, well, good. well, that belt is now going on a trip. And then maybe we can also expand that. So, off we go. And one by bye. Yeah, so, JMO, we'll put your name in as much as you want. But, yeah, I mean, uh, if, if, if. By bots, it's just like, let's just do it. Easy peasy. No questions asked. Done. By hand, it's like... Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I have to do what now? Where? 
Okay, let's put some coke in. This might also not be enough coke, by the way. Sergeant Blaze, hello there. How are you doing? And there we go. Am I missing something over here? It's burning down the coke faster than you would expect it. I can probably do a splitter with inserters to prefer coke over the coal. Ah, uh, we could do that as well. By the way, did it? Oh yeah, <laughs> this thing has started. Perfect. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's not working as expected. That's definitely not working as expected. I don't really... I mean, yes, you're, you're completely correct. A splitter would be perfect for this one. Single splitter, done. Just just push it in like that. Uh, but this over here, no. Not like this. That is incorrect. And now we're at even less power than before. Lovely. Yeah, and this thing over here will only work correctly. If, if we're like at maximum power, this thing over here breaks down. Uh, that's a bit of the downside of this thing. This thing is good if you are like at 50% power, but if you're like at 70, it just goes like... <laughs> Which is not something you want to be at. Um... Yeah, it, it has the no fuel sign every now and then. Technically, one inserter for Coke... Should be fast enough, but it is not. <laughs> good, 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 good. But this is also the reason why, why our power is like going up and down, up and down, up and down. <sighs> now, we don't have any oil burners yet, so we can't really use the gasoline for stuff like that. Um, it would be lovely if we could do that. Hmm. <clears throat> We could just continue on with the raw coal process. I'm a little bit surprised. Where Where is all of our coke going? Let's have a quick peek down here. I mean, this machine is definitely working. But is at low power, so we're not really making that much coke over here. I mean, technically, we do make 246 coke per second over here, which is fine. But compared to what we consume over here, 6 coke is like nothing. Absolutely nothing. Mm, this over here makes 30 coke per second. But a lot of that coke gets eaten up over here in the borders. And also into a bit of power over here, actually. Then, each one of you. We got four of these. That is 7 coke per second. And we got one of you. That's another 3 coke. That's 10 coke per second over here. That's not a lot of coke, if you think about that. So how can we increase this? How can we make this better? Also, why is the top one over here not getting everything, but the bottom one over here is getting everything? Top one. Let's see. That will be your output, your output, and partially your output. You over there, you're kind of backing up on light oil bits. Only a bit. You should be working on stuff either way. Um, this one over here on the other hand. This one is completely backed up on light oil. So, the light oil. The light oil goes over here, goes over there, goes into you. Are you maybe not fast enough? You eat 25 light oil per second. How much do we make over here? Each one of these makes 4 per second. Uh, 4, 8, 12, 24. And you over there, you eat 
25. So it should not be backing up. But it is backing up. Uh, is there maybe a connection missing or something like that? New. No. Do you eventually drain those tending ponds? Oh, they're, they're being drained all the time. I mean, creosote over here is basically empty. Uh, aromatics over here is currently backing up, which is a bit annoying. Gasoline over there is also backing up. It's a power problem? It probably just is a power problem. But then again, if it's a power problem, it should all still be even. It should not be backing up even if it's a power problem. But it could be a combined problem where we... I mean, the, the thing I'm kind of finding annoying over here is this, I don't even see this one crafting at the moment. I mean, uh, are they voided or do you eventually have to use them? We're using them. We are using them. The aromatics we use for mining, the creosote we use over here, and the gasoline we use over there. <laughs> we are actively using these. Though we could probably use more aromatics. Aromatics is currently backing up. I mean, the other issue I see over here is this one over here has 328 crafts, and compared to all the other ones, it's behind a bit, but the pipe is just completely full. Yeah, I think it's a power problem. Yeah, it should then be a power problem. It definitely crafted more than once. That's 328. First to the right from the top left. First, wait, what? <laughs> Marco, what? <laughs> first, first from the right to top left. Huh? <laughs> um. Yes. Yeah, maybe the fluid system deprioritizes and stuff, stuff like that. But yeah, but the pipe is also completely full, and the pipe is completely full because this thing over here is not getting enough power to to work at all. And if they all still make at the same rate, um. Uh, the cracking of the middle oil of the steam creates more light oil. Oh, it does? It does? It does. Ah. <laughs> Marco, that would be more efficient. Just go with that one next time. Yes, you are right. We do make more. We do make a little bit more. Just a little bit. So we do need another one of these. See? That's the issue. I mean, if it were a power problem, uh, it would not back up. So, let's make another one of these then. Uh, we need some iron plate for that. And some pipe. Probably some pipe. Probably a little of pipe. And then we get more aromatics and more gasoline. Oh, God. <laughs> will this fix anything? Not, not really. We will still have issues. Um... Oh, God. Those labs. <laughs> brighter, darker, brighter, darker, brighter, darker. Um, here we go. <laughs> and yes, we're all the ghoul. I know exactly what you mean. Good. Uh, let's get over here, then. So, we need one more of these. And we're just going to plonk you over here. You. And then... That's still connected, then. What do we need over here, then? Uh, this is light oil input. Mm. I see. Oh, God. <laughs> Horrible. Ab absolutely horrible. There we go. That's connected. Now it's all going into one pipe. If we just move it over a little bit. There we go. And then the same pipe goes now into here. There we go. Then, gasoline output. Over there. Organics output. Oh, 
Over there. Perfect. Commander Echo Knight. Hello. How are you doing? Welcome, 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 welcome. How is my Commander Echo Knight and the Crop Duster? What's his name again? Uh, Snow Kami? No, that's your wife. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> What's the name again of the dog? Um, I only remember Crop Duster. Uh, <laughs> Loot, there we go. <laughs> Is he still very farty? Ah, guys, we got raided by Commander Aconite and Snow Kami, two amazing people. How are you guys doing? What have you been up to? Let's have a look. Did we already get an amazing shout out? Yes, they did. Snow Kami, they are playing no game. Oh, that's good. Nobody needs to play a game. <laughs> and Liam G. There we go. Liam, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. And hello, everybody. Welcome to a bit more of Pyanodons. We picked this one up again because, well, why not? Things have changed. There was a new update to the Pi Pack. Uh, there's a whole new Pi Pack out there. And things just got worse. <laughs> <laughs> Things got way more complicated. We now actually do have to fully automate green circuits before we can actually do anything. And we're still working on that. We're already 21 hours on this map and we have not automated greens or not automated or crafted green circuits yet because you can only make them in the machine. And well, yeah, it's it's pyanodons. We we need to make everything. <laughs> we need to make everything. So before we can make circuits, everything is more or less a burner machine, with some exceptions. These machines, at least, do do not require burners. I'm uh, pretty sure at some point in time they probably thought about that, but I'm very happy that these machines over here are not burner machines. There we go. There we go. And Econaut, you were playing some Tales of Iron. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that not? Is that a, is that the rat game? Is that the, is that the rat XCOM? I remember something about that. Um, here we go. And show the small tech tree real quick. Sure. So, here, tech tree. All the way at the bottom. Hey, we've already done some tech. All the way at the bottom, we got the Ferric Victory. Re research this technology to win the game. Did you do it? Yes. What did it cost? Madness. Or something like that. Um, and it's all the way over here at the bottom. Just after <laughs> we researched Space Science Pack. Then we do something else, and then we get to the final research. And if we start zooming out over here, wait a minute. There we go. That should be far enough. It doesn't go any farther. Then we can see a bit of it. There we go. Uh, the research tree, well, it's it's not really a tree. It's 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 more like a tree a research landscape, uh, because I don't really see any tree features in here. It's It's more like... Uh, a shrubbery of madness or something like that. Uh, or maybe something different. I'm not quite sure, to be perfectly honest, what this is. Uh, one could consider this a tree, but it, it's just, it's, it's yeah, it's it's madness. Um, it's a research circuit. Something like that. Definitely something like that. But we have to go through this whole thing. We're currently all the way over here at the top. And we did research basic uh, circuits. These are over here. Oh, that's a little bit too far. Um, I think that's the correct size. Zip. Score, 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 score. Eh, eh. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Almost there. There we go. <laughs> we do have basic uh, circuits over here, and from here on out, things start to split up. But before we can do anything over here, we do need to do the basic electronics first. And with that, we can make all the machines that we unlock over here and all the recipes that we unlock over here as well. Good. It's a tree full of fish. Exactly. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Good, 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 good. It's a research unspeakable horror, something like that. But usually the unspeakable horror horror is a thing that's invisible. So that's fine. That's fine. And let's have a look. Let's have a look. Who came all in here? We see, oh, I see Private Paolo over there. Hello there, Private Paolo. How are you doing? TTK, hello there. Uh, Russell's Trophy, hello there. How are you doing, mates? Mm, and of course, no Kami. Come on, Aconite. There we go. And of course, Loot. Uh, do pat loot on the head, please. Uh, absolutely do that. And double rate Leem, you've been using Tarkov. How is Tarkov going for you? Did you get some more loot in? <laughs> there we go. There we go. A research net? Nah, it's not a research net. But it's definitely a research shrubbery. 
Absolutely. Let's call it that. A research shrubbery. And currently, we're trying to, to stabilize power a little bit more. Uh, mostly because, well... Yeah. <laughs> Base the multiple power. We're kind of tweaking some machines. We've already seen that one of these machines over here was not optimally calculated. Of course, I had the miscalculations. I always have a miscalculation in my calculations. Uh, I just put them in there for me for later to find so that I can... Uh, Enjoy myself on the misbuilt. But yeah, this thing over here is now definitely running more stable. Look at this. It immediately looks healthier and better. And I think now what we're seeing over here is definitely the power issue. Mm. Here we go. Here we go. I seem to remember another one of Shrubbery. Uh, Shrubbery was from Monty 5 and the Holy Grail. That's where it comes from. Good. But we do still have all of these trees down here. We could maybe... Oh, wait a minute. I think I see the other issue. The tar over here is also backing up. Uh, let's have a quick calculation over here. I'm, I'm not quite sure how much tar we make. We, we just hooked this thing up and started cracking it. But the amount of tar that we consume over here is 20 tar per second. A total of 80 tar per second in total for this machine alone. Um, and over here, what do we make? We make 50 tar per second with these three machines, and we make 80. Wow, really? <laughs> it just fits? What is this? What is this madness? It just fits. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm very, very much surprised that it just fits. So, this is the actual... Optimal ratio, it seems. Well, then again, over here, it gets a little bit, bit murky and a little bit fuzzy, but that's fine. You always have, like, like some side product where you just um, have to... Well, we could scale it up so that the side products over here uh, also have the correct amount of, of machines to them. But if you do that, you usually get something ludicrously, ludicrously, ludicrously big. So, this over here is actually set up in a way how it should be. I do see some coke over here. Uh, passing through over here again, which is good. But that is also just about it, I guess. Then... Hmm... Yeah, it's a little bit hard to tell how much coke actually comes out of the back end over here. Uh, and I do want the splitter. I so want the splitter. We can't make splitters yet. It's, it's, it's so annoying not having splitters. It's just like you just sit there and go like, aha! So, if you do want to have a splitter, be sure to leave Commander Aconite a lovely follow, and also be sure to leave Liam G a lovely follow, because then we get closer to splitters. How about that? How about that? Good! Uh, aromatics over here are slowly backing up. When can you make splitters? Once we have green circuits. And to make green circuits, we need tin. So, let's maybe start working on the thing that we, I think, wanted to do before we got raided, because we got distracted again, as always, because we always get distracted. And let's set up a simple smelter just for tin. Uh, and maybe set up a smelter for the tin, the zinc, and the lead. We do need three smelters either way. Uh, and we know how to do that. We can just use this over here as a template. There we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. There we go. So we're going to need a couple of these. Nothing fancy, a very basic setup for a smelter, but yes. Why well, you just spent an hour designing an iron plate build with five inputs, only to have one of them yet? <laughs> yeah, iron production also looks kind of sad. Um, we might just have to mine up some more. Uh, is that just... Okay, that's just a chunk missing, that's fine. We could get some more iron ore from over here. Uh, we have this available. And we already have like a coke belt over here and an ash belt. We could just make another belt going over here and then just plonk it in over there. Actually, we should have two of them if possible. But let's start off with this over here. And let's maybe think a bit over here. So maybe one over there, one over there, and one over there. <laughs> so we're going to do the smelting for the zinc. The copper, uh, the zinc, the tin, and um, the lead. We're just going to do that over there. Good. But yeah, the coke production looks very, very sad. Very, very sad. Good. But this does mean that we have to put down a whole bunch of belts. 
And we do have to keep iron production in mind. Iron production is also what we need for le uh, for belt production. So we might want to have a quick peek at that right away. Also, we do need iron for things like inserts and stuff like that. So let's maybe pocket craft these smelters real quick. And let's have a quick peek over here. And time to double up on the tree conversion to coke machine? Maybe. Maybe. Let's have a quick peek over here. I mean, we could double up on the machine, but then we will probably be sitting around here for like an hour just crafting stuff to make the thing happen. Uh, then again, if we do want to make another one of these, I kind of want to build it over here. Then again, the pollution over here is already gone. Nice, it just dissipated. Um, so I don't think the pollution is too much of an issue. We could also just maybe place it over here somewhere. I mean, we can make that Coke machine wherever we want. Mm. But yeah, iron, iron looks very, very sad. Mm. And this is fine. This is fine. This is just coal dust that we're using over here for fuel. That's fine. Ah, yeah. This lane over here is out. And yeah, we... <laughs> We are pretty much reaching the limits of this field. That's pretty much it. So we should have to go over there. And that will mean that we do have to deal with some of these bases around here. Those are not big bases, but they are bases that exist. Um, and for that, we need ammo. So you know what? Let's meet in the middle. Let's set up the production for lead. Let's make sure that we can make lead plate automatically. Use that to set up things like ammunition. And then we're going to go up there and liberate the iron patch. I think that's the best way to do that. Good. But that does mean that we do need uh, to get as much stuff in as we can. In terms of inserters, undergrounds, and everything. Okay, 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 okay. And the power issue. Yeah, we're just going to have to live with it for now. Uh... Spectre, I picked it up. That doesn't exist anymore. The ammo supply at the lead machine is, is gone. I already picked it up. <laughs> There's nothing for them to destroy over there. Not only did I already pick it up, I already shot it. <laughs> it's already spent. Yeah, put some lead ore in there. There we go. Pocket across some more ammo. There we go. There we go. Uh, then, inserters. As many as you can. Pick up some random iron plates. Make sure that we have everything we need. Let's have a quick peek over here at the sap machine. I can see it working. Perfect. And we got the 11 trees over here. I guess it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, I think 11 trees, 12 trees. Just let it sit, let it spin. We need 40 trees in total. Uh, we have 12. Before we even get to the circuit build, that will be fine. We probably need more than that, but for now, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. And let's set up the production for our lead over here. Good. We can also maybe tap this lead belt over here. And uh, the lead belt, this coke belt over here to fuel up this place over here. Uh, we will see. We will see. There we go. So, since the lead is coming from the left, well, from the right, I mean, uh, it will be over here at the top. There we go. There we go. There we go. They have so many inserters in this build. Yeah, I definitely have to bring some more inserters. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, we're still doing random researches. Love that. There we go. There we go. Uh, then. There's going to be a full belt coming down. That full belt we have to split into two belts. And then we also have to add into... Okay, we could do something like this. You go like this, and you go like that. I need inserters for that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> just need inserts for that. Uh, can I pocket craft some? 15. I need more than that. I, I need, I need like at least 100. <laughs> at least. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Let's find ourselves some way in surface. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, actually, some more armor plates. Here we go. Just hoover up all of this, please. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, especially this iron smelt over here. This one is, is the one that's very, very sad. The other one is doing more or less fine. Uh, it's mostly working, with the exception of these three over here. Um, but yeah, this this one over here is, is basically done. And we should then probably also pick up this field and redistribute the miners over there. And maybe see if we can find a better orientation for them. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh... I want my electric miners. Well, then again, once we have electric miners, we probably also have to figure out how we can do better power. I guess that will come hand in hand. I hope it comes hand in hand. But oof. <laughs> I mean, we got a big base. Things are doing stuff, but it's it's just tedious. Super duper tedious. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, power is all over the place. At least the thing we're building over here does not require any power, so that's fine as well. Good. Um, What do we need over here? At least six. Probably seven. Let's go with eight. So the lead belt over here will be distributed half and half on that other belt over there. And then the only thing we need to do is to make sure that we add on top uh, the coke. So then we can cook it. As soon as you get to electric miners, we do for your power. True. The one thing I kind of do want to... Wait a minute. Uh, the one thing I do kind of want to get is at least some kind of way to make decent coal out of the raw coal. And I think the current only recipe that we have for that... Let's let's check that real quick. Not that I'm talking out of my ass, which does happen every now and then. Uh, usage. Yeah, the only one we currently have is to turn it straight up into coal. And this is a terrible recipe. This one over here is 30 joules or megajoules of energy into 12 over here. Uh, this one is really, really good. This one just crushes the raw coal into two pieces of coal and a bit of crushed coal, which also still has a lot of energy. Uh, the crushed coal then is for, 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 for the later uh, processing part, but you can just use this for, for fuel as well. And then... Yeah. This is the recipe you want to have. And this one over here we get as soon as we get... That's the first thing we're going to get off the Pythons Pack 1. There we go. Here we go. I put down another underground under a tree. That's that's so annoying. Putting underground belts on the trees. There we go. There we go. Good. It also kind of seems that the acetylene we're making is not enough. Just kind of weird and interesting at the same time. I mean, there's not a lot of acetylene going through those pipes. Good. So, lead is coming over here. And we're going to be just, just messing it up over there. I got 24 inserts in my pocket. Let's hope that's enough. And don't really care about the ash right now. But if we do have to place it down, sure, why not? Here we go, here we go, here we go. And then we're missing like three inserters. Actually, we're missing more than that, but sure. It'll be fine. Good. This one over here. And then this little snake. Done. And then, of course, this thing over here. Uh, actually, it's right over there. Let's play it. No, oh, that's nickel plate. Let's play, please. Here we go. Good. I guess the job done. There comes a lead ore. And wait a minute here. 
be done with that. And then the only thing we need is a couple more inserters. And then we have to tap over here this coke belt. I think I'll just do something stupid with it. You will see what we're going to do with that soon. But the thing we currently need is more iron plates to make more inserters. Lovely. Mm, hey, wait a minute. Ooh. I'll take those. <laughs> I'll take those. <laughs> uh, inserters and belts. Yeah, that will be fine. That will be perfectly fine. Cute. We also still have all this Kerrigan over there. Can we already use our Kerrigan? Where is it even? Is it in here? Is it in there? Where's my arrow ore? Usage. We could crack that already into shale oil. And shale oil we can crack into... What the hell is this? What is that? <laughs> and uh, antimony. Mm. Ooh. That's a recipe that's red. Fuel oil is pretty darn good, if you think about it. But that also means that's a recipe that's unavailable. Same for this one. I mean, there's no research tied to this recipe. Um... Uh... Does the alt left click from the inventory for recipe work today, by the way? The alt click. Let's have a look. Uh, um, there was an update for recipe book. Uh, I have not updated yet, Simrock. If, that is <laughs> if there was a fix for that, like, later today, then no. But then again, it could also be just a system-wide thing. Um, because I kind of noticed that alt click also didn't work for me for uh, Victoria Tree. I also had issues with that. It could be a completely different issue. There we go. And you open there. You open there. And then... There we go. Okay. You go over there first. And actually, the more I think about this... Um, we're just going to pull it over here. I mean, we already know where it goes. Yeah, it, it could maybe just be an issue on my, my system. Because I noticed that alt-click also didn't work on other things as well. So it might just be another whole other, another thing. I also kind of noticed that, that for whatever reason, uh, my, my Thunderbird, which I use for my work email... Uh, just does not want to eat my credentials. And when I look in, I log into my uh, Outlook uh, 365, it just eats it and accepts it. And there's definitely something weird going on. Let's put it like that. There's definitely something weird going on. Good. So we moved the coke belt around a little bit. Um, yeah, we're just going to let that sit over there. And there we go. That looks good. That looks very good. That's a whole bunch of lead plate coming out of here. Also, definitely do stand in the middle of all the smelters and then just inhale the lead fumes. <sighs> it's good for you. It's very good for you. Um, kind of concerned if we need to add more fuel. I think we need one more inserter for fuel. Here we go. That should be fine. Good. Yeah, that actually works. That also kind of looks nice. <laughs> it just gets the job done. Uh, sure, 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 sure. There we go. We do have the ash belt over here. Um, we definitely do need to do something with the ash belt. The ash belt needs to go... Wait a minute. That should be an ash belt. Perfect. I'm just going to use that one. Almost. There we go. And this place over here also have the issue that we're completely backed up on things like here again. Again. Oops. Oh, we do need those. So I guess it's another iteration of let's expand the deep storage. 
<laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, we're not really doing much of that at the moment, but there we go. That should be fine. And that is lead plate, at least done for now. So with that, we can now come over here every now and then, just consume all of this lead plate and turn it all into ammo. Also, the pocket recipe for lead plate is definitely way faster than the pocket recipe for the other armor uh, ammo over here. So that will be fine as well. Good, 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 good. So ammo is dealt with for now. Even though we're pocket crafting it, it's fine. At some point in time, we might want to automate it, but that should be good. We could set up um, the next one over here for tin and stuff as well. We should probably set up tin at least, because we do need tin plate for the seaweed. Let's make a little bit of space over here. There we go. Just want us to punch a tree. <laughs> uh, we do need to pull this out a little bit more, because we don't have the space over here. Um, and then we could just do this. And we could just do that. With that, the fuel can come over the end. And then we got the tin belt over there. We can do the exact same thing over here. So, wait a minute. No, this is stupid. These need to be on the outside, not on the inside. Uh, it needs to be over there. And you need to be over there. There we go. Let's pick this up real quick. There we go. And there we go. I guess automation isn't simpler as an assembler based on the uh, uh, lead plate. Yeah. I mean, we could do that at the end, but nah. Nah, nah, we don't. We don't. We don't. It'll be fine. And then we're going to have one over here, one over there. And then one over here. Basically the exact same thing as we made over there. And then this thing comes from down here somewhere. There we go. That will be the template. Oops. Uh, let's set you up as well. Almost. Also. Eh. Yeah, I'm out of belt. Lovely. And then we can do the same thing over here. Zip. Zip. There we go. And then we can place at least these. And then we can get the template going. And technically we need to do the same thing for the zinc as well. But one at a time. There we go. There we go. That's one too many. There we go. There we go. And then we need even more stuff. There we go. Good. Uh, while we're here, might as well place these real quick. I mean, this way, this way around, at least these machines over here can already start crafting the template. And we can just pick it up out of the machine. Yeah, that, that should work. <laughs> just have to double check real quick. Um... But we have, again, the coke issue. And why do we have the coke issue? Because our aromatics over here have topped up. And... Okay, it doesn't really seem that these machines can overflow. I'm kind of happy about that. But we do have too many aromatics. Mm. Here we go. I mean, this thing is full doesn't seem to flow over. It never really seemed to have flown, uh, even even in the last Pyanonons version. Uh, my tailing dumps never really seemed, or tailing sinks, uh, tailing ponds over here never really seemed to flow over. So, I guess that's fine, but we do have a whole bunch of aromatics now sitting around over here, which is also still a bit of an issue. Good, 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 good. How is this place doing? <laughs> Fixed soon? Maybe, maybe. Okay, there's 14 in there. What happens if it flows over? Uh, it basically just sullies the ground and it makes it slow to walk over and stuff like that. 
It used to be a thing in the previous Pi version. I've never seen it happen before. I've seen screenshots of, of it happening, but I've never seen it happen before. Uh, let's make another sap extractor real quick. Here we go. It's definitely in, uh, still in the code linked uh, and shared. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> but like I said, I've never seen it happen before. Um, but sure, I mean, uh, maybe it's just a me thing again. It could just be a me thing. Uh, like I said, I've, I've also seen screenshots of it happening where people were like, uh, Bolt, what is this? And I go like, oh, is that actually happening for you? And I was like, oh. I mean, you have to spill too? Really? The opponents are stuck at 95, not 100%, are they? Uh, the, the one of them was definitely full. Or maybe we just came in time. Who knows? Now, if set the recipe, there we go. I mean, this thing over here is definitely full, 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 full. And there's still stuff in the pipe as well. Well, I guess so be it. Also, I'm, I'm still a bit disappointed that there's, like, no full state in the animation over here. Come on. Show me that it's full, please. It made such a beautiful sprite. Where, where's the final animation? Try pumping it in. Ah, maybe that's the case. Because we're not pumping it in. Maybe, maybe if you pump it in, maybe then it can overflow. Because we're definitely not pumping it in. We're definitely pumping it only out. I mean, we still got some, some stuff in this pipe over here. You might be thinking, what the hell am I doing? But, but trust me, trust me. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it should overflow by now, in my opinion. <laughs> But it does not. Maybe take care of this pipe. And it should check every 30 seconds. Or every 30 ticks. That's actually quite fast. That's like two times per second. But but if it's checking every 30 ticks, is that not like a bit of a time sink? Then again, we will probably not have these tailing spawns everywhere for a while. So it should be fine. Well, I'm just going to let it sit like this. Maybe, maybe something happened. Wait, wait. You hear that one squishy step? It's right over here. It spawned six tiles from the center. Okay. Perhaps wait? Hmm. Well, maybe at some point in time we'll pick it up and then we can see under it. Um. I do hear a squishy step over here, but that could be anything. Who knows? Who knows? I think it's an invisible worm shot. Maybe it's that. Who knows? Um. Good. Good, 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 good. So be it. So be it. What are we working on? We're, we're still working on more inserters. There we go. That's another 60. Lovely. I need a 60. Uh, we also need some more small parts. We got a whole bunch of small parts over here. There we go. We we'll still have these two over here. <laughs> Just sitting around. We should maybe pick them up at some point in time. Um... Because that would explain how the player could get bucked down in the spill. Yep, yep, yep. Well, maybe. Who knows? 
Uh, then I kind of want to steal some more iron plates from over there. There we go. Yeah, we can pilfer this place over here. Oh, that was ash. Never mind. I, and there's also still a whole bunch of belt over here. Actually, that's not a whole bunch. That is like 400 or 800 belt in total. And the more I think about it, the more we should probably just start pilfering this whole place over here. Because we're not using it anymore. Okay, now we're full on stuffing. Um, here. Just want to get rid of this coal real quick. Now they're all full. <laughs> well, we will see. We will see. We're just going to have to keep in mind that there is a spill potential over there. Here we go. Here we go. Good. So, belts. Ah, we do need some more belts and some undergrounds as well. Oh, I'm, we're playing very inefficient. Uh, yeah. Have this coke. <laughs> have fun with that. Yeah, have this coal dust. Have fun with that. Let's get some more belt and some more undergrounds. And then we can at least put down the tin smelter. And technically, why not also make that uh, final smelter uh, for the zinc plate? And then we got everything. And then we're happy for a while. So, pick up these. Pick up those. That should be enough. I hope. <laughs> I do hope that is enough. There we go. There we go. And then all the way over here. There they are. Okay, I can see the smelters over there active. I can also see that we have some tin plate. Perfect. So let's finish this thing then. Uh, and we need all this over here. Let's focus on the tin smelter first. There we go. And then make this thing. Then make the snake. Snake starts here. Yeah, that 1.1 update with like the smart belt. So lovely. I love that. Here we go. And then put in the inserters for the tin plate. Here we go. Oh, almost. Here we go, and then these over here. After this, we'll probably need more inserters, because I think it's like 100 inserters for this whole build. We can actually check real quick. It is 80. I have in my pocket less. Now I have 80. Perfect. <laughs> and then, very important over here, we need to set the plate over here to tin plate. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, it's actually not too hard to set up all of this, but it just takes a bit of time. And that's definitely the, the, the quintessence of Pyanodons. Just, just bring some time. You're going to need it. We are also through our research queue, of all things. No bots? <laughs> we are not too far away from bots, but we don't have circuits yet. As long as you don't have circuits, you don't even have to think about bots. Like, no, 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 no. We can start thinking about bots the moment we get to circuits and to Pi Science 2. Or Pi Science 1, I think it is. Um, that's when we can start thinking in terms of bots. And even then, the bots we get will be terribly and slow, but it will be good enough to at least automate construction. And also maybe automate a bit of a mall or something like that. We can't really automate the full mall. But maybe just to make some buildings and stuff like that, that will be enough. Everyone seems to come up with different solutions for the ash problem. I don't really find the ash that much of a problem. I mean, we just put it like into our big ash sorter, which is kind of backing up at the moment. So we have to check it up real quick again. Um, we just start pushing into there and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. You know what research we should probably do? Where is it even? Mm, we should probably focus our research at least a little bit into there it is everything we need for this and do you have a hidden requirement <laughs> um why are we just not seeing it excuse 
Excuse me? Uh, one. Oh, wait, there is one missing. What is missing? This one's missing. I was just being blind. Never mind. There we go. The green talk symbol. Yep. <laughs> Maniac. Is, oh god, is it already that late? Shit, I was kind of sure we would do <laughs> we would do circuits by the end of today. Well, good news. Uh, it, it, there is a national holiday, so I will be able to stream a bit longer, and we are definitely going to stream a bit longer. Uh, not too long, because I don't really want to completely whack. Uh, my sleep schedule and also I do still have to record uh, everything I wanted to record on Sunday because I didn't really do shit on Sunday yesterday um, <laughs> were you happy that you went with medium pie as over the crit already perfectly fine perfectly fine maniac thank you so much for today have a good one until next time good okay and now we need to set up the inputs over here and I see what we need to do over here. So we can just set this up the same way. Or in a similar way. And then this one will be in the middle. So we do need you to go like this. Um, we'll not connect it right away. We can connect it fully later. And then we end up with something like this and that and this and that. That seems fair. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. And then at least this amount. I'm in the middle. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. And that's the zinc plate. And Grand Buster should be at home, but traffic doubled my commute today, so I'm staying a bit late to work. That's actually a very smart thing to do. I mean, if you already know that 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 you're gonna have to go through commission hell, it might as well work a bit longer. Here we go. I mean, I also did that when I had to commute through trouble sometimes, and I was also like, you know, you know what? I'll come in late and I'll stay late. <laughs> that way around, um, yeah. <laughs> You send an hourly bill to the commute. Yeah, if you really have to commute to work, it's 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 annoying. I mean, sometimes you can't really do anything about it. I mean, the same with me. If I, if I go to the garage, I mean, I want to be there at ten, and if I want to be there at ten, I will mean I have to be going here at eight. That means I will be just in the full spits of everything. And well, yeah, suck it up. <laughs> I'll just have to suck it up. Um. What we need over here is a balancer. We definitely need over here a balancer. But where does this balancer need to start? It's not down here. The balancer needs to start all the way over here. That's where it needs to start. But if you're living in a city with two bridges, acting as choke points. Oh, I know that. I know that. We got the same thing in the city where I live. I mean, they've been talking, I think, for 10 years. Now, more than that. I think at least more than that. I think I'm pretty sure they've been already talking for 20 years about that. For 20 years, they've been talking about um, adding a second bridge. And everybody just goes like, just think of the frogs. They're actually talking about the frogs. There's some kind of weird frog living there. And <laughs> because it's, it's, it's nature and protected and blah and everything. And everybody just goes like, oh, please, for fuck's sake, just build that fucking bridge and fuck the frogs. <laughs> Cuff cuff splitter? I don't have splitters. <laughs> I don't have green circuits, so we need to make uh we need to make something new. Uh we could just do this the same way we had the other one. Like the wind turbines, yeah, the wind turbines are also being affected by the frogs. Um Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Typical Victoria player fuck nature. Yes, absolutely! With a spoon! Full power of fuck nature of a spoon, please. Um, so how do we do this one? So this 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 would be the output belt. And then we need to balance it on there. I'm still kind of wrapping my head around it. And what we could do is we could take a belt over here. Oh. Uh, or hand carry ash over every half an hour. <laughs> I mean, that's also a solution. 
I mean, the, the whole mall we have is also set up in a way that we have to go over there every now and then and put some fuel in it. <laughs> the whole mall has no fully designated uh, belt for fueling. So every now and then we do have to put some fuel in it. And that's perfectly fine, actually. There mm, we go. Make some more of these splitters, please. Um, inserters. Good. And actually, we can also steal all of these. These are not required anymore. There we go. Just cannibalize. Here we go. Here we go. Good, 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 good. I, I should have enough belts. I definitely have enough belts. Good. So, and we get something like this and something like that. Uh, that's 1.2, 2.4, 3.6, 4.8... And then a little bit more. Uh, 4.8. That is 6. Yeah, it's, it's 13, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we have 12 belts. Okay, what do we do with these now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see how we do this. Oh, that's going to be fucking annoying. <laughs> that's going to be fucking annoying. Um... Can we do this different? <laughs> <laughs> this feels horrible. Absolutely horrible. I mean, we get a full belt over here. And we want to turn it into a full belt over there. I mean, we could just do this now. Do that. Do this. Do that. Let it flow over there. Put you over there. And the more I think about it, you over there, you need to have something like... Uh, something like this. And something like that, at least. Here we go, and then you go this way, you go that way. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> I freaking hate it. <laughs> At least this way around the ash will move. And at some point in time, this belt over here will be empty. So we just let it sit for a while. And then I don't think we got any more side loading on this belt anytime soon. No, this one goes then straight over here where it will be consumed. I guess it's fine. <laughs> I guess it's fine. I just want a fucking splitter. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, technically, with the loaders we have, I mean, we do have the loaders unlocked. We could just easily load it into a chest and use the chest for, for balancing issues. But, yeah, now we're only going to make the compact loaders once we have access to green circuits. So, we're going to wait on them for a bit. So, we have to do it like this. <laughs> we just have to do it like this. Good, 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 good. But at least the belt over here has been consumed. And look at this. We got all the other belts. We got lead plate, tin plate, and zinc plate over here now. So at least we got everything we need for the automation. Here we go. Here we go. Good. So what do we need? We do need to make a seaweed bed. Uh, a, no, a separate structure. A seaweed crop facility. There we go. And for that, we need some limestone. Hey, wait a minute. I know where we can get that. Yeah. 
Also, I'm still not really seeing this thing over here act up. Maybe, maybe we need to put some more pressure onto it. Maybe just, just pick up, like, some of these. And increase the pressure in the, in the final pipe. I mean, if you remove a pipe like this, you don't lose the liquid. The liquid just gets moved up into the next pipe. But even with this... Nah. <laughs> it's not moving. <laughs> Speaking of not moving, the aromatics over here is also backing up. We can use the aromatics for fuel over there in the glass machine. Um, so let's do that. Before this over here completely backs up and just sits around and does nothing and eats itself. Let's maybe cut away the coal gas over here. Or maybe even you over there. Well, actually, maybe probably you over here. Uh, let's see. The coal gas, where's it coming in? It's coming in over here. So, stop that. And off you go. And just watch this thing over here just go like... <laughs> Looks like a book. The same script handles uh, full level graphics. Oh, wait, really? There is full level graphics? Really? There is? <laughs> Yeah, then it's probably a bug. Then it's most definitely, definitely a bug. I do remember, I think, I, I think I remember seeing those full levels. Wait a minute. Let me have a look over here in the, the pie discord. They, they did announce these things as the ice cream scoops. Where are they? Where are they? There they are. They do have full levels. Also, I think Pi has a curved monitor because whatever I'm seeing over here looks very, very... Is it also happening over here? <laughs> Did he place them off by one on purpose? <laughs> you begin the mod for the reduced UPS load? No, that one is not installed yet. But yeah, they do have fill values. And mine are not filling up. You're correct about that. So, then there might be something going on uh, on another end then. Okay, then then it's fine. Then it's fine. I'll just paste the bug report or something like that. <laughs> good, 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 good. Perfect. Um, so, we got the template. We need to make sea, um, seaweed. And for that, we need the limestone. The limestone we get from over there. That's where the limestone is. And the placement is deliberate. By definition, it's not off by one. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, like, at some point in the future, in the Louvre, he got the collection of a famous artist who will not be named, and the artist's collection is called Off by One. <laughs> and everything will be off by one. Like, like, you go, like, like to the bathroom, and now, off by one, you enter the ladies' room. Oh, shit. <laughs> And then you want to pay for something, and it goes like, nah, the comma, off by one. You have to pay ten times the amount, and you go like, ah! <laughs> Good, the seaweed bed, it still looks the same. Um, and it's a, a sign with an image of an oboe, yep. Oh, that would be amazing. Good, we just want to make some seaweed. We have only one seaweed recipe? Wow, just add water. <laughs> Just add water. Do we have water over here somewhere? We've got water over here. Okay, let's pick you up real quick. Um, yeah, it's, this thing is too big. <laughs> there should be water over here somewhere. Yeah, there's water over here. Yeah, place you over there for a second. Also, I'm kind of curious to see if they still make that deep hum. They used to make a very deep hum, these machines. Also, that's kind of annoying. Oh, never mind, I did not have alt mode on. There we go. Good. Seaweed. Um, I think I've never picked up a bit of seaweed. Maybe we have, maybe we have not. But seaweed, there's one. There we go. My arms are too short. <laughs> Where's the Discord graphic? Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure... I'm not quite sure what's going on in this graphic. Maybe let me just share it real quick. Yeah. For the people in chat. Wait, where is it? Oop. Here we go. Have this. Also, I should probably close this one down. There we go. And then let's place it over here as well. And then where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Where is it over there? Hmm? I mean, if you look at this, and it, it just looks like it's it's going diagonal. It could just be an optical illusion. It could just also be Pi just being like an absolute dickhead and just pasting them in there like a couple of pixels off, you know? <laughs> Do we have a router or something like that? Give me, give me something. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to use the border of a window. Oh, they're definitely crooked. <laughs> they are definitely crooked. <laughs> Not quite sure if he did that on purpose, just to mess with people or whatever. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's off by one and sometimes it's off by two. But yeah, that, that's also the kind of graphics we would expect to see. Like the aromatics over here, we should see a red liquid over there. And what do we have else? We have, what else? Oh, not water, not oil, not lubricant. Gasoline, there we go. And then, of course, the creosote. So we should see something, but we don't. We just don't. <laughs> Perfect way to trigger SD people. Yep. So I guess we don't get fancy colors and graphics, but that also means we don't get any kind of uh, spillage. So I guess I'm happy with that. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, really? My arms are short. Okay, how much seaweed do I have? Four. Well, we have to make do with four then. <laughs> I don't think we've picked up any other seaweed unless... No, that's moss. Um... Well, drop it in there. There we go. Oh, you need power. Really? Power? There we go. Is that me? Is, doesn't this used to be more high definition? Power's is that low? Yeah, it's fine. But, but... Looks a bit weird. See what's going on over here in the corner and stuff like that? Need new GPU? Let's have a look. I did mess around with the graphics settings at some point. Um, it's from the pixel dimension. <laughs> I mean, okay, compression rates. Um, I mean, if I set this to higher than medium or high, maybe high will be fine. This reminds how many sprites the game will try to put into Sprite Atlas, creating larger Sprite Atlas, reduces CPU usage, blah, 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 uh, but may increase the GPU loads. Yeah, we do have the issue that there are so many sprites in the game. That I can't start this and OBS at the same time. <laughs> it's just impossible. Um, let's save the game real quick. Let's have a look if we can fix it real quick. And you find the config for the chance is 3% every 10 minutes? Yeah, but if if I don't even get updates for my, my, my height, I think something else might be wrong. I mean, if... if <laughs> The systems are engaging some sort of deep learning? No. <laughs> not anymore, it's not. Let's try again and see what happens. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. Come on, load faster. T 
Time to get the 4090? I was thinking about getting a 4080. Yeah, the tailing pawns do. You can use them to vent gases. Okay. <laughs> it definitely looks better now. It's still a bit... How to put it? Grainy. Look at that. You see that grain going on over there? It's actually happening on all of the pie assets. Zoom out. <laughs> I mean, for example, if it, let's look over here. Yeah, this also has a bit of the grain. <laughs> Fixed. <laughs> yeah, well, that did not fix this one. Good. Uh, let me just check how much memory we're using. Um... Uh, Yeah, we're using all of it. <laughs> I mean, it's fine if I start OBS first and I then start um, Pi, because then it can't uh, request as much memory anymore. But yeah, Factorio now hawks the rest of my memory device. Actually, wait a minute. No, no, there, there is, it seems, still a little bit of space left. So I guess it's fine. There we go. Vitor! Hello there. Thank you for the follow. How are you doing? But still, uh, did, did not fix this thing over here. Well, so be it. And even on old pie, they were all really scaled up and pixelated when you looked close. Yeah, but I never... <laughs> but the new assets is not okay. Oh. Okay, I'm not quite sure if you can see that on stream or not. Actually, I think you can. You see, like, like, like... The grain going up and down in here? <laughs> well, let's, let's not igno ignore that. Ignore that. That's... That, that's... Blah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, for me, my Pi is currently eating, what is it? Six gigabytes. Six gigabytes of my 2080. <laughs> Just go down and go like, what? Excuse me, how much memory is it eating? Yep, all of it. Absolutely all of it. Also, what's going on over here? Oh, I see. You have Nash problem. And now my inventory is full. And drop. And I only really want to do this by hand, but let's do this by hand real quick so that at least this machine over here can start again. Uh, and then let's have a look at... Okay, I see what the issue is. It's just too much ash everywhere. You could fix with a darn splitter. There you go. And why is the ash belt moving? Well, because this belt is blocking it. Um, because we're not splitting this clean in here. Yeah, let's pull you down. All the way up in here. There we go. Fixed it. <laughs> With the worst fix possible, but fixed it. There we go. Good, 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 good. Okay, seaweed is moving. Uh, we do need more seaweed. Mm, and we need seaweed so that we can make the agar. Uh, we need to make a little bit of agar so that we can make the petri dish. Uh, and once we have the petri dish, we can make ourselves a couple of moon drops. For that, we need to make some moon drops, Cody. I'm just going to make those four in my pocket real quick because we're going to need them either way. Uh, oh, it's not crafted in your pocket. It's crafted in a botanical nursery. And the only thing we now need to do is put down one of these, make some steam, and blow up. Wait, wait, where did we wait? Wait, 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 wait. Where did we make the agar? In a high pressure furnace. There we go. No. Um, so we already got some water over here. We're just gonna press almost you from here. Uh, high pressure furnace. There we go. Make some agar. Uh, the horrible. Absolutely, Agar the Horrible. Uh, give you some fuel. Yeah, I got some random character in me. Uh, we don't have to see it for you yet. 
This is also going super duper slow. You see how fast this goes? That's like, that's not correct. You should be making seven and a half steam per second. That's not seven and a half steam per second. And the fucking insert is slow. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Like I said, that power plant over there is not meant to be running at 100%. That power plant over there is meant to be running at 50%. Because then the inserters will be fast enough because the boilers will not have to run as fast enough as fast. Good, but we need another one of these. Definitely need another one of these. Uh, yeah, place it over there. Again, this over here, only temporary. We want to make some moon drops over there. There we go. Yeah, you need some water in there. There you go. And then we need some of these. One. Oh, mine, mine. Mine. And let's steal this one. And have all of these. Uh, we need one more planter box. Yeah, I'll take this one. There we go. And then we need eight petri dishes. You wonder how long temporary that is? That is definitely very temporary. You should have tried to, uh, kids, to keep the spoilers running in the beta before they up the speed of the mechanical inserts. <laughs> I mean, technically, if you put, like, coke in there, it should be fine as well. Um, but yeah, these over here run more or less 50% capacity. Technically, two of these could, or four of these could power up one of these with, the, with this configuration. But this thing over here, you can already see over here, the steam level in here is stable, even though these boilers over here don't go all the time. That's fine. It's perfectly fine. Those boilers don't need to go all the time. Uh, but this thing is really, really meant to just run at 50% power. Like, the higher you go with this one, the, the more it just blacks out. So it's kind of weird to see that power is now currently... I guess this thing over here is sleeping. Yeah, this thing over here eats quite a lot of power. Uh, remember, <laughs> remember how we had all those aromatics over here? I don't. <laughs> Poof, they're gone. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we're now backed up on coal gas. Um, but we definitely made some glass over here. Absolutely made some glass over here. Speaking of, uh, we do need to make one more glass making machine to make this petri dishes. Yeah, vent that real quick. There we go. Good, 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 good. And you're just making glass over here. That's fine. Um, so what do we need for one more of these? A uh, whole bunch of stuff. Like, pretty much everything. Uh, and then with that, we need to make the Petri dishes. Where are those Petri dishes? Mm, now, that's the filled Petri dish. But where do we get the empty Petri dish? Is it in here? No. Is it in here? No. I'm probably just missing it because I'm looking with my nose again. I'm very good at that. Um, no, it's it's. Oh, they changed the icon. Never mind. Yeah, like I said, that was. We need molten iron, uh, molten glass for that. No problem. And yeah, with those ar um, ar aromatics, is it one pump still in place where you were using the experiment with spillage? Yep, that one is still in place. And I've not witnessed any spillage yet. We're also not witnessing any fill states. So I'm pretty sure because this thing over here is not getting the information that it's full. I guess the script that's running in the background that does the spillage is also not working for it. So something is definitely wrong over here. There we go. There we go. There we go. But that should be fine. Good. And then we need to make some petri dishes. And we can easily make those. There we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, place this machine. Say something, 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 something. I actually want to place it over here. There we go. Connect this one up. There we go. And then you go over there. Actually, can you go? No. Fire it up. You make petri dishes. Ah, I guess you get priority. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah, okay. 
There we go. Just start making some petri dishes for now. We don't need a lot of them. Um, I just want a couple of them. So, there we go. And these over here, I can do not get enough fuel. But we could do for a while. And just for a while. Eh, cannot reach. My arms are too short. <laughs> I don't think... Can we do this? No. Because it, it says it's a different liquid. Here, turn it off for a second. We have a whole bunch of gasoline. Plop. <laughs> and now I watch the gasoline go like... <laughs> but at least that allows us to use our gasoline for a while. There we go. There we go. Okay, I need at least one more Petri dish, I think. Actually, I think we need up to eight. Yeah, we need up to eight. There we go. Uh, but that is at least a couple of Petri dishes in. And I mean, using the gasoline, absolutely. Then at least we can, can super fire up those machines over there for a while. Yeah, I guess <laughs> 10 times more. I think it's four times better. Coal gas over here has 200. It's six times more. Six times more. <laughs> yeah, gasoline is pretty darn good. Absolutely. But it's also kind of hard to make. I mean, we don't really get a lot of gasoline. We get a bit. And I'm very happy about the small bit that we get. There's already like 50 seaweed in here. Like, what the hell? There we go. Go full speed ahead. How much do we need for the AR? Five. Uh, we need eight in total. Excellent. Or 40 in total to make the eight. So, let's go to this little steam machine. Oh, you're missing power. I see. Here we go. Put that in there. How much steam did you make? I guess not enough. Here, make some more, please. <laughs> And you just start making the steam, please. Ah, steam. Steam seems very expensive again in this game. I can't wait for our first nuclear steam setups again. <laughs> we can also steal some coke from over here. Yeah, the coke over here. The coke that we get over here uh, on the side is not enough to fill up the power over here. No, don't use that. Use this. There we go. There we go. Just keep making that for a second. We'll be back for more. And then at least we will be making... What is that? About 16 of these to start off with. Um, we could probably go with less than that. But why not make a couple of it? Here we go. Yeah, you take priority now. That's fine. Just keep working on that. And then... Well, gasoline is still going fine over here. We're just going to let it run over there and then hope that the gasoline at some point in time will run out. Creosote over there is also being consumed all the time. The creosote is going down here where we turn it into uh, treated wood. Quite a lot of treated wood, but it's a good thing. And we do need that treated wood at some point in time. So that will be fine as well. It's still a little bit confusing to see that we're still not using up all of these trees over here. But I guess that's fine. I don't think we need to use them all. As long as we use a couple of them. Uh, power is still an issue. Um, how do we do power? Hmm. Let me get the boiler real quick. Yeah, we can't put in any of the canisters. That's a bit annoying. Um, we can't put pretty much everything in there. We can't put treated wood in there. <laughs> Wait a minute, how much burn value does treated wood have? Four megajoules. How much do we make out of it? One piece of wood. Yeah, okay. That is a piece of wood. I think is already two megajoules, so it's it it doesn't get any additional burn value. <laughs> four megajoules is four megajoules. I mean, coke is five. Uh, if you think about it, mm, so it's not too bad, but it's also really not good. Uh, raw coal is sitting at three, and we can just mine it up and just start dumping it in there. I guess that's what we're going to have to do. We could maybe just find ourselves like a small coal patch. Maybe this one over here. It's close to the water and just dedicate this coal patch over here just to power. Just make a power plant over there. Do you need the pump to get fluids out of the tailing ponds? Yes. 
And I was playing a, a playthrough where players seem to need a pump to get a fluid after the... Yeah, it also says so in the description. Chippy! Hello there! How are you doing? If we go to the description of the tailing pond, where is that thing? Um, there it is. Tailing ponds store liquids and causes a lot of pollution by venting gases. You may need, <laughs> you may need a pump to take out fluids. So you may or may not need a <laughs> pump to take it out. Um, but we can easily check over here. This is a tailing pond over here with aromatics. And it's not coming out. It's definitely not coming out. It's staying in there. Saffinated is staying over here in the tailing pond at the bottom. And he just doesn't want to come out. He would rather play more Rimworld and maybe or maybe not has set a baby on fire. Saffinated, how are you enjoying the new Rimworld DLC and did you set a baby on fire? Please be honest because I would absolutely set the baby on fire. <laughs> Saffinated, hello there. Thank you so much for the lovely raid. Speaking of, I have not really made my schedule for this week yet because I have no clue how my time will be this week. Um, technically, Theoretically, tomorrow we should do some uh, RimWorld. I guess we're going to do some RimWorld tomorrow. Mm, Wednesday will be off because I can already smell everything burning. Uh, because it's a long weekend. And basically, Wednesday will be Monday. And as you all know, nobody works on Monday. So it's going to be horrible. Um, you love the new DLC, but it's amazing. You're still learning at it. Uh, also, not having babies yet. I'm scared that I will use them for things that they are not meant for. Yeah, I mean, in our current playthrough, we got like a little girl. Seska! Wait, no, wait. Serenka. Almost creepy. Hiya, bold. Hiya! How are you doing? Yeah, in our current playthrough, we got this little 10 year old with an SMG that is larger than herself, and she just <laughs> one time, well, things one shots and taps like raiders all the time. Uh, she did get her nose burnt off. My bad. Uh, I wasn't paying too much attention, but yes. <laughs> and why did we have to restart Bolt? Didn't you just finish the other part playthrough? No. I mean, we finished that playthrough in February or something like that. And it's now October. It's now November. It's now the 1st of November. There we go. There we go. Oh, Smeagol. Four gifted subs. Thank you so much for that, mate. And also one to Lunatic Chief and a Lunatic Chef. Rhaegar got one. Oh, we're happy about that. Trap got one. People also be very happy about that. And Kaios got one. Hello there, everybody. It's me, go. Thank you so much for those four gifted subs. Now it's been November for 20 minutes. Yeah, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, it was that long, long ago. Go. There we go. Is it still in here? There we go. There it is. Oh, <laughs> Lictor did it already. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, that clip is from eight months ago. It, it doesn't really say the exact date, but it is from eight months ago. So if it's now November, eight months ago, that will be the 1st of March. Give or take a little. There we go. There we go. And why are you through this pain again? Did you get enough of it? No. I want more of it. I, I want my bum to hurt after this. And not only my bum, I also want your bum to... No, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> did it get an update? Yes, it did get an update. I wouldn't do this again just because um, uh, I wanted to do it again. I did say that I wanted to play Pi again once a significant update came around, and they have put down a significant update. Um, they have changed up quite a bit. They've changed up research. There's now more research packs. Which you might think is, is terrible, but it's actually pretty good because it does gate stuff a little bit better. Uh, for example, we got logistic science packs all the way down here. And logistic science packs is basically everything tier 2. Um, yeah, pretty much everything tier 2. And up to here, everything tier 1. This is basically, wait a minute, if we go like this. This is everything we want to play with for now. So we get things like hot air. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's still in. <laughs> Fucking hot air. <laughs> um, nickel processing, tin processing, coke processing, nexolid processing, um, whatever this intermetallics is. Okay, that's where that is coming from. Uh, mining machine upgrades, casting, rubbers in here. Laboratory equipment, fish. We do have to do fish. Uh, we need to do fish to do the trains, uh, funnily enough. Uh, there we go. There we go. 
What's funny about 420? Uh, some people find it a funny number. Like, like some people go like 69. <laughs> some people go like 420. <laughs> some people go like 666. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just numbers, mate. There um, we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and it's 32 uh, wait uh, oh no it's 32 uh, how about the you own uh, on age oh I see, I see I see I see I see good 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 but yes there's a significant power update and I mean look at these big things over there um, we now got these big tailing ponds and there's a whole bunch of new power generation stuff in here the old power generation is out there's now new power generation and a whole bunch of things and how the 420s from an American school got out and everyone would smoke a joint. Uh, yeah. Um, is that actually the origin of the number? Or is it only the police code? I actually never looked at the origin of 420. Oh! <laughs> hey there! Exterminator, that's early. Usually you start after me. What's up, mate? Hello there, hello there, hello there. Guys, we got raided not only by Sephanator, they didn't really give enough, enough, enough of a shout out for Sephanator. Oh, spooky. Yes, it's Pyanodons. It's very spooky. I mean, you want to see something really, really spooky? Yeah. At some point in time, we will have to do tier 4 circuits. And for tier 4 circuits, we're going to need optical fiber, phototonic chips, organic quantum batteries, biofets, cooling systems, high-tech circuit boards, cross-section light-emitting diodes, fault current inductors, condor processors, nanochips, paradigmatic resistors, printed circuits of the tier 4, supercapacitors, and solder. Not only for that, for the phototonic, uh, photo, uh, photonic chip, we need optical fiber, anti-reflective glass, fiber bracket gating, finite difference time domain photonic structures, Transparent anodes, MILFs, biopolymers, colloidal silica, lithium niobate. For the MILFs, we're going to need iron nanoparticles, complex circuit boards, aramid fiber, and ethanol. For the complex circuit boards, we're going to need simple circuit boards, batteries, optical fiber, diodes, microchips, medium power resistors, transistors, electrolytic capacitors, toroidal inductors, MOSFETs, printed circuit substrate tier 2. Um, for the simple circuit boards, we need copper zinc batteries, ceramic capacitors, air core inductors, high power resistors, printed circuit substrate tier 1, vacuum tubes. For the copper zinc batteries, we're going to need copper, cellulose, and zinc, as well as saline water, and yes. <laughs> yes, mills. We have to grow them in a bar. There we go. <laughs> and that was only one path down that recipe. There's multiple paths down that recipe. And that's what you also call the classic pie um, rabbit hole. There we go. There we go. Good. All right, Sephanator, thank you so much for your lovely rate. And Exterminator, thank you so much for your lovely rate. Guys, if you don't know who Exterminator is, oh, he is bloody amazing. Usually you see him running after his train. And while he's running after his train, there's usually like a nuke dropping down. And then there's another train hiding in the bushes. And it just goes like toot toot and just runs him over. And then he has to run after his original train again. And last time I saw him, he was playing that map uh, where he has to race, um, um, race for a certain set of coordinates, which is basically at the other end of the map like fit at end of the map so somewhere 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 over here and then at least a hundred thousand tiles more uh and that's quite far away that is really really far away i'm not quite sure if he's made it there yet or not uh it's also a bit weird that he rates this early that usually means that he had to go somewhere is somebody from exterminators chat on here hello young in from the raid police code oh wait uh there we go there we go there we go uh, except nobody's running after a train and proceeds to get to run to the end of the train. It's only 50k away. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. And yeah, he did. All right, I hope he's fine over there. Uh, but if you do want to see a lovely Factorio streamer, do check out the Exterminator. There we go. Except did Salt say he was going to do the going to the post office oh he probably had to do his taxes i mean i also still have to have to do my taxes and technically i had to put them in like half an hour ago uh i'm just gonna pay the fine and it's gonna do it on my own time next weekend and then maybe the weekend after that <laughs> uh Ep, i'm not quite sure where you're from but if you're from germany technically you should have done your taxes by yesterday um, the fine is pretty small. The fine is like 30 bucks or something. I was like, how much? 30 bucks? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'll gladly pay 30 bucks. Go away. <laughs> uh, but 
but you should not let it linger too much. I think those those fines do escalate at some point in time. I, I'll do it this weekend, maybe on Wednesday, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> And taxes in November, what happened to the March fiscal year? Uh, in Germany, I don't think that has been a thing in a while. In, in Germany, taxes, it, it used to be that you had to do your taxes to a certain point, that's true. But because of various things, it has been pushed back all the time. Like Corona was the first thing where they pushed it back like half a year. And now it's the heating issues, blah, blah, blah. And now it's something else. And I think at some point in time, it, was, it just stuck there. <laughs> You only have to do it this early if you have to make them. Uh, as long as you have to do them voluntarily, you have some more time. Like, yes. That is true. That is true. And I don't have to make them yet. That is very true for me. So I should be fine, actually. Don't tell me that. I will never do them again. <laughs> <laughs> and I definitely did not get a letter from like, hey, do your taxes, mate. Uh, but I'm pretty sure next year I will get that letter. <laughs> Good, 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 good. So, we are completely and absolutely distracting ourselves again, uh, which is perfectly fine. We want to make some lovely, lovely... Oh, okay, pocket crafties. Perfect, pocket craft them. <laughs> Just take the agar, take a Petri dish, done. Good. But yeah, I'm still kind of thinking about maybe hiring somebody who can do my taxes for me because I really don't want to do that. Stupid thing is, I mean, if you officially hire somebody, a lot like, like a tax uh, man, to do your taxes for you, they take like, I think, 10% of what you make in a month or something like that for that. And I'm uh, sit there and go like, how much? No, go away. Fuck off. <laughs> that's too much. Um, that's way too much. It wasn't what you make per year or something or up to that. I mean, they can ask for less, but I just go like, uh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I would rather... Yeah, th th there needs to be something in the middle. <laughs> good, 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 good. An expensive return might be hundreds of dollars in the US. Was there an ash problem? Um, No, I don't think that there's an ash problem at the moment. The, the ash machine over here is working as fast as it can. I think it's just very backed up over there. We can check over here if you want to. I mean, it's it's backed up over here quite a bit, as you can see. And I think the issue might just be that it is not going in over here fast enough. Oh, you see what the issue is? Look at this. Yeah, you know what we should do over here? Do this. And let it flow. And you can take up to 50% of the write-offs uh, uh, you can give me. <laughs> I mean, that, that's usually a pretty good deal. I mean, if, if the more you manage to write off, uh, the more happy I am about it. Absolutely. freaking lootly. But then again, there, there usually is not much to write off. It's usually pretty straightforward. It's just like sifting through all the documents and going like, here, this is this document. There, that's that document. <laughs> oh, yeah, I found this thing over here. Uh, put that over there. Blah. <laughs> Freaking annoying. Okay. Uh, do you still have church tax? I don't. I, I left. I was just like, nah. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> In Germany, church tax is still a thing, which is weird. Which is very weird. Uh, it was actually kind of fun. Like, like, like. Uh, at some point in time, I just, uh, writ, uh, I, I just put in like the 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 in not the invoice, but like the the what's it called? Oh, what's the word for it? Like, if you want to 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 uh, not appeal something, uh, I'm like, you go to the, the the government bureau and go like, here, I want this, and then you just put the paper on there and you sign it, and off it goes. Declaration. Probably a declaration. Declaration is probably the word I'm looking for. Uh, and I was like, yeah, sure. Um, I just want to leave the church. And you were like, yeah, it's fine. I'll just put them on the pile. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then about two or three months later, I got like uh, a personal letter from the local bishop going like, hey, Bolt, I've heard you left the church. I just wanted to tell you that I'm not happy about the decision and I will be praying for you ever since. And I was like, oh, thank you. Fuck you. <laughs> 
Also, if you, you, if you are Christian, that's perfectly fine. I am not. <laughs> I just left that bunch. <laughs> and why is the wood to coke not work? Uh, probably because something is backed up. Let's check. Okay, we have to check a couple of things. Uh, again, we are very good at distracting ourselves. We are very good at that. Um, it's also, while we walk over the air, take a look at this. So, moon drops. Uh, four moon drop seeds make four moon drops. Five... Moon drops, we made the first one. Five moon drops make two moon drops, then maybe some more moon drops, then a couple of seeds, and then maybe some more seeds. What a lovely recipe. I'm pretty sure because coal gas is backed up. Yeah, coal gas is completely backed up. I'm hoping you didn't use the language. I mean, it was a letter, so I basically told fuck you to a letter. Uh, that's, of course, also a bit weird if you think about it, but... Then again, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, the reason why, why nothing over here is working is because... There we go. We're still running on gasoline over here. And leaving the church costs 50 euro, but it only comes after the effect of after three months. After that, you pay the 50 bucks, so you're still going to make, uh, pay, make you pay three months of church tax. That's fine. <laughs> I'm fine with that if they want to tax me for another three months. But afterwards, it stops, and I was kind of looking at how much church tax I actually pay, and I was like, oh, that's quite a bit, actually. That's like almost 40, 80. I mean, how much is it? No, it's, it's a little bit too much, I think. I will have to take a look at my, my paper for the air. There was, I think, actually, no, it is pretty much 140, 80. So I could either go to heaven or get myself an NVIDIA 40, 80. I chose the 40, 80. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Good. Uh, in a year, I think. How much is church tax? Is it like 7% or something like that? And then... Okay, I could, I think, get... I could even get the 4090 if I wanted to. <laughs> Depends on where you live. I had the reasons to write off a total of 85 years of like 20 years of working. Uh, nah. And actually, what did you have before this? Uh, I mean, this is our first setup. I mean, we made the tar cracker first. The tar cracker over here is the first thing we made. And this thing takes in tar and creates coke, aromatics, gasoline, creosote. Uh, as well as some things we can't use, which we sadly have to vent, uh, because there is no recipe for it. And also makes a little bit of power, and technically makes the acetylene we need to make for the LED. But we never had to dedicate a tar setup. That is the thing down here. Uh, this over here makes the tar. This over here takes in wood, turns it into iron oxide, coal, coal gas, and uh, tar. And then the coal over here gets turned into coke, iron oxide, coal gas, and tar. This thing over here makes the exact amount of tar that we need to fire up this machine over there. Uh, it gets cracked over there. It's um, um, The cracking process over here makes middle oil, creosote, anthracene oil, and pitch. The pitch down here gets turned into coke. Uh, and everything else gets cracked over here into either creosote or aromatics and gasoline. Because I want your salary if you pay 40, 49 for church tax every month. Not every month, every year. If it would be every month, then... Yeah, then I would especially leave church. <laughs> um, yes. Also, wait a minute, it's the 1st of November. When, when does the 4080 get released? I need a Christmas present. Um... Is it out already? It said something about... Okay, it will be available on 16th of November. There we go. But even after you leave the church, you still get your money, unfortunately. They do? Really? <laughs> Getting 7,900 XC? Nah. Yeah, see? I, I don't have any clue about taxes. <laughs> Getting a 4080 for Christmas? Yeah, the day before Christmas. <laughs> I mean, I want an upgrade. I definitely want an upgrade. 
I got my 2080. My 2080 is super. It, it actually is a 2080 super. Uh, but I'm thinking about buying myself a 4080. For Factorio? Actually, yes, for Factorio. Here, look at this. Um, where is it? No, as well as this one. Um, it should be. Which one is it? Is it this one? Yeah, this one. There we go. So. This shows you my memory usage of my NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Super. There we go. And over here, we got Factorio. And it is filling it out. <laughs> it is actually consuming quite a bit of memory over here. <laughs> and there's at least still a bit of space on top of that for the rendering, but we definitely do need a bit. <laughs> So you don't, of course, need the memory. This time we do need the memory, yep. Uh, here we go. Mm. Put the back up there. Boop. Ah, okay, okay, okay. We got some moon drops over there. The power is still an issue. I'm just going to ignore the power for now. Uh, I kind of want to set up at least a stupid loop for moon drops. Uh, so that we can cycle those. So what do we need? We need to grow moon drops in the moon drop greenhouse and we need okay we actually already have everything we need for that we need one of these and we need one of these and we probably need access to water they one of them needs water perfect so we're gonna set it up somewhere over here and just make it spin the same way we make this thing spin over here where we just make some 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 sap trees over here because we do need the sap trees soon uh we're gonna make a place over here that just spins around the moon drops Here we go, here we go, and uh, I guess I'll just make it over here somewhere. It's getting a bit cramped in here, to be perfectly honest. Actually, if we just pick up this. Here we go. This is required, and this, here we go. Leave the chest over there. And we can place a nursery over there, and we can place this thing over here. Here we go. You make moon drops, you make moon drop seeds. Tree this way, tree this way. That should be fine. Um, and we need to add some water. Water's over here. Yeah, just hook it up like this. Perfect. I'm pretty sure. Wait a minute. That water was a little bit too fast. Uh, something is disconnected. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Uh, I see, I see, I see, I see. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I broke the pipe. It's, it's still so annoying that it can happen so easily. Good. And then you need some moon drops. You turn those moon drops. Okay, now it's getting, getting a little bit complicated because, um, and the seeds go back in over here. And then the moon drops. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it like this. Let's put the chest over here. Over here, we filter out whitelist. Oh, God. <laughs> you have to look for these. That is a little bit too big. Moon drops. So the extra moon drops that we make over here, um, we just put back over there. We only put the seeds back in over here. And then we get moon drops out of that. And then... Okay, we need five moon drops to start making seeds. And then we can place three over there and there. That'll be fine. That will be fine. There's 12 moon drops in there. Perfect. So, one, two, three, four, five. And you get the rest. There we go. There we go. And I wish Victoria could run on VRAM GPU. Yeah. It's not meant for that. <laughs> What you could do, Intertooth. Um, Intel does provide special cards which basically have another core on it, like a standard Intel core, like an i5 or something like that, which you then can sli uh, sli um, slide into your PCI Express slot. And that would give you another core. <laughs> it, I think it also comes with its own, with its own memory. I would have to check if that's a thing. Um, 
But yes. Yes, 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 yes. And then I should just uh, looking for a cable which works with your PSU and the 12 uh, volt. Yeah, my, 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 my PSU should be fine. I usually oversize my PSUs. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Inspector, I saw a story where a third party did some uh, sampling and never got a 100 volt adapter. Like the person reported. Ah, okay, I see, I see, I see. Good. So this thing over here is spinning now. Uh, we even got some extra moon drops. Perfect. Yeah, put some more in there. Currently low power. And you got the band and watch a YouTube episode of my YouTube playthrough. Oh, thank you so much for that. Windsinger, hello there. How are you doing, mate? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How many hours are we in? Uh, we are like 22 hours in and we're playing very inefficient. <laughs> very, very, very inefficient. Uh, we have a bit of a power issue and I'm just pushing this power issue along for the longest of times because I just don't really want to deal with it. But I think it's about time that we deal with the power issue. Uh, because the whole base is flickering and stuff like that. And I think we need to do something about that. And for that, we need some pipes. There we go. And we need to make some power plants. There we go. That's 30. Uh, that means we need 60 boilers. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There we go. That should be the amount of boilers that we need. And like I said, we're just going to take this field over here. And we're just going to all push that raw coal into a lot of power. And it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Come on, speed run this. No! <laughs> Actually, I'm still good for time. I mean, I just have to break my time from last time, which is like something, 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 two years. Uh, I, I, it will be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> there, Pumu. Hello there. How are you doing? Good. Uh, which does mean we have to shoot some biters, which is not that much of an issue because we now do have a lead plate automated. The only issue I have is where the fuck is my car? It's over there. Good. Also, let's just deactivate this for a second. Here we go. And that Pumo, I'm good. I mean, today was a free day for me. Uh, as we call it here in Germany, it was a bridge day. Uh, because tomorrow there is a day off and I did not do my groceries. Fuck. <laughs> God dang it. Um, I'll figure out something. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I still got those. Here we go. <laughs> Fine, mostly except insomnia. Oof. Yeah, I got the opposite issue. I sleep too much. That's also not good. Oh, like last Friday? I, <laughs> last Friday, I woke up at like 1 p.m. And I was just like, <laughs> I had work and all. And I woke up and I looked at my clock and it was like 1 p.m. I was like, what? It's 1 p.m.? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> and I came into work and everybody was like, hey, where were you? And I was like, yeah, I kind of overslept. Heart. <laughs> oh, look at that. They did spread quite a bit, actually. There used to be one nest over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with these pointer settings. Like, like, they will grow on us very slowly. They will grow on us. Here we go. Perfect. And get rid of these worms, please. Ow! Asshole. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Get a dog, you want to make sure that you wake up? Yeah, I was kind of thinking about maybe getting a cat or something like that. And then it will just bite my nose when it's hungry. Um, or something something like that. And if people want to see what an electrical fire on the grid looks like, oof. Like, like... Yes, I know what you mean. Those can be pretty, pretty brutal. Especially for the camera recording it. Could the camera even record it? What is that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was not too long ago. 
Yeah, that, that's that's one big lightning arc. You don't want to be close to that. Here we go. Here we go. And more cables for all the PSU 2s. Uh, the instance had a Corsair PSU for years, and the cable with the new connector was available for it. Yeah, I mean, then again, it's also a very good idea to, to upgrade or redo your PSU every now and then. Because the one thing you definitely don't want to have, to, want to have is your PSU, like, going up in a smoldering fire. And keeping that part, like, up to date every now and then. Definitely good. But then again, I never had issues with my PSU ever. Ever, ever, ever. Like, I still have that one PSU in one of my PCs. It's been in there for, like, 10 years. Been running non-stop. <laughs> and it's fine. But then again, the question is, when will it not be fine anymore? You know? Maybe I updated it at some point in time. I'm actually not quite sure anymore. It one piece of the diet, but it lasted uh, a long time. Yeah, and also they usually don't they, they usually don't die in fire and smoke. They usually just don't don't go anymore because usually they do have internal security mechanisms that will make sure that the thing does not catch fire. But then again, if you have like a faulty connection or something like that, yeah, that that can definitely cause fire. There we go. Good. That's dealt with. Let's have a bit of an explore out here to see if there are more biters about. But yeah, I like the expansion. Um, and like like I said, we didn't really set the expansion too hot, uh, uh, too high. Uh, the biters they do expand, but they will expand slowly and very locally. So if you have like a spot like this one over here, there could be probably a couple of nests around here now as well. There's like one over there. And does he have any friends around him? Yeah, there's now one over there as well. And this is perfect expansion because then I don't really have to deal much with them. It's it's like a little bit of a fungus infection or something like that. Uh, we have like a spot and if we don't care about it, it will not be bad right away. But if we let it sit for too long, it will rapidly, rapidly grow on us. And I think that's a lovely setting. Unless it's a gigabyte PSU, of course. It does explode with magic smoke and arcs. <laughs> and Bloodrat, you got a one um, kilowatt PSU, and they can uh, age with time. But uh, even with a 4090, the total PSU compiler consumption will probably be like 6,000 watts. Yeah, I mean, you mostly need those high uh, watt usages for like power spikes and stuff like that, which do happen, um, especially also with the uh, 4090. Usually during boot up, you have like a power spike where everything just starts to draw power real quick. Uh, and you also need to have a mainboard that, that can support that. I mean, and when I got a little bit into crypto mining and stuff like that, I mean, um, in my cellar, currently it's off because power prices are way too high and crypto doesn't pay shit anymore. <laughs> I do have, like, a, a little mining rig, uh, and it does have two PSUs on it, uh, which is kind of fun if you think about it. Um, and you do have to make sure that the PSU you have connected to your board does not, for one, flush your power your mainboard with power so that the, the, the mainboard uh, breaks down. And the RTX 3300 seems to be worse. Yeah, I mean, they, they all have spike issues. I mean, you can't really prevent that. Uh, and then to get two PCs failing you. Really? Well, there we go. Uh, I can make one. Oh. Okay, we will have to make a mine over here. That's fine. That's fine. Um, uh, oh, that's going to be so much building. <laughs> that's going to be so much building. No. <laughs> Um, let's see if we can at least get the ghost in correctly. Because there's a whole bunch of things we need to do over here. It's also going to be... Yeah, let's ghost it. Because then I know... I don't even have... Oh, I have inserts on me. Then I know what we need to make over here and how we need to make it over here. So we're going to have a whole bunch of these. I guess not over there because there's no ores over there. And then flip it around. Have these in the gaps. Covered from main base? Yeah, but this is basically already how we do it. Then we're going to have something like this. I'm just going to place you real quick because you over there. Ash whitelist. list. 
And then here we go. And then it's gonna be something like this. And then Then it will be this. And that. The corners where we have nothing, we can't take them out. And here we go. And now, how do we... Hmm. Yeah. Now we need this part again. I'm kind of trying to figure out if I can make it in a way that... We can copy it in a grid or something like that, but there's not really a grid in here or anything. What we could do is just do something like this. Here we go. That kind of works. Oh god, there's even more down there. Here we go, here we go. And it's too flirk, you're going to go to sleep? Aw, oh, mate, thank you so much for dropping by. Guys, did we give Intertooth a shout out yet? If not, do check out Intertooth. He's a bloody amazing lad. Do check him out. He's also playing a whole bunch of Factorio. I'm not quite sure what you did right now. Uh, also, do I still have. I don't think I've got any mods around at the moment. Um, here he is. Now, oh, that's the wrong shout out command. It is, of course, this one. And here we go. Hey, right, we're doing some Victoria. Let's see. Last time you did some random recipes, but if you want to go to bed, you should probably go to bed, mate. <laughs> um, yeah, this is correct over here. We need more of this over there. And then we need more of this over there. And more of that over there. And more of this over there. And that should be correct. And then we need to delete everything that doesn't do anything. Like all of these. I don't think we need any of these over here. I don't think there's anything over there. There we go. And this will be the thing that we want to build. And now we can at least say, I'm just going to put us the blueprint over here. This is just for me to look at how much stuff we need. We need 200 inserters and 100 miners. Good. And a whole bunch of belt, which I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could install the auto deconstruct mod. That is true. It will mark the um, um, it will mark the um, entity for deconstruction. It works fairly well with vanilla miners. It works not at all for um, pineal miners. And actually, the more I think about it, with the new miners in, in there, it will probably not work at all. Um, I, we had it in the previous playthrough, and it it just caused issues. Especially on all the liquid miners. I mean, some of the miners we had, they were about... I mean, actually, I can actually show you. This should be the size of them. Mm -hmm. And then let's get ourselves a crystal mine real quick. There it is. Even bigger than that. <laughs> Even bigger than that. There we go. They're about the size of this. And if this thing over here would deplete, it should leave behind a cross like this. But it left behind a cross like this. And that broke quite a lot of stuff. There was some updates in, in that mod that would prevent that. That would make it better. But it just didn't work. It just didn't work for us. And to be perfectly honest, I don't really mind miners sitting around that are done. I mean, these over here we cannot start picking up. Mostly because we do need them for the new mining adventure. So, it makes sense to do that now. Um, these are still fine. These are still fine. This thing is done. It's also kind of hard to tell with the uh, with these old miners over here which one of these is actually done. This one was actually not done yet. Here we go. Good, 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 good. Look at the output belts. Yeah, for these it's it's pretty clear. Here we go. And these two are also done. This one's still going. This one is done. That one is done. I also pick up all of this. 
No, my inventory is full. Uh, because I have power plant parts in my pocket. Okay, let's go to our car real quick and just drop the power plant parts in there. Here it is, because we don't need these right now. We need these later. Uh, we could also start dropping random other stuff in the air. Let's, let's just drop some junk in our car. It'll be fine. There we go. Good. What do we need? Uh, we need, well, a whole bunch of miners. And a whole bunch of inserters. The inserters might have been built. The miners we definitely have to make ourselves. They're not too hard to make. It's just a bit of iron plate. And a bit of... Uh, I dropped my stone in my car, did I? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, is that iron plate backing up? I'll take it all. That does mean that there's at least... Yeah, okay, there we go. How many inserts do we need? 200. Okay, make some more, please. Um, How much belt do we need? About a thousand. Uh, we have a thousand belt available. Absolutely. Um, and both, you're going to bed again? Ah, oh, mate. Thank you so much for dropping in, JP. Until next time. Yeah, we're probably going to continue a little bit more. I kind of wanted to do the circuits today, but if I push myself into circuits today, it's, it's, it's just not going to end well. Um... So we're just going to play on. I also have to admit, I kind of started today's stream a little bit haphazardly because I wasn't prepared for anything, um, which is usually not the best. Mostly because I actually did enjoy my day off today, uh, which is actually also something you should do every now and then. Good, but if we're already talking a bit about what we've done today, we definitely got tin smelting done, iron, um, uh, um, tin smelting, zinc smelting, lead smelting done. We did prepare everything we need for the plantations, which is great. Wait, preparing? I do sometimes prepare my streams. It's not like I just press live and go. I, I do kind of want to figure out what I want to do today and stuff like that. Well, fuck that inserter. Um, here we go. <laughs> also, why did I drive all the way around here? Uh, yeah, I need to be over here. <laughs> I could have just drove the other way around. Um, here we go. Okay, we do need... There was no stone in here. Dang, I thought for sure we had some stone in here. Drop the locks in there. I just hit the button and see what happens. Yeah, that, that usually works as well. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm veteran enough that I can just do that as well and just click the button and see what happens. Because that's your lazy option. <laughs> yeah, there's some st stone in there. There we go, we need those. 65. Any more than that. How much do we need? We need 98. Here we go. Good, 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 good. And then we're going to have a big raw coal field. We could still think about turning all that raw coal, of course, into coal. But with the current refinement methods for raw coal, no. I would rather sacrifice that one, one uh, million ore field into something for a power plant so it can run for a while. It should be fine. Uh, we need some small parts. Small parts over there. Here we go. And then hit that. That is the amount of miners that we need. Then we need some more of these. We do need, like, all of that. I'll take all of that. Here, drop that in your car. Pick up some more. That should be enough of that. Um, we need 43 more inserters. Can I pocket craft these? That will be 36. That's not enough. Mm, if I want to make more, I just need some more iron plate. So let's pick up some more iron plate. And then we can at least make that thing. So let's make that big. Let's, let's at least finish off with the power plant so that we don't have any power issues for the next episode. Let's do that. And then we should be fine. And then the only thing I have to do is not accidentally boot up Vicky, uh, Victoria Tree after the stream and play again until like 5 a.m. Uh, even though I really want to. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's kind of fun. I mean, it, it, it's your typical Paradox game. I'm trying to figure out good ways to play the game with the tools at my disposal. Uh, wait, you cry asleep? I do require sleep every now and then. And I'm currently just trying to figure out good ways how to play the game. And I was very happy with my Sweden game, even though uh, 
the war effort did just bankrupt me entirely. I do have to play... I think I have to play a little bit more war campaigns just to get used to warfare. And see what I can do better in that. I mean, the simplified war, I guess it's fine. And if I know what, what I need to do for war, then it should be fine as well. Here we go. Also, we're building this in the... Oh, God. <laughs> there we go. Good, 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 good. We still need some ash output at the top, by the way. Oh, we forgot about that. Mm. Good. That should be fine. That should be fine. Furnium hydrate. I think I've ignored... I think I lost a couple of hydrates. I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> no bots to paint? Yep. The absolute pain of play, uh, building this thing over here. Oh, this thing we don't need. There we go. So we're just going to focus the downward quick and place all of these real snappy. Here we go. Here we go. But yeah, no bots. Uh, oh, God. Oh, uh, ugh. Oh, that's, that's even worse. <laughs> Talk about building on hard mode. Eh, there we go. <laughs> Good. Start planting these down, please. Uh, we don't need this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That looked unpleasant. Yeah, moving around like that and trying to make a wiggly belt. Yeah, no. Absolutely not. And for your pirate easy start, you opt off the start with 30 bots and 20, <laughs> 20 splitters. 20 splitters? Cheater. Come on. Build like one of these massive, massive inserter splitters. Oh, we're doing it again. No, 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 no. <laughs> Once is enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's quite a lot of mods out there that give you like a bit of a an easier start in Pyanodons, which I think is fine. Uh, I mean, you want to play the game to have fun. I want to play to suffer. Uh, play the game to suffer. So yes, I mean, it's it's it, it's like your, your standards. You just need like. Like, some people just need, like, a punch in the morning to wake up. I just need to play Pyanodons to wake up. Here we go. Also, a little bit, a little bit of a German design going on over here again. <laughs> um, here we go. You play to have fun. I play to suffer. We are not the same. <laughs> Weakness disgusts me. Oh, Papa, please. <laughs> Bella there. Hello there. How are you doing? Uh, we're getting all the lovely raids in today. We, we had like Exterminator. We had Sephinated. We had Bella Nair. Uh, we had, what's it called again? Uh, yeah, like Luke at the beginning. Uh, I think I'm missing one raid in my mind. Commander Aconite! Yeah, I'm missing Commander Aconite in there. There we go. There we go. How are you doing, Bellanier? Welcome, welcome, welcome! What have you been up to? Have you been playing more of that Arkham game? What was it? Was not Arkham Knight? Uh, was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? What's it called again? Um, uh, see. Not, no, there we go. You was rimworlding. Okay, Bellanier. Honest question. Have you set the baby on fire yet? And if not, why? <laughs> because with the latest Rimworld DLC, we can now set babies on fire. And did you do it or did you not? No babies yet. Okay. <laughs> then after, after you get the baby, either set it on the fire or option two, did you eat a baby yet? <laughs> Uh, man, 
and that that Rimworld DLC with with like I mean it, it's an amazing DLC I love it um and we're gonna play that more tomorrow uh, because it should be on a schedule slot for for Tuesday um and I do want to play more of it because I want to explore more of it uh and see where we end up and we in in our playthrough at the moment we do we well we started off with the single guy the single guy flying or landing crash landing with the two drones and then <laughs> at some point in time there was like this little kid knocking on the door and was gonna like i'm gonna live here and we we're like what but 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 i don't like people and he was like i'm gonna live here so our first uh pawn we got was like a little kid that just walked in on our map and just decided to live there um and we raised him up as our own little boy uh which kind of worked i guess and then we had some other people come in at some point in time. And then at some point in time, a slave trader came along. And it turns out that buying children is pretty cheap. <laughs> so we bought a slave baby and raised her up. And now she runs around with an SMG that's bigger than herself, just capping raiders whenever they attack us. Because she has a shooting skill of, what was it, like 16 or something like that? <laughs> I mean, that DLC made Rimworld games just so much weirder. It's it's just like, what the hell? <laughs> and then she was Little Fire. Yeah, and then she caught fire and lost her nose. <laughs> does that work as expected? No, it does not. Mm, okay, but now we can at least do something like... Okay, I'm not quite sure if this is actually faster or not. Kids. Okay, how far you done? <laughs> so much. And FJ's video from today is captured fridge baby. I'm afraid to watch it tomorrow. Oh god. <laughs> I mean A pyromaniac at some point in time will set your baby on fire. And I'm I'm still kind of thinking if at some point in time there might be a tantrum and like a random person just like yeets the baby or something like that. There's so many questions about Rimworld. <laughs> I think we're missing some inserts up there. No, we're not. Um, actually, no, we're not. Um, maybe we are. I will check it out later. The description of Rimworld happenings are approaching Crusader Kings level. <laughs> Next sort of content. Yep. <laughs> like like that one uh, Crusader Kings game we had, where we had like, uh, we, we had like an air. And he was not really producing any children, which is fine. So at some point in time, we just decided to start sleeping with his wife just to produce an heir. Uh, and then, of course, well, we got an heir and uh, things moved on. And then once our heir or, or his son, uh, his son was like a uh, ruling, uh, he had the same problem again. So his son would then be sleeping with his son's uh wife to make sure that there's an heir for her what basically happened at some point in time is that that every father would sleep with uh the wife of his son just to make sure that there's an offspring and at some point it was just a tradition <laughs> at some point it was just how things went <laughs> i can just imagine that they would be sitting at the christmas table and we're going like hey dad did you sleep with my wife yet and he's going like yep <laughs> Uh, honestly, given the issues with remote morality, I'm shocked they added babies. Um, yes, but then again, I mean, adding babies is definitely something that is a thing that is special for RimWorld. But then again, it's it's also something that that I mean, just because babies are in the game does not mean that you are going to be that that horrible things are going to happen to them. You uh, horrible thing, things are only going to happen to them because you let horrible things happen to them, uh, or because you're just an absolute psychopath. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Let's make the family tree. Uh, let's make this uh, family tree a family reef. Yep, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, I mean, Crusader Kings, um, absolutely bloody amazing game. I always love playing it because things just always end up going completely crazy. Especially with the micro DLC. Not really DLC, it was more like an event pack they, they added like about a month ago. 
where they added a whole bunch of events um, going around friendship and rivalries and stuff like that. And at some point, I had like a neighboring ruler and he kind of, well, he, we were friends or something like that. I'm not quite sure. And he sent over like a dude with a letter of recommendation uh, for our eyes only. And it was like here. And dude comes in, comes comes up to us and goes like, here, I've got a letter of recommendation from, from our friend over there. And I was like, oh, cool. Let me read that. And the, and the letter basically said the following thing. My dear friend, um, whoever hands you over this letter, please kill him. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it was bloody amazing. I was reading that out on stream and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Lovely. And then you get the option to just to straight up kill that guy that just gave you that letter. Ah, oh, Crusader Kings. So much fun. So much fun. Please kill the messenger. Exactly. And he points uh, my wife and wants him out of the country. Have fun. <laughs> good, 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 good. Hey, we're almost done with this one. Perfect. And then we have to make an appropriate size power plant. And maybe put some turrets around this. Because you never know what happens over here. And then we're never touching this thing again. Because, ugh. What are we going to do with all this coal? Uh, we're going to turn it into power. We have some ongoing power issues in the base. And we don't really have any good power plant thingies yet. So I kind of said to myself, yeah, this 1.1 field of raw coal over here, we're just going to yank that. Because it's close to the water, we're just going to yank that straight into a power plant. Um, and call it a day. <laughs> and just call it a day. There we go. There we go. Because then we don't need to do any kind of weird power plants down in the base anymore. Then we just have this thing over here and it'll be fine. I think that's all of it. With the one exception of the one ash line over there. We also do have like an ash line over here. We got the coke line over here actually. We got the lead ore line coming from over there. So the ash over here, we can just send it down. If we do want to send a call down, we can send a call down. Uh, but this should be fine. The only question, of course, now is, um, how do we sort all of this? <laughs> what we could do here, if we set up a single yellow belt, one single full yellow belt that makes power nonstop, that would be 15 items per second of 3 mega joules each. That would be 45 mega joules of constant power. If we just hook up all of this together into one long ass belt. Um and 45 mega joules of power. I kind of want a bit more than that. I want 90. Actually, it will be more than that. It will be enough to fire up. Let's have a look. Mm, boiler boiler boilers in the car. There you go, boiler. Um, each one of these requires 3.7 megawatts of energy. What did we say? Uh, 45? That means we can power up 10 of these. At least 10 of these. Probably 12 of these. We can actually calculate. Uh, 45 divided by 3.7. Yeah, 12 of these. <laughs> that was a good guess. 12 of these, that would mean we can fire up 6 of these. Uh, and that would mean that's about, yeah, 21 megawatts of energy, give or take. Uh, these only run at 50% capacity because of the steam coming out of here. It's not hot enough. They make 250 degree steams. Uh, they can take up to 500. If they take 500, they make 7.3 megawatts. If they take 250, they make like half of that. So that would be 21 megawatts of steam. If we, yeah, let's, let's, let's double it down. And wait, what I want, um, two times four minus was one yellow belt. Yeah, but I want this thing over here to last for a while, you know? I want this thing over here to sit for a while so that we don't have to come over here and tweak it down. So we can do something like this. Also, there would definitely need to be a mine over there.
Here we go. Good. Um. Yeah, it's going just the wrong way. Shit. Um, this is fine. It goes this way over here. This part of it doesn't exist. Um, that goes the other way. You go this way. There we go. So that will be yellow belt number one going down. And that will be yellow belt number two. Yeah, that wasn't on the ground. Wait, wait, let me just check this. Yeah. Oh, that was a little bit too eager. It was too fast, actually. Uh, and then you stay like that. Perfect. And then we go up over there. Good. And then we get out of this two full yellow belts of coal. Here we go. Or presumably full yellow belts. I'm not quite sure how full they will be, but I'm just going to assume they're going to be full. Uh, and then 12 of these. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Flip it. Let's pick these up real quick because I do want to ghost this first. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, down the middle goes the coal belt. Then, how do we do this over here? Mm. We could do something like this. Because there will be a belt of ash going somewhere like this. Copy paste it over there. Uh, and then we're going to need some engines. That's not an engine. That's an engine. Mm. We could just combine them all up. Do something like this? I mean, why not? Looks a bit silly. Nah, maybe like one over here, one over there, and one over there. But kept me awake two hours after I was thinking of going to bed to be tired. Oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah, I'm assuming a bit longer today. Sorry about that. <laughs> and then we got a small power plant like this, and we're going to have two of these next to each other. Then the only thing we need is this to be close by the water. So let's put it over here. Only two? Yeah, I mean, um... Oh, two hours. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, uh, Sun and Storm. <laughs> but I do have... We do have, a, like, a regional holiday over here tomorrow. So that means I don't have to be at work tomorrow as well. And after that... Six more weeks of working, including this week, I think. And then I will be on my Christmas holiday. Are you sorry, though? No. <laughs> nah, I get it. Uh, like, lately, the last couple of days, I, uh, or last week, more or less, I've also been like, I should go to bed. And I was like, I don't really want to go to bed. There mm, we go. Good. There's one important thing. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be two inputs and two outputs. Oh, that's going to be so many inserters. And these over here. Ash. Because the amount of inserters we need to put for you in, the same amount of inserters we need to take the ash out, because they go at the same speed. So what we need is a whole bunch more of inserters. There we go. But let's build the rest of it. So that everything is in place. And this power plant is definitely smaller as expected. But at least it will be something. And hopefully we can just ignore power for a while. I just realized it's 120, actually 220. Oh shit. Wait a minute. 
Yeah, when... Is that tonight? Or was it yesterday? No, that was tonight. Oh, no wonder I was feeling like shit this morning. It's always the same. Like, like uh, the, 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 the summertime comes along and I just go like, oh, what the fuck? It was yesterday, yeah. It's 1.20 over here and my clock over there, there still says 2.20 because it's still got the old analog clock over there. Extra hour of sleep? No, it was less. You lost an hour, didn't you? No, we gained an hour. Shit. Oh, oh, that's even worse. That means I slept even longer. <laughs> I hate daylight savings time. It's it's just, what the fuck? Please stop that. <laughs> Isn't your session always Sunday a.m.? I am not quite sure. It's always on the Sunday? Like, every time daylight, um, daylight saving time comes along, I... The day after, I'm just a complete mess. And I go like... Ugh. Almost there. There we go. And we go. Okay, most of this is in. Uh, a little bit more pipe over there. Yeah, we should have enough pipe for that. And then... We're going to need, what is that? 12, 24 times 4. So another 100 inserters. <laughs> there we go. And then this thing, that thing, this thing. Here we go, and then make it nice over here as well. Good, this is where the ash comes out. Uh, that's where the other ash comes out. And then we can just do something like this. That, this, send it off. Take it on the ground for this. Here we go. And actually move you up at least by two because the other ash belt will be over here. Put it up straight and then off we go. This will be the other ash belt. Come together over there. Go over there. Go over there. And then underground over here and over there. Good. It's a very small power plant compared to the amount of resources we mine over there. That is very true, but keep in mind, <laughs> the amount of resources we get over there are raw resources, and there needs to be a whole bunch of steps of refining in between to make that stuff into actually something good. It's it's raw coal, and with this at least, we get, well, we get something out of it. Um, do I still have? Yes. How much water do we need? Seven and a half units of water per machine. We got 24 of them. 24 times seven and a half. That is 12 times 15. Um, that is more than enough. We can put that all on the same water pump. There we go. That will be fine. And then just do this, that. And then we go like this. Make it nice and clean. Hook it all up. There we go. There we go. Perfect. And weird how one hour can make you feel. Yes, I know. I mean, you wouldn't expect it, but like one hour is like one hour. And you just go like, what? Why? Oh. An easy recipe for remembering clock movement um, for the transition of the day. Spring forward, fall back. <laughs> yeah, but but then again, it's, it's yeah. Ugh. I mean, in these modern times, you really, really, you could just like think like, hey, you know what? Maybe instead of running the clock back and forth all the time, maybe just start working earlier or later. <laughs> it doesn't change a thing, you know? <laughs> uh, well, so be it. We do need all of this. We do need all of that. That's only 24. Oh, because I see. Um, what do we say? We need at least a hundred. 
That should be fine. Make 100 of those. Everything else we have, I think. Yeah, everything else should be fine. And I don't have any fuels on me, but there's some fuel over there. There we go. Uh, oh, there's a whole bunch of fuel over there. Yeah. You get some. You get some. Make some more small parts, please. I still better sleep one hour more than less. Yeah. But wait a minute. Then... Then I woke up at midday, actually. I woke up not at 1, I woke up at 12. I see. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> then I actually didn't sleep as long as I thought. There we go. There we go. Okay, this thing over here, almost ready. Uh, that's going to go into the ash output, and then we got all of these over here. So, oh, this is an ash belt. Actually, we could do the same over here for the ash belts. Just make like... Is it going to be one ash belt or two? I think it's going to be two. Oh, it's, that, that could actually be an issue over here. <laughs> oh, God, that, that does mean that we have to reverse you. Oh, no. Um... Well, that already failed. Hard. Here we go. Here we go. That should be fine. And then you over there. You go to there. That was a little bit too eager. Here we go. And then you over there. Go into there. And that's one ash output. And then we need to flip this one over here as well. Off we go. Eh. Nope. This way. And then... This way. Almost. Running out of... Arm space again. Uh, and you go down. You go to there. And then we are missing the ash output over here. Good thing we have just arrived over here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Place these real quick. That should be fine. Chop these trees real quick. And then you go into there, you go into there, and then we get two big ash belts out of here. Which is this one and that one. Let's move them together real quick. There we go. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I can combine these up into a single ash belt. I'm, I'm pretty sure that that, that mine of an air will, make, will be making a whole bunch of ash. But let's see where we end up with this. I should also get my car real quick. Looks like it's missing inserts from the second row on the bottom. Oh, that could be a that could be a thing. I also need way more inserters. I've oh, we need way more inserters. Here we go. And then these two, these two, this one, and then over here it's at least easy. Same over there. And then copy over this. Place it over there. Done. The easy ones first. Put all of these down. I still got 50 in my pocket. Perfect. Good. That's in. Uh, so if we do need more inserters or uh, we can just place them, that's no issue. Yeah, give me that belt, please. And then move it all the way over there. Uh, that belt over there is also already having issues. Um, and we need to weave both of these belts onto that new belt. Um, so we shouldn't just sideload it. Just sideloading it will be not good. Uh, also, we can remove you. Perfect. Okay, that's in. That's in. We also got this belt down here. And then let's check over there. Oh, yeah, I see. I see. I see. I saw some, some, some inserter ghosts over there. We can take care of that soon. Here we go. 
And then let's weave this in. Um, how about we try something like this? And then we do this and that. It might be a bit too short. But let's try that. That way around. We could maybe get it in a little bit easier. Yeah, my, my inventory is too full again. Yeah, I have this. Yeah, please go down a little bit more, go up a little bit more. There we go. And then we just do something like this, that. And then we try this one again over here. This should be fine. And then the other way around. Okay, this one feels a bit shorter than the other one, but I think it's fine. We can always tweak this over here if we need to tweak it, you know? It should be fine. It should be fine. And we do need to kickstart this whole thing over here. We do need to feed every one of these at least one piece of coal by hand. We can check for ghosts. There is two ghosts in there. I think it's down here. Yeah, these two. Done. Good. <laughs> oh, well, here goes. Uh, let's just stand on this belt. And just follow the belt. And I have to say that belt fills up quite fast. <laughs> but that's good. That's good. I don't really want this field over here to go full power. I want this field to give us this amount of output forever. You know? A blueprint ghost to follow some kind of Halloween gremlin? Nope. <laughs> There we go. And there we go, right over here. And we should easily spot machines over here that don't have a feedback loop. There we go. That actually looks pretty darn nice, I have to say. I mean, after after finishing it up, it, it looks great. It looks great. And the amount of ash coming out of this thing is less than I thought it would be. Which is also great. Yeah, it should be four... And one piece of ash every four seconds per machine. Uh, we got a hundred machines. So that is a hundred pieces of ash every four seconds. That's 25 per second on two yellow belts. Yeah, that's perfect. This one down here on the other side. <laughs> uh, yeah, now that I think about it. Um, yeah. Scrap that idea over here. I mean, every piece of raw coal over here will be turned in a, into a dedicated piece of ash over here. <laughs> A full yellow belt of coal in here will result into a full yellow belt of ash. Um. Oh boy. Um. Yeah. We should not splice this onto this machine over here. What we should do over here is probably make two dedicated belts to go down. Because this over here, that, that would just clock an overload. <laughs> that would just go like brink and be broken right away. So we're going to get two new belts of ash down here. And of course, very important, the, the most important thing of them all, maybe hook up the power plants to the actual power grid. Oh, that's so much ash. <laughs> that's so much ash. Um... Oh, I like this. And I'm Borger. Hello there. Not quite sure what language that is, but I hope it's fine. 
There we go. But that should take care of power for a while. Yeah, sadly we don't see see the, the, the Norwegian. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, sorry. My Norwegian is pretty terrible. It's it's like non-existent. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Good. That means we do. Could you unash it on site, maybe? I was kind of thinking of unashing it over here somewhere. Like pulling it down over here. We could unash it on site. That's completely true. Um. Seven megawatts. You can do seven electric miners with that. Wait, what? Really? Are you shitting me? Where's the electric miners? Where are my electric drilling miners? Is it called a drill or a miner? There we go, it's a drill. Oh god. <laughs> they do eat a megawatt of power. No! Uh... <laughs> Well, it, it's 77 megawatts in total. Yeah, I mean, it is... It's 12 of these. It's 6 of these running at full power. That is uh, 14, 28, 42. Nice. Yeah, it is 42 megawatts of power over there. A megawatt in this economy? Are you insane? Yes, we are insane. We're playing Pyanons, of course. Good. Um, yeah, what we could do is we could maybe just do the ash processing over here and just send the zoot down and then, yeah, let's maybe do that. So let's clean this up a little bit. Not too far. I mean, it, it, it is going to be over here. I could just make it all the way over there with the other side, but the ash is already on the belt and I don't really want to pick up too much. Oh, God. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> um, we're going to need three solid separators for that. And I have to find my car again. Why the fuck did I leave that boy? Oh, it's all the way over there. And then we're going to have like a single belt of zoot going down. And that will not be a full belt of zoot. So there will be like a bit of zoot every now and then. Also, there will be... There will be a bit more on there. Will there not be? And there will also be coal dust now. It over there. Uh, technically, we need to get the ash over here, next to these two. Well, we'll figure something out. Can you put that in there, please? Coal dust to power. We could put the coal dust back into the power plant. That is true. If we somehow manage to give it priority. But on the current belt... That's what's going to happen. What the hell? <laughs> eh. There we go. And the iron oxides. I mean, we're not making that... Well, the, the coal dust will back up quite fast. I mean, we're going to make one of these again. This is exactly what we need. And the coal dust currently, this coal dust over here goes, yeah, I would rather have another one of these next to this one. And we're just going to bite the bullet and we're going to make like two yellow belts go all the way over here, all the way over there, all the way over here, all the way over there, and into here. I think that's easier. Does mean I have to chop off these trees over here. Yeah. And then we have everything we need over here. From here on out, we can also move all the ores that we make over here to where we need them and stuff like that. Here we go. Here we go. And it might be a bit more annoying, but, well, as long as we don't have trains, we're going to have to have make do with weird long-ass belts. And then we just have another one of these, say, boop, right over there. Here we go. <laughs> and we just need to process more ash.
There we go. Uh, I still got some inserters over here. Oops. Um, but let's see what we need for more of these. Iron plates. There we go. Consume. 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 And then air core inductors is the other thing that we need. Also, give me all of these. We're going to need those. Give me all of these. We're going to need those. But you get some back because I need some space in my pocket. There we go. And then air core inductors over there. And then we can make two of these. And then we need some steel. Because these do consume 50 pieces of steel. Like, what the fuck? That's so much steel. There we go. 50 plates of steel. Another one. There we go. Then we place you over there. You over there. You over there. The Zoot machine over here. Yeah, these over here are not running at maximum capacity. I think two, um, two rows of these go into one Zoot machine, but I think currently, as it looks, the amount of dust that we process over here is... There's one missing over there. Uh, there's also one missing over here. What the hell? Wait, is there one missing over there? No, there's not. So there's also not one missing over there. Never mind. There we go. But yeah, the amount of zoot that we make over here is not required to be processed. So we don't need to expand our zoot processing to, to match all of this over here. I'm confused. Are we missing inserters over here or not? Well, you know what? We will see once this machine over here starts up. You know? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And then you can from over there. And you can from over there. Good. And then the only thing we need to do over here is make sure that we somehow get power over here. Mm. This one will be fine. That won't be fine. This one will be fine. That will be fine. Uh, oh, I see. <laughs> These do connect up, but then... Uh. There we go. That should be fine. There we go. Then we need some more inserts over there. And we're going to need some more over there. And over there. And off we go. Good. And then cool dust over here. Just side loaded. Um, iron oxide over here. Just side loaded. <laughs> Zoot. Yeah, let's do it like this. Done. I don't care. Done. Done, 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 done. And then we go all the way around from over here. There we go. And then let's pull you. I guess we have to chop the street. And let's do this from our car because our car has, well, at least a bit of belt in there. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I can already see that Ash is the new tailings in this game. Perfect. Uh, let's just get out of the car real quick. So there will be a belt over here. That will be you going down there. Ash catch them? Yes, we're going to have to catch all the ash in this one. Each and every one of them. There we go. And then more belt, please. Off we go. And let's build this one in reverse then real quick. Oh, that's, that's going to be so much belt. <laughs> that's going to be so much belt. There it is. Oh, I guess we can pick these up again. You go down. And we go. Here we go. And you go down as well. Good. And now we only need to connect it up. I mean, yeah. I think this this was the better idea. Don't forget the third ash belt. The third ash belt is going onto the main ash belt. The third ash belt is not as intense as these two. I can show you once we're up there. Perfect. I love that. And then 
Hit the reverse gear. Oh, that's the reverse gear. Oops. <laughs> There we go. I do hope I have enough belt on me. Yes. There we go. So the other one is over here. And you can see over here. This one over here is not going to have a lot of issues with ash. It's this one down here that's going to have a lot of issues with ash. There we go. And now that the power plant is on, and the power plant over here is actually not burning at full power, and these over here are not requiring as much fuel, though I'm kind of surprised that that's one of them. Okay, it's it's this one just per default. And yeah, the other ones over here should not be working as much. One of them should probably be always on, that is true. But we can also see that we're not really consuming the full belt over here yet. So this raw coal field of 1 million over there, it used to be 1.1 million, by the way. Already pretty scary that we're already down like 100,000. No, we're not down 100,000, are we? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um. No, probably not. <laughs> probably not. I mean, over the last hour, we used... Nah, 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 nah. it should be fine. It should be fine. Um. Uh, yeah, rounding errors. It's probably just a rounding error. Cute. And the ash from the miners are connected to a belt, not connected to the ash processing. The ash from the miners. The ash from the miners are connected to a belt, not connected to the ash processing. Yes, they are. Uh, they are connected to the... Okay, okay, I think I know what you mean, Dr. Drago. I mean, they are... Oh, wait, are they? Wait, 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 wait. Did we ever connect up the bottom part? I think that's what you mean. That could be the issue. I think that's the issue what you mean. Because I did connect it up to this belt. But you might be right. The belt stops halfway. Yeah, that's probably the issue. Yeah, we never did this connection. <laughs> you are, of course, absolutely correct. Um, And this over here, we just need to bring it over to somewhere. Doesn't really matter where. There we go. Oh, is that after we nicely balance this thing and then we do this? No, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> um, is coke getting low? Yeah, probably, because things are just not working at the moment. Um, let's try this for now. Let's try this. It might not be the best, but yeah, Coke is definitely an issue. Mostly because, let's have a look over here. I mean, the Coke that we're making over here is coming out of this machine over here. And this machine over here is currently not working as much. Mostly because, let's have a look at this. Tar. Really? Tar? Oh, I think I know what's the issue. Yeah, we're low on wood. <laughs> we are low on wood because we are, we need ash to make the wood. Actually, no, it's the tree saplings for once. We're out of moss. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. We are out of moss because we still need to hand feed the coke into the moss making machine. And we have not set up belt for that one yet. And that is all the way over here. The moss making machine is there. There it is. And this one over here needs some coke every now and then. Here we go. Done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? What is this? That's the old belt. Okay. Uh... Yeah, the coke belt is actually over here. Okay, then... One moment, please.
Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, do something like this. Do something like that. That'll be fine. <laughs> How does the moth making machine work? The moth making machine, well, you basically just take like an old hack, you put it like in the closet, you wait for a while, and out comes a moth. Um, here we go, here we go. <laughs> now, the moth making machine just makes moss out of moss. Uh, we just need to add like muddy sludge, some stone, and some carbon dioxide. And this machine over here makes the carbon dioxide. Here we go. And we just have to give it some time. With the moss, we then make the tree seedlings or the tree saplings. With the tree saplings, we make the trees. With the trees, we make the wood. With the wood, we make the coke and the coal. And with the coke and the coal, well, we make everything else. Good, 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 good. <laughs> at least we now have a power plant over there. Uh, a somewhat, at least, somewhat, somewhat, somewhat decent looking power plant. It's still very much a baby power plant. It is definitely better than one of these. This one over here we can still keep. Um, I mean, you can already see like this one over here is running now more stable now that we're at low power. So that will be fine. And what what do you do with excess coke? Turn it into the power. Burn it. Boil it. And if you do have too much coke, well... <laughs> I mean... Pretty much as Marcon puts it, the joy of Pi. Walk over half your base to find out what you're running out of then. Simple stuff to make. Yep. And also, as you will have to sing stuff every now and then. That's the thing in Pi. Like, every now and then, you will notice that you have, like, an absolute influx of one thing and an absolute underflow of an overflow of one thing and an underflow of something else. Uh, this thing, for example, over here kind of stopped working. Why did you stop working? How did you stop working? You make seven guaranteed moon drops. And you make them one to one. How the hell did you stop working? This makes no sense. Wait a minute. Am, am I being stupid over here? We put four seeds in here. We get four moon drops. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> it went once and then it stopped. Um... There we go. And now it starts looping. <laughs> and Winsinger. Uh, I'm actually going to do something better. I will think we'll be calling it right now. And then I can hydrate all I want. There we go. There we go. There we go. So this should now loop. There's enough in here to do the recipe twice. That gives us eight. And then you loop over. Perfect. 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 Let's have a quick peek over here at the seaweed. Yeah, we got enough seaweed. At least for a while. We might just want to put down the chest over here. There we go. Start putting seaweed in there. Normal trees. We got 36. Sap trees. We got 30. Um, a little bit confused and concerned to see why this one stopped. It's because you stopped. It's because... Ah, because we ran out of wood. That is fine. This will pick up again. But we got 30 sap trees over here. That is going to be bloody amazing even these over here wow there's a hundred seven on both of these lovely absolutely lovely good 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 so what did we end up doing today well mostly outposting <laughs> mostly outposting which is very important uh we now at least definitely have all the building blocks together so that we can make circuits next time so next time around which will be on thursday we're gonna set up and make our first simple circuit machine for that, we need to figure out a couple of ratios. We need to make a look at where we make certain things. Um, this is all done. Okay, some of them have done this in, in assembly machines. Can we make assembly machines already? No, they, they, they are. Oh. <laughs> God dang it. That means we will make some of these in burner machines. Lovely. When do we get the next assembly machine? There we go. You should be electric. No, that's... Oh, are they all burner assemblies? Even this one? Oh, no. <laughs> this one does have a crafting speed of four, which is pretty good for a burner assembler. Um, And this one has a crafting speed of two for a burner assembler, which is pretty decent. And then when do we get the automated factories? Um, Let's 
Here we go. So we get the Mark II over here at some point. We get the Mark II very late. Chemical science and then the Mark III. We get sometimes production science and the Mark IV. Yeah, never. Create yourself an alphabet blueprint book. It will help you with the pain of Mantle's name. No, 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 no. That's part of the pain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say it, but that is part of the pain. <laughs> Are you in Burner Man for a long time? No, no, no. As soon as we get the other assembly machine over here, which is here. At some point in time, we get the automated factory over here, and that will be our electric assembly machine. Uh, but interestingly enough, the burner assembly machines do have higher crafting speeds than the electric ones, which we should keep in mind. There might be some 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 nice burner setups we can think about. Um, they also they also consume way less fuel. <laughs> no, no. Are we going to be running burner even longer? I mean, uh, the the automated factory over here eats like two megawatts of power. And then the burner assembly over here eats less and is faster. <laughs> but Ash, yeah, uh, well, we'll figure that out once we get there. Uh, a little bit surprised to see that we do need antimony for that. Um, and we need antimony for that because of the intermetallics, I think. The intermetallics, I think, is iron nexolate antimony special alloy. Iron nexolate antimony. Okay, that is that does not really seem too complex. How does one make antimony oxide? Oh, that that is... Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Nice. We do need an antimony drill for that. Ooh, lovely. And then we get a whole bunch of random alloys. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm looking forward to that. So next time around, first day, we are going to make sure that we make circuits and then we can delve into all the processings. I'm looking forward to that. Tomorrow, we're going to be playing RimWorld. Wednesday, day off. Friday, XCOM. Saturday, I'm not quite sure yet. We will see. We kind of finished the GTFO rundown, uh, like the first one. Uh, I kind of hope that the second um, rundown comes out soon, or the like, like the remake of the second one, so that we can delve into that one. Uh, but we will see. We will see. Good! Perfect! Let's do one thing, and the most important part is press this button. There we go. If anyone raids in right now, that's his problem. <laughs> Let's have a look. Who is Oop and the Boot? Who do we want to raid? Um, we got this guy over here. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Wherever I look, I see weird and random Halloween costumes. What the fuck? <laughs> what is this crazy place? Um, there's actually not a lot of people on. There's probably a whole bunch of people drinking. Bastards. <laughs> Um, we got Ivory over here, but it's it's already pretty late. It's like he should be stopping soon as well. Uh, we got this guy over here. This guy's fun. Let's have a look. Let's have a peek. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. Okay, I mean, come on. If 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 I open up a stream and I hear that, we have to go, mate. We have to go. <laughs> Uh, that was not the correct Kieran. Um. Here we go. There we go. There we go. What kind of stream is that? It's a fine stream. It's a very fine stream. He's a fun lad. He's a very fun lad. We already raided him a couple times, and we're going to raid him today again. Good, 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 good. So, thank you so much for today. Thank you so much. Uh, Bellanea for the lovely raid. Thank you so much. Exterminator for the lovely raid. Smeagol for gifted community subs. Thank you so much for that. So, yes, as a recap, thank you so much for the resubscription. Three months already. Thank you so much for that. Sephirinated, thank you so much for your lovely raid. Uh, Weetle, thank you so much for the lovely follow. Commander Echo Knight, thank you so much for the lovely raid. Uh, Rubat, thank you so much for the follow. Raul the Ghoul, I will put your name in the game, like, off camera. Same for... Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? All the other names of the games, I'm just going to start putting them in, like, at the end of the stream when I do my recap episode. So you will be seeing them soon. Totenschlacht, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Biotech Alpha, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Daedalus, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Uh, Anto Beast, thank you so much for the follow. Marky Mark, thank you for the follow as well. Wally, we subscribed. Dang, I think I missed that. Thank you so much for that, Wally. 
Uh, I see loop something, something, something. <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. Tom Lee, thank you for the follow. And Quintus, thank you for the follow as well. Mr. Macalito, you were also around. Thank you so much for today. Have a good night. Until next time, see you around.